Today we are here at a Benignas place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, ward in Makweni county. To know more about uh, the improvement that she has made in her local innovation organic fruit fly trap. Welcome Benigna. I do the farming with, my, with the assistance of my husband who is here. And we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example, here I have a, a avocado fruit, which I have used the organic fruit fly, and it's doing non well. How do you make uh, the your local uh, organic fruit fly trap? These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon. This is a lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey, one glass of a lemon juice. I add one spoon, tablespoon of honey, and I use two, two glasses of water. I add together and I stir well so that I make this now, this juice which I use it as the medicine I use. I go on, I use local materials. These are the bottles we use for water. I just do holes all around, halfway. I do holes whereby the insect comes and gets in and they are being trapped. I used it by hanging. Let's get inside the bottle. They know they don't fly away because they have been trapped by the lemon juice which is inside the honey and the water. Thereby, I use the insects to feed my young chicks at home. Okay, I do the work with the help of my husband who is just here and he can do, he can say more about the innovation. Uh, in this form of innovation, it is cheap because Just to use local materials like lemons, water, honey, uh, the, the materials are available in our farm. Uh, we use the organic organic trap, blue fly trap to control blue fly um, insects. We control them in mango trees, man uh, guavas, pumpkins, and also in lemony fruits. Now, having heard of uh how the local uh, in the innovation is being concocted. Could you kindly tell us what made you embark on this local innovation? What made me to do this innovation? I was sometimes going around my farm and I see a lot of fruits which are just on the ground. 
due to insects and I had no enough money to buy the hungry pet medicines. So I decided to do something to see whether I can prevent it. Okay, and as a result of the improvements, maybe are there are some results, uh, maybe in terms of the efficacy, it is now working better than mm. before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now, it's doing on well, because when I go around the farm, even if you find fruits which are falling off, they are so few. It's not like there before. Okay, Madam Mombua. Mm. It's good that you are doing this innovation. Mm. And maybe have you shared this innovation with other people? Okay, the information, the in innovation I've shared with a lot of people by now. I even share it with the groups who come and come with us so that I help them. And I even help my neighbors to do it on their own chambers. Are there any challenges? In challenges, there are so few cause the materials are so locally and we get them locally in our chambers. So we have no challenges. And maybe at the, with your own conjecture, uh, where do you see yourself maybe in five years to come? Where do you see yourself? Okay, in five years to come, I see I will have grown up and I will, I, I will have been enlarged. And many of my neighbors and my family will be grown up. Up in terms of fruits, yeah. having, many fruits. Uh, having many fruits, having many trees in their chambers, okay. and the organic making them to be more healthy. I am Joe Ouko, a farmer innovator. I'm at the same time the chairman of Farmer-Led Innovators Association of Kenya. We have an agribusiness called Lofoda G-Mill. It is a project which has come right down from uh, around nine, uh, 2009 when innovations were introdu was introduced in Kenya and the partners that are behind the whole innovation move that has led us to this project was number one, Prolinova Kenya, number two, Calro. The two put their effort together and taught not only ourselves but a group of innovators from Nyando, the, the then Nyando district and Bosia district then, now they are, uh, they are counties and sub-counties. The teaching of uh, innovations from that time gave us an inspiration to make sure our minds worked out to ensure what we were doing would come out on top of whatever people were Today we are here at a benignous place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, ward in Makweni county. To know more about uh, the improvement that she has made in her local innovation organic fruit fly trap. Welcome Benigna. I do the farming with, my, with the assistance of my husband who is here and we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example here I have a avocado fruit which I have used the organic fruit fly and it's doing on well. How do you make uh, the your local 
uh, organic fruit fly trap. These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon, this is a lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey. One glass of a lemon juice. Vous avez dit qu'il n'y a pas de frontières, donc. I remember one thing. Je me rappelle d'une chose. And I will make one comment. Et je vais faire un... What I remember is the learning that we should make sure every innovation which is either from West Africa, South Africa, or East Africa, we should make sure we take it in so that everybody outside in Africa We'll make use of that innovation Je for me rappelle life. que nous devons tous faire, avoir tous ces projets, toutes ces innovations qu'on avait euh, vues hier. On peut les mettre à l'échelle pour que tout le monde puisse les voir et les utiliser dans leur vie. The comment I am making le commentaire que je fais is my understanding that est mon Africa is going to be the best in innovations. C'est que l'Afrique sera la meilleure dans des innovations. That, that's just Parfait, c'est parfait, c'est vrai. Uh, L'une the... uh, des choses que j'ai remarqué hier, c'est que les problèmes africains problem is one. C'est que les problèmes des paysans africains, c'est une. C'est un problème. Everything 
c'est que ils ont les choses. It's just exploitation of the opportunities. C'est juste le fait de l'exploitation des opportunités qu'ils ont. The second thing. La deuxième chose. Farmers across Africa are patriotic. Les Africains, les paysans africains sont très patriotiques. In their day-to-day affairs. Dans leurs affaires de chaque jour. Bonjour. Hier, nous avons eu une opportunité de voir toutes ces innovations et des idées très très brillantes. Donc euh, aux technologies, et donc ils ne sont pas forcément donc, à notre porte. Uh, donc c'est ce que moi je comprends. Thank you, thank you, merci. So this one, I'll give one one person. Je m'appelle Aminata Dambele, je suis du Mali, je suis innovatrice. I am also an innovator. Thank 
you very much. I think the that we can talk about what we have just said. I think that we have a lot of things that we have to talk about. We are here for the next two weeks, so we can discuss these things outside, over tea, more important that we need to remember because we are here to learn. Nous avons beaucoup de choses à partager. Je vous encourage de continuer à en parler pendant les pauses. So that when you go back home, we are ambassadors of our own communities. Et you can vous, also share this. Je vous encourage aussi de continuer à apprendre parce que nous sommes des ambassadeurs. Nous pouvons, nous pouvons euh, faire apprendre aux autres aussi ce qu'on Le... Nous allons prendre l'opportunité pour voir un certain nombre de choses. Vous vous rappelez que depuis hier, nous parlons de l'innovation locale, d'approche participative de développement de l'innovation. Toutes les discussions aujourd'hui vont permettre d'approfondir notre compréhension de ces différents concepts. Yeah. I have to warn you, this translator of mine has a bad habit. Because he is, and he can go beyond me. He will, he will like finish the whole translation before I, I speak. <laughs> I know him. So don't come with me. Okay. No, no, no. So we have today we will have the uh, keynote speech given by Susan Kuhn, and then Karai Karia, and then we will have an exhibition. But this is a different one. That's because the people are not here. So we'll see it on the screen. Nous allons voir une présentation liminaire et ce sera fait par Suzanne Caria. Et après, nous allons également passer à des expositions. Mais cette fois-ci, ce sera virtuel parce que les personnes concernées ne sont pas ici. You know that this network is global, so we have also partners in Asia. So these partners are prepared. They'll give us our experience. These days, we we are. Very lucky we can even interact with people beyond our borders. So this is the session. Then we will have now an in-depth discussion. You know, people who have been doing these things, they will be brought here, and they will give them questions. They tell us something. We call it we call it panel discussion. Ensuite, nous allons voir ces innovations qui seront présentés sont des personnes qui sont en Asie. Comme vous le savez, le réseau est mondial, donc euh, ces personnes ne sont pas là. Mais ils sont préparés également pour nous faire voir à travers les vidéos, leur préparation. Et ensuite, nous allons passer à des, à des discussions de panel où des personnes qui sont impliquées dans des projets similaires depuis des années vont venir devant et nous présenter leur compréhension sur différents points. The most important things that we need to learn from these guys is in two forms. One is about recognizing our work, which is which we know is very important if we want to continue. The second one in that first group of panel discussion is how can they, if we recognize it, how can it be supported? This idea of this idea of innovation, but mainly perspective innovation development. How do we recognize it? And how do we support it? That group will be here. Le premier panel de discussion va porter sur comment est-ce que les innovations locales sont en train d'être reconnues. Donc, il s'agit là de la reconnaissance des innovations locales. Et une fois que ces innovations sont reconnues, comment est-ce qu'ils arrivent à obtenir des soutiens hein, dans leur contexte pour pouvoir être en train de diriger et de continuer à promouvoir l'innovation locale. Voilà ce que ces personnes vont venir devant nous dire. If this will be followed with another group now, now within this process of perspective uh, innovation development, we also have an issue. For it to continue, 
we need to take it as part of our lives. Yeah? We call it integration. We need to have it as part of our activities. All of the stakeholders, including the government, including NGOs, for it to continue. If it doesn't, including young people. So that session will be followed up. We are calling it how do we effectively integrate? How can we make it part of our lives, part of our policies, part of our laws? So that even if we move off because we, we go, it is there because it's part of the rules. Yeah. Le deuxième panel va se porter sur comment on intègre effectivement ces différentes approches dont nous parlons. Et une fois qu'on a reconnu, on est en train de soutenir, pour que ça soit continuel, même en dehors du, de, de différents projets que nous menons, il faut que les acteurs, les institutions puissent avoir cela désormais dans les politiques et dans les normes. Et pour ça, comment ça se passe également sera le point de discussion du deuxième panel. We are hoping that this will... These two sessions will provoke a lot of discussion. And we really ask you not to shy away. Say something. Because if you don't say something, then who is going to say it? So during that discussion, we are going to get some issues that will come out of these discussions. Uh, during these different discussions of panel, we hope that different preoccupations will emerge. And don't have to be afraid to pronounce your opinions, because that will count for the discussion to come. So we want now, with those issues, those are the issues that we will have to come up with decisions on how we go forward on those issues. That will call for special arrangement. This is group discussion, where we will divide ourselves into groups. And because now it makes a, a room for people who may not wish to talk in the big plenary, to be able to say something. And so those group, group discussion are supposed to, to follow this panel discussion so that they can digest and synthesize those issues. Donc les questions qui vont émerger vont maintenant être discutées dans différents groupes. Et pour des gens qui souhaiteraient discuter dans des groupes pour réduire, ce sera l'occasion parce que ça va permettre de trouver des arrangements nécessaires afin de répondre à ces questions. Of course, you know, after that, then those groups will have to come here to tell us what they, what they came up with as recommendations, as outcomes, of their discussions. Et ainsi, les différents groupes vont nous revenir avec euh, leurs recommandations, leurs conclusions et les voies à suivre. And that will be, we are at the end of the day, of course, then we will wrap up the day and, uh, yeah, wait for tomorrow, relax. That's the day. Et ainsi, nous serons en train de conclure notre journée à sur ces points en espérant demain pour continuer. That's what I wanted to share with you. Be voilà. prepared. Voilà ce que je voudrais partager avec vous pour vous lancer dans la journée et soyez préparés for a very interesting day. Pour une journée très intéressante à venir. Merci. Thank you, Jacob. Merci, Jacob. Uh, we all agree that the concept of gender is very important in every uh, aspect of development. Nous sommes tous d'accord que le concept du genre est très important dans tous les aspects du développement. Uh, Polonova is seeking to institutionalize or integrate the approach of local innovation and PID into agri research and development. Et Polonova pour son cap eh, insiste et met l'accent sur comment intégrer eh, l'approche euh, d'innovation locale et de développement par de l'innovation dans le processus de développement. We cannot succeed without considering the issue or the concept of gender. Et nous ne pourrions pas réussir sans considérer l'intégration du genre. Fortunately, we have an expert. We have uh, somebody here who is well versed and prepared to lead us through a keynote presentation on the importance of gender uh, with regards to institutionalizing the local innovation and PID approach. Et tout heureuse pour nous ici, nous avons eu des spectres, quelqu'un qui peut vraiment nous diriger dans la compréhension de l'importance de comment est-ce qu'il faut institutionnaliser le genre dans le processus dont nous discutons. Nous discutons. So let's all welcome Suzanne Carrier. Sous vos applaudissements, recevons Suzanne Carrier pour la suite. Suzanne works with the African women in Agricultural Research and Development, a for short, based in Nairobi here. 
Suzanne travaille avec euh, une organisation dont il a indiqué le nom ici basé à Nairobi. So, Suzanne, welcome. Merci encore une fois. Suzanne, bienvenue. Ça sert à ce que vous Okay. Well, I think that uh, I wish we just make that introduction a bit longer. Okay. J'aurais aimé continuer un peu sur la présentation de notre hôte. Susan is a friend of Polynova for a very long time. Susan est un ami, une amie de Polynova de longues années, de longues dates. And she was also a member of Polynova Oversight Group. Elle avait été aussi membre du groupe de supervision de Polynova. And in her former job at the FAO. Elle avait travaillé entre temps au FAO. She also helped us to get financing to do uh, um, what we call a, a, a guidelines on how to integrate gender into local innovation and PID. Elle avait eu la tâche de contribuer dans les lignes directrices de pouvoir intégrer le genre dans les questions du développement participatif de l'innovation. And most probably next month or the month after it should finally get published. Et euh, le, le mois prochain, ce document pourrait être éventuellement publié officiellement par la FAO. Thank you, Susan. Merci beaucoup, Suzanne, et bienvenue. Merci, merci beaucoup, Chesha, pour cette merveilleuse introduction et présentation. And for me, it's a great pleasure to be here today. Pour moi, c'est un grand plaisir d'être avec vous ce matin, aujourd'hui. Uh, because Prolinova has always been in my heart. Parce always. que Prolinova a toujours été dans mon cœur. And uh, I, I'm sad I missed yesterday, and I was very happy to hear all the interesting things that happened yesterday. Thank you for that. Over. So um, what I'm going to talk about uh, is something that is close to my heart, gender issues. Et ce dont je veux parler ce matin est quelque chose qui est très important pour moi personnellement eh, concernant le genre. And to tell you the truth, every time Prolinova has invited me for this meeting, I always talk about gender issues. Et toutes les fois que Prolinova a eu l'occasion de m'inviter à ce programme, c'était toujours pour faire la discussion sur le genre. So, um, so that's what I'll talk about. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about uh, the organization I work for. Et voilà ce dont je veux vous parler principalement. Mais permettez-moi de vous parler rapidement de l'organisation pour laquelle je travaille. Also, because I think it's uh, very relevant to the, the stakeholders here today. Et parce que je pense que ce sera très pertinent pour les acteurs qui sont rassemblés en ce moment. So I'm the director for an organization called AWARD, the African Women in Agricultural Research and Development. Et je suis la directrice de l'organisation qu'on appelle AWARD, qui signifie eh, l'organisation des femmes africaines dans la recherche et le développement. And the organization was established in 2008 because there was a recognition that in many of our national agriculture research and development organizations. There were few women working there, and if you looked at the leadership, there were even fewer women. Et cela est fondé en 2008, parce que le constat était que dans le système et les organisations où se fait le, la, la recherche et le développement, il y avait très peu de femmes. Et puis encore, quand on voit l'équipe de direction, on ne trouve presque quasiment pas de femmes. 
And uh, we realized that if you really wanted to make sure women get into leadership positions and continue in these careers, they needed to be trained more, they needed training around leadership, they needed to be mentored to see other role models, other women in those positions, and also they needed to create the networks with each other that would provide the support. Et nous nous sommes rendus compte que pour être sûr d'avoir les femmes dans ces organisations de recherche et de développement et, et dans les positions élevées, il faut les former, il faut davantage les former, les capaciter et les mettre dans des situations où le leadership est développé et qu'ils soient mentorés par des gens qui ont de l'expérience afin que elles soient, les, les mettre en réseau afin qu'elles puissent être en mesure hein, de répondre à, à, ce, à ces préoccupations. And uh, since 2008, we've actually had more than 1,800 fellows, women fellows have benefited from our fellowships, and if you go to many national agricultural research, research and, and uh, development institutions and universities in Africa, you will find award fellows. And even today when I was sitting there, I've, I talked to somebody who has also been a beneficiary of our program. So that's my organization. Now let me tell you a bit about why it's important to pay attention to gender issues in agriculture. So last year in June, the food gender issues in agriculture to look at what progress has been made and where there are still gaps. And the findings were that women play a very important role in agriculture, in agri-food systems, not only in production, but also in marketing, in processing, right across the entire value chain, and that agri-food systems are an important source of income for women in many African countries. important dans les systèmes alimentaires, non seulement au niveau de la production, mais dans la commercialisation, dans la transformation. Disons sur tout le long de la chaîne de, de valeur. Et ainsi, et ces systèmes et aussi, le report a mis l'accent sur les inégalités qui sont réelles, qui sont euh, importantes encore pour ce qui concerne l'accès aux ressources et aux opportunités pour ce qui concerne les femmes. So when you look at, when you ask a woman farmer and you say, where do you work? They rarely say, I'm a farm, I work here and I make my money here. They say, I'm helping my husband in the farm. Yeah? Quand vous demandez aux femmes, that, quand vous actually, demandez aux femmes qui font l'agriculture, à peine vous allez les entendre dire, je travaille dans le champ, je gagne mon argent là. Elle va dire, j'aide mon mari dans son champ. I, and, and actually the truth is they are producing a lot of the food that's being eaten, that's being sold, that's being marketed. It is a job, yeah? But they never recognize that. So that was one of the areas, recognizing that women actually contribute to production and that they're employed in agriculture was a big gap. Dans, dans la réalité, et elles ont un grand rôle dans la production et toutes ces activités. Tout ce que nous mangeons, les familles contribuent beaucoup. Mais, de la, mais ils ne sont pas reconnus à ce titre comme des gens qui font ce travail et dont ils pourraient gagner de l'argent. Um, but let me very quickly highlight the other inequalities, gender inequalities that were identified. 
Et so, donnez-moi l'occasion rapidement de parcourir d'autres questions d'inégalité. One of the other areas was around land rights. And the, the report found that most countries do not have the legal frameworks that provide protection for women's land rights. Their laws are not protective of women's land rights. Et il faut voir un des points où cette inégalité est vraiment remarquable, c'est concernant les droits d'accès aux terres, aux terres agricoles. On constate que dans la plupart des pays, il n'y a pas de système légaux, la loi ne reconnaît pas, n'a pas créé le système nécessaire pour que les droits d'accès aux femmes à la terre soient reconnus. Um, the report also finds that women are more food insecure than men in every region of the world. And of course, this gap has extended significantly because of COVID. Et le rapport également mentionné que les femmes sont encore davantage dans l'insécurité alimentaire, plus que les hommes, et que ce, cette situation s'est aggravée avec uh, l'avènement de COVID-19. Um, I won't talk about financial services because it's clear that there are huge gender gaps in access to financial services by women. But let me say another thing that they talked about which was really important was a recognition that women work many, many more hours than men. Et je ne parlerai pas de la seule service financier puisque c'est évident que dans, à ce niveau également, les femmes ont moins assez. Mais je mets l'accent sur le fait que le rapport a mentionné que les femmes sont davantage, euh, travaillent davantage beaucoup d'heures plus que les hommes. Elles sont chargées d'activités plus que les hommes. And, and I think this excessive work burden became very clear during COVID, where women were now not only working on the garden, they were taking care of children, they were cooking. So it became very clear how when there are crises, women's work burden increases tremendously. Et à mentionner également, c'est que cela est devenu évident pendant le COVID-19 que et ce travail des femmes à garder les enfants, à produire ici, à produire là, leur donner beaucoup plus d'heures de travail. One of the things, one, I think for me, one of the most important things in the report was for the first time, an agriculture-based report talked about social cultural norms. Et un élément remarquable dans ce rapport était également que c'est la première fois qu'un une documentation comme celle-là, dans le domaine de l'agriculture, mentionne clairement les normes socio-culturelles comme d'éléments. And, and actually recognizing that uh, discriminatory social norms affect women in so many ways, including where women may not be able to go to certain markets which are far away, they, so they don't get to attend some of the trainings, they may not access some markets that are different and also it's also the cause of the uh, having less access to and control over assets. Et vous voyez que beaucoup de normes socioculturelles existent dans nos réalités et qui font obstacle aux femmes et qui aggravent ces inégalités dont nous parlons. Par exemple des marchés quand les marchés sont lointains, on n'accepte pas aux femmes d'y aller et tout cela conditionne les questions d'accès aux ressources eh, dont nous parlons. So when the reason, so these are some of the reasons. There are inequalities, and yet women are playing an important role. Yeah. La raison c'est que il y a beaucoup d'inégalités au même moment que les femmes eh, jouent de, un rôle très important. And there are several reasons again why we need to pay attention. One of the important things why we should always think about paying attention to women is that it, when you go into a household. The men and the, the husband and the wife have different priorities, different preferences. So it's really important to know what are those different preferences. Il faut voir que pourquoi nous devons mettre l'accent sur comment résoudre ces questions d'inégalité. Premièrement, c'est parce que quand nous allons dans nos ménages, il y a que les hommes et les femmes ont différentes priorités. Alors, il faut faire attention aux priorités des uns et des autres afin de trouver eh, l'équilibre. Um, and then there's new evidence or new research that is showing that when a woman is empowered and she can take decisions, 
that really has effect on household nutrition, on their children's nutrition, on who goes to school. So it's really important that wo women are able to control the benefits from the farm and they are able to make those decisions. D'autres recherches ont montré que lorsque les femmes, les capacités des femmes sont renforcées et qu'elles peuvent prendre plus de responsabilité pour ce qui concerne leur maison, alors la sécurité alimentaire est renforcée. Elles ont plus grand rôle à jouer pour la sécurité alimentaire et pour tout le ménage, il y a amélioration. So long ago, they always used to say, you know, when you do agriculture, all you need to access to resources and make sure they have access to the productive resources. Now what they are saying is make sure women are empowered and they can take over decisions, they can take decisions because we see those decisions having a change in the homes. Et avant, ce qui était dit, c'était de travailler à faciliter aux femmes d'avoir accès aux ressources, aux ressources de production. Mais maintenant, ça a changé parce que l'objectif maintenant est tourné vers la, ce, ce, ce qui compte maintenant, c'est de les aider à prendre des décisions, à renforcer leurs capacités. Parce qu'on a vu que quand leur prise de décision, leur capacité de prise de décision change, alors cela produit également des changements positifs pour ce qui concerne eh, leur ménage. So let me now come to why does gender matter in local innovation and participatory innovation development processes. Et laissez-moi venir maintenant sur les questions de pourquoi les questions de genre dans l'innovation locale et le développement participatif de l'innovation. The first one I've just talked about, it's because men and women have differential access to resources, to employment, to land, to inputs, etc. So that's the first one. Le premier, c'est parce que retenez que les hommes et les femmes ont des accès différents à, aux ressources, aux services et aux opportunités. And that means that when you're going to work with women farmers or women innovators, you need to know that first you must help them or remove the barriers to their access to those resources. This is where you start. Et ceci est ainsi dit, quand vous allez travailler avec des groupes de femmes innovateurs, des femmes innovatrices, la première des choses à faire, c'est de les aider à enlever les barrières, les obstacles à leur accès à ces ressources-là. C'est le point de départ. Now, let me talk about the other three, the other three, that uh, men and women, they have they control different enterprises and products. Et ensuite, les autres éléments, c'est parce que les femmes et les hommes ont différents critères pour sélectionner les innovations, les technologies, les options de technologie qui semblent être favorables pour elles. Et aussi, les femmes ont des différences de préférence et de priorité. Et Which of those very quickly? Je vais... Well, the first time I went to work in the field, uh, I was in Malawi, and we started to test technologies with farmers to find out which beans the men and the women preferred. This was my first lesson. I, I was very surprised. And this is the main lesson here, that women may prefer very different things. I think here yeah, you know that, right? Yes? d'une sorte particulière de, de haricots et on demandait aux hommes et aux femmes quelles étaient leurs, leurs options de préférence. Work with women and men farmers so that you can understand that you need to breed different varieties depending on the priorities of men and women differently. Et c'était en ce moment que pour la première fois on a commencé par parler à nos chercheurs et nos groupes de chercheurs que désormais quand vous allez travailler avec les communautés, mettez, soyez sûr de prendre en compte les femmes et les hommes séparément. Ne parlez pas seulement aux hommes, mais parlez aux hommes et aux femmes aussi. Parce que pour ce qui concerne leurs le critères de choix, 
des variétés, ce n'est pas la même chose. And when we were in Uganda, the bean breeder, no, the banana breeder, bred a banana that was this tall, and he was ready to go to the market with it. Actually, nobody bought it because it did not have the taste of matoke. So that was another lesson for us in Uganda. Et également, pour un autre cas, en Ouganda, on a travaillé avec un sélectionneur, un généticien, qui a créé eh, une variété de bananes qui est longue comme ça, haute de taille. Et il pensait que les gens allaient l'acheter quand c'est amené au marché. Personne ne l'a acheté parce que ça n'a pas le goût eh, de la variété que eux ils connaissent qui s'appelle Matoke. And the men really liked it because they were counting the money. Les hommes aiment vraiment ça parce que cela devait permettre de compter beaucoup d'argent. <laughs> our, our second other lesson was is that it's really important to look at what, what, what are the preferences and again they are different for men and women. La deuxième chose est de voir pour ce qui concerne les préférences et des hommes et des femmes et cela permet d'avoir idée clairement sur sur quoi se baser. Again, when you work with women and they prioritize, you'll always find they're prioritizing food security pro, uh, innovations because they are charged with food security. So you really need to pay attention to things like that. Et quand vous travaillez dans ce contexte, vous allez voir que pour les femmes, les aspects qui ont rapport avec la sécurité alimentaire, c'est ça qu'elles regardent. Parce que dans leur ménage, elles, sont, elles ont la responsabilité pour ce que les gens mangent. Donc, elles regardent nécessairement à ces choses. Uh, we, we went to Uganda and we were doing an analysis to see men wanted the egg layer because they wanted something that gives men at the end of the season and take home a big bundle. Nous avons fait un autre travail en Ouganda et sur les volailles, l'élevage des volailles. Et ce que nous avons constaté, c'est que les femmes voudraient des, des, des pondeuses parce que les pondeuses, avec les pondeuses, elles peuvent vendre les œufs tous les jours. Pendant ce même moment, ils ont constaté que ce que les hommes ont choisi, c'est le genre d'activité qu'ils peuvent faire pour avoir ramassé beaucoup d'argent à la fin de la saison, alors que les femmes étaient plutôt intéressées aux activités qui peuvent leur donner de l'argent chaque jour. So the, these are some of the reasons why you need to talk to both of them. But also recognizing that you may have to prioritize two different enterprises. Yeah? Et voilà encore cette raison, pour cette raison, qu'il faut avoir nécessairement à parler aux, aux différents groupes hommes et femmes. Et également avoir une idée que, parce que cela va conduire à avoir différents types d'entreprises pour chacun des groupes, selon le CES. And then the third one is that men and women control different enterprises and different products. Le troisième point, c'est que les hommes et les femmes contrôlent différentes entreprises et différents produits. So they may perform different tasks. They may have specific knowledge for the specific value chain activities. They may have different skills and capacities. But Il they also may face different constraints. Ils peuvent ainsi dans, dans, dans cette voie avoir à faire différentes tâches, différentes tâches dans leurs activités. Et également, ils auront pour, pour leurs activités spécifiques des connaissances parce qu'en pratiquant cette activité. Et pour cette raison, les contraintes qu'ils ont aussi sont différentes. So, what should we do? I have uh, five, slide, five different things that I think are important to do. OK, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? J'ai cinq éléments eh, que je pense qu il faut, auxquels je pense qu'il faut faire attention pour résoudre cette situation. The first one is doing a gender analysis. Le premier est de faire une analyse de genre. Ah, the gender analysis is really important because it starts to tell you who the different roles and responsibilities, the opportunities, the differences in priorities and preferences. It talks about who has different access and control to different resources and what barriers they face. Et la, comme je disais, le premier point, c'est de faire une analyse de genre. 
Et parce que ça permet de voir les différents rôles et responsabilités des hommes et des femmes. Également, leurs opportunités, leurs différences à différents niveaux, en termes de priorités, en termes de préférences. Et ça permet, voilà ce que ça permet de faire euh, d'entrer. So, once you have the gender analysis, it really helps you to start identifying priority practices by men and women, looking at their constraints, identifying how uh, the local innovations, for example, will affect women and men differently, whether it's positive or negative. So these are really important. Now you can start to use that information to help you design your local innovation process or your participatory innovation uh, process. Les différentes pratiques, les innovations que les femmes et les hommes, chacun dans, chacun dans leur position, fait parce que ça vous donne l'idée sur les, les, les différentes pratiques négatives et, et les, différentes, les différentes contraintes et les, 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 les effets négatifs éventuellement lorsqu'il s'agit d'une innovation. Et là, vous vous dirigez à savoir les dispositions à prendre dans votre processus de the development of innovation local. Uh, and I think the important thing for me here is to always make sure that you look at the, you have a criteria that's for men and women, so that you're making sure you're listening to both of them. Et ce qui fait que dans votre préparation, il faut avoir des critères qui sont spécifiques aux femmes et également aux hommes. Ça vous permet de ne pas passer en oubli un groupe. And then in the last part, uh, especially when you're talking about joint experimentation, it's making sure that women are involved as decision makers, as deciding what to experiment, which experiments are important. It's giving priority to women's in innovations and their areas of interest. Et quand nous parlons particulièrement de l'expérimentation conjointe, il est important de s'assurer que les femmes participent, les femmes participent non seulement juste pour participer, mais qu'elles aient la possibilité de prendre des décisions sur ce qu'elles aimeraient faire comme cette expérimentation conjointe. Ainsi, vous êtes sûr de les prendre en compte. So make sure that the topics for experimentation also consider what women also want to improve, not only what men want to improve. Pren up, okay. Prenez en compte que ce que les femmes Dans, dans, votre thème, dans votre thème pour l'expérimentation le, le, conjointe, soyez sûr que vous avez pu prendre en compte ce que les hommes voudraient qu'on en parle, mais aussi ce que les femmes voudraient qu'on considère. Uh, and sometimes it's also thinking about the experimentation plots. It's very simple things. How far are they? Can women access them as well? What time are you doing the experimentation? All these are really important constraints that need to be addressed. Et particulièrement, ça peut, être, ça peut paraître banal, mais pour nous, là où vous placez les champs, les parcelles d'expérimentation, à quelle distance ça se trouve, quel jour vous choisissez pour aller faire les observations, c'est des éléments importants qui permettent aux femmes d'être impliquées. The next thing that I want to mention, and I don't know to what extent uh, Prolinova has started to think about these gender transformative approaches. Et le troisième chose, la troisième chose dont je veux parler, et je ne sais pas à quel point Prolinova a déjà commencé à l'aborder, ça concerne les approches de genre transformatif, ou les approches transformatives pour le genre. Is, is Prolinova now thinking about issues around challenging or changing discriminatory social norms as an important issue? It's a question. Une question pour savoir si est-ce que Prolinova a commencé par travailler sur comment changer les discriminations qui existent, les normes de discrimination qui existent dans les communautés. If you're not, I'm putting the challenge out there to you now. Et si ce n'est pas encore le cas, alors je mets le défi là maintenant pour vous. And it's basically making sure that you're having conversations in households in communities to look at what are those things that are pulling us back that are, are really social cultural, that really should not be. And, and opening the dialogue and looking at what are the win-win situations in the homes, in the community.
Et cela commence par le fait que, en tant que, en tant que, que vous travaillez sur le terrain, de trouver des occasions, d'avoir des conversations avec des gens dans leur maison, dans la communauté, pour comprendre exactement où est-ce que se situent ces normes socioculturelles qui sont néfastes au rôle des femmes. Et ainsi faisant, vous pourriez savoir quelles sont les dispositions qui peuvent créer des situations gagnant-gagnant autour des ménages et dans ces communautés-là. So one one of the ways in which we've seen this is, for example, if the woman is so busy in the house that she's not able to go to the market to sell the products, what are the ways that the house can work together to support that? So that we reduce this work burden, it's redistributed to others. And, and actually, one of the programs I worked with uh, when I was in FAO, we reached a point where men were beginning to help in the household so that she has time to go to train, she has time to go to the market to sell the products, and she has time to do all the other things that actually make f money for the household. Et en exemple aussi, le constat est que les femmes sont très chargées par les activités, les tâches domestiques. Cela ne leur donne pas le temps même d'aller au marché pour vendre, alors il y a un problème là. Et pour ça, c'est comment arranger la situation. Pour un projet, quand j'étais encore à la FAO, on est arrivé à travailler pour que même les hommes commencent à aider leurs femmes dans les ménages à la maison, afin que les tâches soient redistribuées pour permettre que and of course, changing these norms, we all know they will take time, but they also involve working with both men, working with boys. So starting with our boys now, I'm telling you, we need to start with our boys now so that we can start to change the mentality and we can start to really change these norms, but it also means working with the holders of the traditional norms as well, so that you're changing them. But you don't do it in a threatening way. You are doing it as a win-win situation. Et nous savons tous que approcher ce genre de changement prend du temps. Et cela nécessite de travailler aussi bien avec les femmes que les hommes. Et ensuite, avec les jeunes, les jeunes garçons, pour qu'ils comprennent cette réalité, commence par intégrer ça plus facilement. Et aussi, eh, les autorités communautaires, les, les, ceux, ceux qu'on appelle les sages, qui sont gardiens de la tradition et des normes existantes, afin que, pas en les pressant, mais en leur décrivant des possibilités, des situations qui peuvent donner à ce que gagnant, gagnant. And uh, I've just put some examples there, because now there's many organizations that are leaders in this area. So the tools are there that we can borrow. There is lots of tools from Oxfam, from CARE, from other organizations called Promundo. So we don't have to recreate them. They are there. So le let, let us start to learn because this is the way agriculture is moving finally. Et j'ai mis quelques exemples là d'approches que certaines organisations sont déjà en train d'expérimenter. Et pour nous, nous n'avons pas besoin de recréer la roue, à la roue, mais de prendre exemple sur eux. Il y a et OXA, OXFAM, Yake, et d'autres organisations qui ont ces documents disponibles qu'on peut exploiter. So, one of the other things that I've learned in all my years of working is you can speak as much as you want about women uh, being in leadership, participating in PID processes, but for that to happen, you also have to be intentional in how you engage them. Et un élément que j'ai appris par expérience euh, euh, dans mon travail, c'est que tu as beau avoir le discours qu'il faut impliquer les femmes dans, le, dans, dans, dans telle activité ou les mettre en position de leadership, mais cela ne suffit pas. L'essentiel dépendra de comment toi-même tu t'assures de les engager. So it's important, for example, to engage with them where they congregate, where they are working together or even leveraging on existing rural organizations. Because once you, rural women's organizations, that allows you an entry point where you can go find them and engage with them. Et un premier aspect est de les engager dans les milieux, dans les plateformes, dans les espaces où elles se rassemblent 
euh, partagent et socialisent ensemble ou travaillent ensemble. Par exemple, vous pouvez vous appuyer sur les organisations féminines existant dans le milieu en tant que point d'entrée parce que ça vous favorise le travail. And but the other really important thing is that for them to go ahead and take on these leadership positions, you really must also increase their skills. You must increase their leadership skills, give them uh, skills so they can speak out. So really, a lot of training is needed as well. Et un autre point également est d'améliorer, de, de renforcer leur capacité de leadership. Et il faut les former, ça demande de les former pour qu'elles deviennent davantage confiantes en elles et qu'elles améliorent leur estime de soi, leur autoconfiance. Et également, cela va permettre à ce qu'elles sachent prendre des décisions et commencer à agir comme cela se doit. Because once you build their skills, then they are able to stand up, to speak, to, to really uh, know how to share their perspectives and their views in ways that are, allow them to be heard. Et une manière de le faire est lorsque vous renforcez leur capacité, cela leur permet d'être plus libre à s'exprimer, à dire leur compréhension, à dire où le problème se trouve et à faire entendre leur voix afin qu'elles puissent être aidées. And then the last thing that I wanted to share is we as individuals can do all this, but we need the organizations we work in to also pay attention to gender issues. Et le dernier point auquel je veux parler, c'est que nous, en tant qu'individus, c'est bon, nous pouvons tenter de faire toutes ces choses, mais nos organisations dans lesquelles nous travaillons, on a besoin de les mettre également à ce niveau. Because it's important that these organizations are recruiting women extension officers, they are recruiting and retaining them, or, and they are recruiting gender experts, for example. Et par exemple, recruter des agents de vulgarisation qui sont des femmes et les maintenir dans le système. They are also making sure that women are actually getting into the leadership positions, which is what my job, my organization does. Et également, travailler pour que les femmes puissent commencer à prendre des postes de responsabilité dans leur organisation. Et c'est ce que je fais dans, pour l'organisation avec laquelle je travaille. And, but also strengthening capacity of the people working there on how to integrate gender. Often people don't integrate gender not because they are refusing, but because of the lack of capacity. So strengthening that capacity is always important. Et il a remarqué que des gens dans certaines organisations ne refusent, refusent d'intégrer, n'intègrent pas le genre dans leur projet parce qu'ils ne connaissent pas. Pour cela, il faut renforcer les capacités des différents acteurs travaillant dans, dans les différents secteurs afin qu'en ce moment, ils soient capables d'intégrer le genre dans leur activité. And of course, finally, that requires that these organizations are actually allocating resources et enfin, il est très important que l'organisation en question puisse allouer des ressources directement aux activités concernant le genre dans leur budget. That's all I had for you today. Voilà, c'est quelques mots que j'ai voulu partager avec vous. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Can we give another applause Nous pouvons oui. applaudir to Susan. à Suzanne. That's a very good job. C'était un très bon travail. She has enlightened us a lot on the topic. Elle nous a beaucoup parlé de ce sujet. I don't know whether I should attempt uh, a summary. Will I be diluting? There's a lot that she has Je really provided. Si. Je ne sais pas si je peux essayer de faire un sommaire de ce qu'elle qu a dit. Just a few points. Uh, Peut-être à quelques petits points. She started by uh, underline, underlining the importance of women in agri-food agri -food systems. Elle a commencé par souligner l'importance des femmes dans les systèmes agri-food. But uh, also the inequalities Et that exist that prevents uh, women in actually realizing their full potential and, and contributing fully 
to agri food systems. Elle a aussi souligné l'importance de, de, de pouvoir donner aux femmes la capacité de participer dans les euh, systèmes pour euh, des aliments. Oui. Why is gender very important in local innovation? PID. Pourquoi est-ce que les femmes sont très importantes dans les innovations euh, des pays? And uh, how do we help or how do we plan and facilitate the integration of gender in the uh, PID processes? Et comment organiser uh, les programmes pour intégrer l'affaire là de gendre dans les processus? Uh, she mentioned the fact that women and men control different enterprises and products. Elle a aussi mentionné que les femmes et les hommes contrôlent différents pro uh, pro uh, produits. Et donc, quand on parle de uh, ces projets, nous devons considérer les femmes. One of the important things that we have to note is about uh, ensuring a very strong gender analysis when we are planning PID and local innovation processes. La, la chose que je vais uh, bien souligner, c'est que nous devons faire une très bonne analyse des gendres quand nous préparons ces programmes. And every stage of the local, the PID and local innovation process, we should be looking at how we integrate gender. Et nous devons penser à comment intégrer l'affaire là de gendre dans tout le processus des, uh, des pays. And, uh, women participation in, uh, leadership Et la participation des femmes dans le leadership. As far as uh, PID and local innovation is very important, and for that matter, we should be very deliberate. En ce qui concerne le programme des pays et même les innovations, et ça veut dire que nous devons délibérer sur to women and their in this et cibler comment intégrer les femmes dans le, euh, le programme que nous avons. So this is a summary. I think we will all have access to the full presentation that we can ça, un uh, sommaire. learn from. Et je crois que nous allons tous savoir uh, ce document là de comment et comment l'utiliser. Pour réaliser nos objectifs. Once again, on behalf of uh, the group here, on behalf of Prolonova, I want to thank uh, Suzanne. Nous voulons uh, encore remercier Suzanne well for this, uh, de la part de Prolinova uh, pour cette bonne présentation. Thank you. Merci. So our next uh, item has to do with the visual exhibition. Yesterday we had exhibition, physical exhibitions here. Hier, nous avons eu des expositions uh, en présentiel. Maintenant, nous voulons uh, avoir des, exp uh, des exposés ou des expositions uh, virtuelles. And that basically was uh, covering the Africa Prolonova Pro uh, platforms in Africa. Et uh, là, on a uh, eu des, expos des expositions uh, des groupes de Prolinova de l'Afrique. Today, we we'll have the virtual exhibitions from Prolinova Asia. That is a uh, Uh, South India and Nepal. Nous allons avoir aujourd'hui des expositions de l'Asie et en Inde, uh, ça veut dire uh, de Népal. Maintenant, je voudrais uh, passer le micro à Shesha qui, nous a, nous a, qui va nous guider sur ça. Um, well, Susan, before I go into what I'm going to say, I'm sure you go have to acknowledge at least half of the farm innovators here today are women. Uh, D'abord, uh, avant de continuer à ma présentation, Suzanne, vous allez reconnaître que la majorité des innovatrices qui sont ici sont des femmes. Because when we started Prolinova, I remember going to places where Anne and I were the only women. Uh, je me rappelle quand on a commencé Prolinova, quand on a commencé, il n'y avait que moi et elle qui, se, qui étaient les innovatrices. And we bang the gender drum pretty hard. Et nous avons beaucoup parlé de ce, cette affaire-là de gendre. We've got a long way more to go. Uh, nous allons un très long voyage. But we are on the journey. Mais déjà, nous sommes dans le trajet. Okay, so now, we are going to Asia. So I'm happy I'm here because at least My son and I are the only Asians here, as I said yesterday. Aujourd'hui, nous allons en Asie, mais comme je vous l'ai dit, c'est moi et mon fils seulement qui sont de l'Asie ici aujourd'hui. 
I'm waiting for the day when we can have a real international global farm innovation fair. Et j'espère d'avoir un jour uh, une exposition uh, virtuelle très grande. Where everybody can be in one space. Où tout le monde peut être dans le même espace. Learn across continents. Et apprendre à travers les continents différents. And we'll have a lot of translation to do. Et nous allons à faire beaucoup. Nous avons besoin de beaucoup de traductions à faire. And we'll need people with deep pockets to help us out. Et nous allons avoir besoin de beaucoup de peuples avec uh, qui qui vont uh, le faire. So the people who have been in the donor. Susan, Samuel, yeah. Les personnes qui ont été dans le, le, euh, le donateur qu'on avait, nous, nous pouvons nous lancer. Um, what I have to say about these videos are uh, ce the que je veux dire avec, uh, sur ces vidéos, uh, they were given very short notice to make these videos. Ils ont été, ils ont été, on les a avertis, on, on les a donné un peu de temps pour préparer ces vidéos. It's almost uncut, uh, unedited versions that have come. Uh, ce sont des vidéos qui n'ont pas été modifiées. Ils sont tout originaires comme ils étaient. Ils étaient. On ne les a pas modifiés pour uh, le, les rendre uh, un peu bons. They are spoken in Nepali and they are spoken in uh, uh, Malayalam, which is the language from Kerala in India. Ils ont utilisé des langues de l'Asie, uh, le Nepali et l'autre. It's subtitled in English. Mais il y a des sous-titres en anglais. So the way we are going to do it is that we will show you one video. Et euh, la manière dont nous, nous allons le faire, nous allons vous démontrer une vidéo. And then uh, Paul will do a summary translation. Et puis Paul va vous donner un, euh, une interprétation sommaire de tout ce qu'il y a dans le, la vidéo. Without breaking the video at uh, intervals. En, au lieu de couper la vidéo dans des phases ou bien des intervalles. So, let's give it a try and see how it works. Nous pouvons essayer et voir comment ça va marcher. Learning center. Bala mali agriculture. Sang sangi education la bin permit gani isable. Ra future farmer ko sir jan mani. Ra future farmer jan manu ko life. Bidar si bidar la ister. Ma kornne ekdam young generation, young energetic, innovative. Bai bai ni bala ko sir yamne bichar aur bala beosai group ma. Unula yamne sikne sikam ni baatan gana sokin jo manne paha bara. यो एमबीएस मल्टीपर्पज लर्निंग सेंटर ले भूमिका खेले कुछ है जून भूमिका में महिले ये प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर के हिसाब ले एग्रीकल्चर संबंधी महिले जिम्मेदारी ली देगा था तो जिम्मेदारी में महिले अपनो भूमिका खेले कुछ तो भूमिका खेल देगा था हमने एमबीएस एग्री मल्टीपर्पज लर्निंग सेंटर में हमने ऑटोमेटिक वो एक बड़ा ऑटोमेटिक पानी निश्चित ने करा रहे हो ऑटोमेटिक आमले में थी बड़ा दाना दाने करा रहे हो भूसा दाने करा रहे हो इसलिए अब एक किस्म को ये बड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन का करा भी नहीं रहा हो समझा नहीं ये बड़ा इंडियन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट में तो प्राइस कॉस्ट मिनिमाइज करने को आप ही ने लाइन मोड देना जरूर करेगा। हम लोग ऐसे ही यो सामनाचन बना सो वाले, यो सामनाचन बना उधर घर का हम लोग गोट में व्यवस्थित तरीके से पीसा एक तीर दाने, रह गोबर एक डांगले एक तीर कलेक्शन हुए पार्ट वाले पीसा हम लोग पानी थ्रू अब यो सेट को छोंछों में ह एक हम अ कलेक्शन होता है हम लोगों ने टीम की बनाया था जो अंडरग्राउंड है हम लोग पाइपिंग फिटिंग कर रहे हैं ये पुणे पर नहीं था मैं बहुत को पुणे पर नहीं था मैं गायले पिसा बाजा तो पिसा अंडरग्राउंड एक हम कलेक्शन पॉइंट बनाया था पिसा ब्रो पिसा ब्रो तो तो हम कलेक्शन होता है वाने गोबर और पानी बाय गैस तेरा दाने दोस्त मिला सो यार मैं तब लाइक तो पूरा दिखाने चाहिए तो अच्छा मानी इसलिए मॉल को रुक में काम करोस और को तो जोल माला अलीकते हमले मॉडिफाई कर रहे विभिन्न तो का पूरा जो तारकारी बारी और में इस विषय तां कई कॉस्ट आप इंसान इवन हमले इन व्यतीत तो हमें 
यो काम करते हुए हमें एकदम संतुष्ट छो कि हम्रे फार्म में हमें एवं विद्यार्थी लेवल देखि किसान स्तरसम यह कुछ हमें प्रमाणित कर सकता छो देखा सकता छो रो कुछ में हमी विश्वस्त होना सकता छो कि अब हमीस आग ये ठूल समस्या एवं भाइरस को समस्या भी थी अर्क माइक्रो न्यूट्रेन्स को कारण आगे कमी को कारण समस्या भी निदान कर एकदम स्वस्थ अवस्था में मस्त अवस्था में आगे स्थिति रो कुछ हमी भी विश्वस्त छो कि अब आने दिन में यह खाल ज्ञान यो खाल वस्तु हमें किसान बीच दिन को एक पटक रेगुलर जो हम पांच हफ्ता जी हम रेगुलर दिन को एक पटक हम थ्रू हमें इस हंड्रेड पर्सेंट अज इसको कलर आकार इसमें कत हिट हिट में पुगे कि डिप इरिगेशन थ्रू भी हमें कर एक भाग बराबर एक बोतल एक लिटर को बोतल हो हमें इसमस हल्ला इसमस हमें चला जो चला इसको सोलूसन पोर्सन लाई रिप्स कंट्रोल में ली रही रखना तो क्या तब स्पष्ट देखना सकूँ रो चीज हमें फोलियर स्प्रे तब स्पष्ट देखना सकूँ रहा फिर मैं आज के दिन फिर दोसों पटक स्प्रे करते एकदम जर्जर रिम स्थिति में थे रफ्ता को दुई पटक रेगुलर स्प्रे कर सके चिस्यान छो चिस्यान हमें एक इस टू फाइव एक भाग बराबर पांच भाग बुराब पानी मिश्रित कर थोपा सिंचाई बड़ा हमें डाइरेक्ट यहाँ पठा भी छो मैं ये हेन सकूँ थोपा सिंचाई में जहाँ जहाँ तब चिस्यान देखने भाग योग झोल में मिशा हमें डाइरेक्ट थोपा सिंचाई बड़ा हमें सिंचाई को व्यवस्था मिला तब स्पष्ट देखना सकूँ Okay, so basically what I have to say about the video is the man who was doing the guitar here, he's a farming innovator himself. Ce que vous avez vu là, c'est que cet homme est un euh, paysan innovateur lui-même. His name is Shekhar. Son nom est Shekhar. He is a famous rooftop garden innovator. Il est un paysan innovateur qui met euh, roof, rooftop. Euh, qui fait des toits. Uh, he lives in Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. Il, il, il habite à, euh, dans la capitale du Népal. And, uh, not a lot of space. Il n'y a pas beaucoup d'espace dans cette ville-là. Mais il est arrivé à faire un, ga un jardin d'Éden sur son toit. I mean, he has trees growing on his rooftop. Wow. Même des arbres sont en train de gra grandir sur les toits de, celle, de sa maison. Et single-handedly, il a taught at least 4,000 personnes in Kathmandu to set up roof gardens. Et il est arrivé à toucher près d'une quarantaine de personnes à également faire les toits et pour, leur produ pour produire. So when we said, can somebody make a video? He said, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll make a video. Et quand on lui a demandé de faire une vidéo, il a dit, oui, oui, qui va le faire? There's a lot about the quality we can improve. Et il y a beaucoup de choses dedans qu'on peut améliorer, dont on peut am encore améliorer la qualité. But what I like about it is the spirit of wanting to share 
also across the continent with us. Et déjà ce que j'ai apprécié c'est son sa façon de voir qu'on peut partager à travers les continents. So this other person is uh, from America but he's you know he's uh, he's in Amer- I have never met him. Et ce lui qui est de ce côté, je ne l'ai encore jamais rencontré il est également un paysan innovateur. But basically he's using the urine and the dung that is in his uh, in his farm. Et celui-ci lui, il est en train d'utiliser l'urine des vaches dans son champ. To make all kinds of botanical preparations for for his garden. Tout pour faire toutes sortes de produits organiques uh, qu'il est dans son exploitation dans son champ. Uh, which is of course uh, there's a lot of demand for because it's in a city. Et les gens en demandent beaucoup de son produit parce que c'est efficace. And it's also technologies which are space saving. Et c'est aussi une technologie qui est, euh, fait une économie d'espace. So basically, we have to have a global energy market because we can share so much across the continent. Et là, vous pourriez voir qu'il y a tellement de choses à partager entre les, nos différents continents. Okay, so is Merci. That, that's good enough as a translation, I hope, or as a summary. Because I think J'espère visually que cela a été vraiment succinct comme tra- tra- traduction pour vous de tout ce qui est dit, mais je pense que c'est suffisant. I mean, it's giving all kinds of various zeros of how much we have to mix and all of that, but that's all agronomical. Uh, je n'ai pas voulu aller dans les détails des pourcentages de combinaisons qu'il faut faire parce que c'est assez agronomique ça. And if anybody wants the information, I'll get it for you. Et si quelqu'un a besoin de ces informations, je pourrais m'arranger et vous les donner. All right, so we'll go for the next one. Nous allons à la prochaine vidéo. Namaste, Sarat Kumar Mali, City Food for the Satin Sir Tanaki, Tanakari, Nidia Tanko, Yanatani, Kitty Kurma, Business Kari, Kitty Kurma, Palika, where number Panta Sat At, Wadako, Karma, and it's for Sankum Dani, Queeni, Nakuni for Setiani, a Queeni for Bata, Nizi, your compost ball, Tangiki ball banani. काम कर देता तो और इसको लागी है बिजनेस करी और कोई नहीं फॉर हम लोग जी दिवारी ग्रुप में खाल दर मापने पर नोट सकते हैं बीन कम पसंद पर नोट सकते हैं तो रहा ये हम लोग तो नॉर्मल सामान जैसे सामने होता है इससे लोग बिजनेस बेटर हम लोग तो ये कंपोस्ट मल पनावने खाल नहीं करेगा सो Yes, 
यो होस मिसाओ ने अच्छा जो पहले को जो कंपोस्टिंग बाहर से की बाकी वाले चुकरा रो मिलाओ ने रात्रि तेल ईएम बैक रहे अभी जितने समय रात हो तो इस तरह यो से बायो इसाम में से जो अमेरिका जो जीवन हो जीवन होते हैं अमेरिका बैक तेरे साथ में तो ये बैक तो काम बैक उपस्� Et ça aussi vient de Népal et vous pourriez voir que ça s'explique de soi-même parce que tout concerne comment utiliser les déchets urbains pour faire les composts. C'est ça qui est particulier chez les innovateurs. Ils voient l'opportunité partout. And it's a win-win situation because the urban people are very happy because he's collecting the waste and recycling it. Et cela rend les, cela donne une situation gagnant-gagnant et rend heureux les habitants dans leur communauté parce que ils se chargent de ramasser leurs déchets et de les eh, mettre en valeur. And many people are buying the compost because it's affordable to buy. Et beaucoup achètent ces composts là de ces innovateurs parce que c'est c'est à moins de coût. And we are getting organic vegetables to eat. Et qui et ainsi peuvent avoir facilement des légumes et fruits organiques euh, biologiques facilement à manger. So once again, the video is also made by another farm innovator. La vidéo a aussi été faite par un paysan innovateur. Because Sheikha is like on fire. You only have to tell him something, he's off. Doing it. Sheka, celui qui a aidé à faire cette vidéo là auprès de l'autre, est toujours en feu. Il est très, il veut travailler. Une fois que vous lui demandez de faire quelque chose, il saute sur le gazon. Il veut déjà le faire. And that's also something probably for us to learn that I mean, he's not waiting for us to say anything to him. He's like going. If he thinks he has to go and teach 200 people, he'll just do it. Et ainsi, c'est aussi quelque chose que dont nous pouvons apprendre. Parce qu'il n'attend pas que quelqu'un lui demande quelque chose, lui donne quelque chose. Et euh, aussitôt qu'il a la possibilité, il y va pour entraîner et former d'autres. Even when we asked him to do this, he never said, oh, I don't know how I'm going to go there. I don't think I have money. Or, I mean, I didn't hear anything. Now I need to find out whether he spent any of his own money to try to figure out how to do some, some money transfer to him. Et il faut voir également que quand je lui ai demandé ça, il y est allé avec ses propres moyens pour le faire, il n'a pas dit, ah, comment je vais y arriver, où est-ce que je trouvais les moyens de le faire. Et c'est peut-être maintenant que c'est là que je vais devoir la, le rappeler, demander comment il s'en est pris, éventuellement lui transférer eh, la contrepartie. Why do I say this? Pourquoi je dis cela? Because we got used to having donor funds. Parce que nous avons été habitués à recevoir, à avoir les, les fonds des, don, des, des bailleurs. And we need to change that mentality. Et nous avons besoin de changer cette mentalité. If there is a will, there is a way. If there is a will, there is a way. Là où il y a la volonté, il y a le pouvoir. And we'll find it. Et nous trouvons cela. So, all right. Now, what's the time? We've got to stop for tea. Because we can do the others tomorrow if we are already in tea.
Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so we will do the other ones tomorrow because we've got a slot tomorrow as well. And to now we've got to do, I'll give it, hand it over to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, <laughs> Sasha, and then uh, with the support of Janice that we are seeing uh, innovations from uh, Asia. So we suggest we visit the Benin table. Yesterday they were missing, they were still traveling. <coughs> and then from there we'll go for tea because we've saved some time from Sasha's presentation that we can take advantage to visit the Benin table. And then from there we'll go for break. Thank you. 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 Thank Avant de partir, um, I would just like to prepare for the panel discussion that will be taking place after tea. Je voudrais préparer pour la séance de panel qui va avoir lieu après la pause. So when we finished looking at the Benin table, après avoir visité le, la table là des Bénin, Béninois. Please can the panelists come to the front and meet me here? J'aimerais demander aux gens qui vont participer dans la séance prochaine de venir ici me rencontrer. So the people are Charity and Devo. Ça veut dire il s'agit de Charity and Devo. Sunny Guerra. Sunny Guerra. Helen Mangwa in Alukava. Et finalement Magdalene Alukava. So before tea if they can just meet me here for a minute. Avant la pause, ils peuvent Please come to Benin. Stand, please. Vous pouvez vous rassembler ici dans le stand de Béninois. Venez au stand du Bénin, s'il vous plaît. On va, on va revenir sur les stands. Après, on va revenir sur les posters. Il faut vous concentrer sur ce qui est ici. Elle qui dit qu'il va interpréter. Ou des mots directement en français. Je m'appelle Sani Guerra Nyontori. Ah, Je suis la Sani. présidente de l'Union communale des coopératives de femmes de Banikwara. I am uh, Sani. Au Bénin, département de la Libori. I come from the area called uh, the Bab de Papori. Ali Bori. De Bori, Benin. Mm. She's the president of Women Farmers uh, Innovators. Mm -hmm. no, nous avons une union communale des coopératives de femmes. Uh, we have a, a, a group of women. Donc c'est au groupement de femmes que le projet Navinot a consulté pour fait la préparation des aliments traditionnels laissés. Uh, we are a group of women who are trying to come up with uh, traditional foods. C'est comme ça qu'on a organisé une fois pour présenter des aliments traditionnels bariba et des aliments traditionnels peul. And that is how we were able to organize for a fair where we were showcasing our uh, traditional foods. C'est après, euh, après avoir choisi ces 20 animaux traditionnels, Bariba et Peul, qu'on a identifié 5 aliments. 
after showcasing all the traditional foods, we had decided to choose on specific ones so that we could uh, exhibit them here today. Donc, c'est ces, ces animaux qu'on a préparés et le docteur a prélevé pour aller faire les analyses pour voir dans tous ces aliments le nombre de, de sel cube énergie qui existe. Ce qui manque, c'est à base de tout ce qui manque qu'on a fait ces animaux améliorés là. Uh, and what we try to do, we try to uh, analyze each and every one of these uh, uh, foods to see what the content was so that uh, uh, we can uh, improve on their quality. Dans les cinq aliments là, on a encore maintenu les deux. And from all the ones we had, we only uh, uh, managed to identify these two. C'est comme ça qu'on a, ce qu'on faisait là, le, grâce au projet Navinot, ils ont mis leur connaissance et on a amélioré. Uh, they, uh, that, that is how we managed to identify this one and improve its quality. Nous on faisait notre uh, wagaru à base du maïs uh, pilé et haricot non pilé. Uh, C'est tout. We managed to make what we are calling here wagaru, uh, which is made uh, with the maize and beans. Grâce à l'appui de Navinot, uh, avec les animaux qui manquaient pour que ça soit un animal complet qui contient le fer, l'énergie, tous les trois animaux complets, là, les trois vitamines uh, ABC, qu'on a mis l'haricot pour renforcer et le feu de baobab, moringa du moins, et les feux de moringa. Ok, so that we were able by the help of uh, that organization to improve on the quality so that we could have all the vitamins. We have uh, iron and we have uh, uh, the other uh, nutrients which are uh, from uh, the leaves of uh, baobab and even moringa. Oh, pour, prépa pour préparer le wagaru, il faut d'abord piler le maïs. Uh, first of all, you should peel all the maize. Faire le pré-cuit. Uh, and... Uh, Pré-cuit. Ok, you boil it. Sécher. Dry it. Après, piler le l'haricot. Uh, and also peel the beans. Sécher. Dry it. Laver proprement moulenga. And uh, clean properly the moringa leaves. Sécher à l'ombre. Dry it under a shade. Sec. And make it dry. Et au produit finish, on fait le mélange. And after finishing all that, we do a mixture of everything. C'est riche pour la nutrition des enfants, même pour les grands. It's Puisque very ça contient tous les trois animaux. Uh, as a nutrition for children and for those who are even sick. Et ça contient tous les aliments nutritifs. And that contains all the nutrition, uh, uh, the, 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 the proteins, the, the carbohydrates and the vitamins, everything. Et ça devient une agir pour l'autonomisation de la femme pour l'UCCF. And that way, we have been able to empower the women in our region. Et pour lutter contre la malnutrition des enfants. And we have been able to fight food insecurity in our region and for our children. Ceci c'est Kampanu. This one is called Kampanu. Mbui traditionnel de Bariba. It is a porridge, a traditional porridge from Bariba. C'est toujours à base du sorgho. It is also made from sorghum. Le sorgho que vous voyez là, on le tape. Uh, the sorghum that you're seeing here. Mm. On tape. We crush it. On van. Uh, we sieve it. On lave proprement les graines. We clean uh, the, the grains. Enlever tous les déchets. And remove all the waste from it. Laver proprement. We clean it properly again. Mis dans, le, dans une salle propre. We put it in a clean uh, bag. Pilé. And then, uh, avec tous les, tous les nécessaires très propres. Uh, with everything that has been cleaned up. Pilé. We peel it again. Déposé au moins une heure de temps. Uh, we, give it, we, we put it somewhere for Repilé some time. encore. And then we continue the process again. Fermenter durant une journée. We ferment the, 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 the mixture for a day. Quand c'est fermenté le lendemain, maintenant on sèche. 
Avec deux jours de séchage, ça devient très sec. After two days of drying, it becomes very, very dry. Maintenant, on fait la masse du sorgho, de ce même sorgho-là. And then we take the sorghum. Après avoir fini de faire la masse, on amène au moulin, on moule ça bien, uh, comme c'est pour les enfants. We, are, we take it to a, a machine where we grind everything properly. On grille le soja. And then we add the so, uh, soya beans. On fait la poudre de soja. And then we make the soya powder. Il y a la poudre de baobab. And then, and, and even uh, the, 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 the flour from baobab. Qu'on mesure tout When à base de everything. la quantité de pampano. According to the uh, quantities given to us Chacun by a sa quantité qu'on doit mettre. Uh, we measure the quantities which we have to put in the Et mixture. Et tous les produits finis, on met dans la salle très propre. And now, after that, we put it and uh, we put the mixture in a bag, a clean Avec bag. Avec les gants. Uh, with the gloves. L'habillement. And even the clothes that we put on. Les cachets. And even uh, uh, mouth masks. We, ca we, we cover ourselves with masks. Dans la salle très propre, on n'amène pas les saucisses. Il y a déjà les saucisses qui sont là. In that room where we are doing all these processes, we don't even get in there with shoes. Et on mélange pour faire le produit fini. And we uh, uh, make that final product and uh, package it like this. C'est un animal nutritif, surtout very, pour les enfants. It's a very nutritious kind of meal, especially for the children. C'est ce qui a été amélioré grâce au produit, au projet Navinot. Uh, it is uh, one of the things that was improved by the uh, Navinot project. À travers le Dr. George. Uh, used, uh, with the help of Dr. John. Ce que nous on faisait. Uh, what we do. Ça fait pampano fermenté et préparé directement. Uh, this pampano is uh, prepared uh, directly. C'est grâce au projet qu'on a pu mettre dans les étiquettes et les faire en farine et mélanger. Uh, is, uh, uh, through that we've been able to come up with uh, this flour for porridge, which is clean. Et ça là encore, c'est bon pour les enfants et pour les adultes puisque c'est une bouillie que tout le monde prend. And it is a very nutritious uh, Et ça devient une agir aussi pour les femmes, pour les groupements, uh, for pour avoir l'autonomisation de la femme. And that way we've been able to empower the women because this uh, porridge can be used by children and others all together. Ce que je tiens ici, ça fait 2000. Uh, what I'm carrying here is around the 2000 uh, uh, francs. Ceci, c'est 500, mais 1000 francs. That one is uh, uh, 500 Francs. Les trois autres sont 500, 500. Uh, the other ones are 500 each also. Wagaro aussi, ceci c'est 2000. And this one is 2000. Ceci c'est 1000 francs. This one is uh, 1000. Les trois francs. autres sont à 500, 500. And all these are for 500 uh, francs. Hmm? D'accord, je tiens à remercier le projet Proliminiva qui nous a amené aussi pour présenter ces animaux traditionnels améliorés de Banikwara. C'est pour la première fois que nous venons de suivre ce genre de conférence. Je tiens à remercier tous les conférenciers, ceux qui ont participé pour la mise en œuvre, tous les organisateurs, tous les néga négociateurs de cet atelier. Merci infiniment. I want to take this opportunity to thank Prolinova for giving us the opportunity to showcase our uh, uh, innovation uh, in an uh, international platform. I want to thank all the people who help us to realize this, and I want to also thank you for the, the organizers of the conference. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci pour la présentation. Oh, ceux qui sont concernés par... Ceux qui sont concernés par le panel dont Brigitte a cité les noms, allez la rencontrer devant. Those who are we've mentioned who are going to be in the panel discussion, you are requested to meet uh, Brigitte at the podium there. Le reste, vous pouvez commencer votre pause café. And the others, you can take your break and have your coffee. Thank you. Enjoy. Merci. <laughs> to 
today we are here at a benignous place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, ward in Makweni county to know more about uh, the improvement that she has made in her local innovation organic fruit fly trap. Welcome Benigna. I do the farming with, my, with the assistance of my husband who is here and we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example, here I have a, I have a kind of fruit which I have used the organic fruit fly and it's doing on well. How do you make uh, the, your local uh, organic fruit fly trap? These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon, this is a lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey, one glass of a lemon juice. I add one spoon, tablespoon of honey, and I use two, two glasses of water. I add together and I stir well, so that I make this, now this juice, which I use it as the medicine I use. I go on, I use local materials. These are the bottles we use for water. I just do holes all around, halfway. I do holes whereby the insect comes and gets in and they are being trapped. I used it by hanging. Let's get inside the bottle. They know they don't fly away because they have been trapped by the lemon juice which is inside the honey and the water. Thereby, I use the insects to feed my young chicks at home. Okay, I do the work with the help of my husband who is just here and he can do, he can say more about the innovation. Uh, in this form of innovation, it is cheap because we just use local materials like lemons, water, honey. Uh, the, the materials are available in our farm. Uh, we use the organic organic trap, blue fly trap to control blue fly trap um, insects. We control them in mango trees, man, uh, guavas, pumpkins, and also in lemony fruits. Now, having heard of uh how the local uh, in the innovation is being concocted. Could you kindly tell us what made you embark on this local innovation? What made me to do this innovation? I was sometimes going around my farm and I see a lot of fruits which are just on the ground due to insects and I had no enough money to buy the hungry pet medicines. So I decided to do something to see whether I can prevent it. Okay, and as a result of the improvements, maybe are there are some results, uh, maybe in terms of the efficacy, it is now working better than mm. before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now, it's doing on well, because when I go around the farm, even if you find fruits, which are falling off, they are so few. It's not like there before. Okay, Madam Mombua, mm. it's good that you are doing this innovation. Mm. And maybe have you shared this innovation with other people? Okay, the information, the in, 
confession I've shared with a lot of people by now. I even share it with the groups who come and come with us so that I help them. And I even help my neighbors to do it on their own chambers. Are there any challenges? In challenges, there are so few cause the materials are so locally and we get them locally in our chambers. So we have no challenges. There are no challenges, yeah? Yeah. And maybe at, with your own conjecture, uh, where do you see yourself maybe in five years to come? Where do you see yourself? Okay, in five years to come, I see I will have grown up and I will, I will have been enlarged. And many of my neighbors and my family will be grown up. Okay, grown up in terms of fruits. Yes. Having many fruits? Uh, having many fruits, having many trees in their chambers. Okay. And the organic, making them to be more healthy. I am Joe Ouko, a farmer innovator. I'm at the same time the chairman of Farmer-Led Innovators Association of Kenya. We have an agribusiness called Lofoda Gmail. It is a project which has come right down from uh, around nine, uh, 2009 when innovations were introdu was introduced in Kenya and the partners that are behind the whole innovation move that has led us to this project was number one, Prolinova Kenya, number two, Calro. The two put their effort together and taught not only ourselves but a group of innovators from Nyando, the, the then Nyando district and Bosia district then now they are, uh, they are counties and sub-counties. The teaching of uh, innovations from that time gave us an inspiration to make sure our minds worked out to ensure what we were doing would come out on top of whatever people were using before to en enrich lives. The basic thing about this product is we are using what goods ordinary goods, what goods can eat anywhere in the world, I, I, would, I would like to say, is what we take and dry up and keep, ration it in a way now that what we have learned from Calro and Polinova would make it best fitting. The two containers I have have the same kind of thing. They are not different. The difference is this one is crushed very soft, but this one is granules. The soft one has been, is being used to make pellets. So the same, the same fodder can be produced in pellet form. And we are very happy and we're really grateful that Pelham Kenya gave us on their own a machine that makes this kind of thing. So for us, Lofoda, if you gave it to a goat and a goat picks just one, 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 one sort, it is like they have eaten more than 10 of those kind, kind of fodder. Okay, Mr. Joe, it would be interesting for us to know how you started, uh, where you started with the Lofoda meal, how it developed until you got to a point when you introduced or developed different uh, ingredients to make the, the Lofoda, the current uh, formulation. Yes, basically, I had mentioned some time back that we had dead goats that were dying because they were lacking food during drought. When we saw that uh, happening, before Prolinova came in, we were cutting trees, the fodder trees, and hanging them. So sometimes when they ate, the leaves dropped down. Then they dropped down in the units and they were drying. So later on, when we, we looked at the goat, they were hurrying for those dry leaves. That's what made us think, if we dried them, 
it would be even better before the rains were off. So we took off to now collect the fodder. Now we were not chopping because one thing we realized is if you cut the branches, then sprouting became very difficult and we lost, we lost the leaves and it took a long time. So what we did now, we went on to just harvest the, the sheath, the top parts of those. And after we harvested them, then we chopped them. We were using pangas. After chopping, we dried them. Then we crushed them soft. Before we crushed them, sometimes we, we took a different fodder and mixed them, then gave them so that they could be eating a number of those at the same time. Later on, we found that packaging and it was taking a long, a long time and taking a lot of space. So when we crushed them, we found we were going to pack a lot more. And now we gave in to the point of packing. What helped us in this packing is World Vision had actually provided uh, a machine for crushing livestock feeds. Doing it without knowing exactly the contents was not going to be good. So we approached the Calro office. So the, the Calro referred us to Calro Naivasha, where we took a number of those, about seven, eight of them. They were tested and we found there is none of them which is below 16 uh, protein content. And that is what we are doing now. And right now with what we got from Isipe and the, one with, the ones we collect from the lo local uh, areas, we are producing enough for people who need it. Okay, apart from the most obvious uh, function you have given for sustaining uh, feeding dairy goats even during dry seasons, is there any other benefit that maybe relates to uh, milk production since you are dealing with the dairy goats? There is quite a lot. One is about milk. This product increases milk production. That is the one thing which is very, very good for us about it. Because of the protein and uh, the fact that we feed it dry. When a goat goes on eating dry, there is a lot of need for water. And what is known is milk is about 85% water. And the more they take the water, the more the milk goes up. So milk increases and one benefit, therefore, which is an impact we already know in our community with those who are having it, is taking the goat milk means you are taking medicine. You are taking a, a, a body immunity. Okay, would you say anything about uh, environmental conservation since most of the resources that you're using are based in the environment, are based in the, the locality, and you're harvesting them from the environment around you? Formerly, there is what we know about feeding dairy goats or even cows, cut and carry. Ours avoid that completely, and all those who are working with us, we are told them, please don't cut and carry. Just come and get, get what we have done. So the environment is really maintained because of that. Would you try to comment on how far you have gone in terms of trying to commercialize the product? We don't have the means to go far outside. Uh, Mr. Joe, yes. you, I've heard you mentioning that uh, your milk production has increased. Mm -hmm. Could you kindly you know, relate this in terms of your income? Uh, just as I, as I mentioned, it is true the milk increases. And uh, in the, within the local area, not in the towns, one litre is 100 shillings. Now, a goat eating this well managed uh, will have the milk double. So what it used to be before, goats used to have about one litre, 500 mils or so. But what we have now, particularly those, the owners, whom we, we are managing them the way we know it should work. We cannot get less than two liters per day. And the two liters per day, one, 500 mils is enough for, for, our, for our, our tea because if I have 500 mils, it's like I have one and a half liters of, of a cow's milk. And therefore, if I, double, if I double the money I was getting when it was one liter, it means my earning is more on uh, milk alone, the improvement, yeah. yes. Now throughout this your journey, could you maybe kind, kind, kindly tell us the lessons that you've learned, the challenges that you face along the way? Yes. If there was any means the government or any, any other person in charge could help communities in a household having a dairy goat, then you would be sure that every house has money to do what they want. That is one very good thing. But another lesson we have learned is we cannot go very far with the product we are making and formulating ourselves here without CAB certification. 
We are trying very hard to make sure our product is satisfied by cabs and we shall go and go and go. For Mr. Joe, uh, with the Lofoda, where do you see yourself and the community in five years' time? With, with the Lofoda in five years' time, if there was an investor that decided to pick it up, I see the community going very high in what they are earning in terms of supplying the fodder from their chambers. They will earn money. So they will have self-employment. Apart from that, I see the investment making sure that there is a factory which is low fodder made. And that factory will employ so many people. Beyond that point, what I am seeing is Lofoda is not a Jaka thing, it is not a Kisumu thing, it is a Kenyan thing, and actually the honest thing, if it is invested, it is beyond Kenya, it is international. Well, today we are here in Kisaulu village of Kasikeu Ward in Makweni County to uh, visit our, one of our innovators, Mr. Joel Tete, to see and get more information about uh, the advances he has made with this local innovation. Welcome, uh, Mr. Tete, and tell us more about your innovation. I started keeping poultry using a relay of ends, sitting on eggs, removing them, and putting other eggs to watch. So in one month, I was producing more chicks, because if an egg, those ones have trained to sit on them, are sitting on 15 eggs, in 21 days, I hatch 14 or 15, that average, and I put other eggs in the same hen, whereby I'm providing the hen with enough food and water not to leave the eggs before they are hatched. So in one month or in 42 days, I hatch another around 14. So by that way, I increased my poultry sector very easily and it helped me a lot because of my quick production. And I saw it, it is working properly because productive production was high. So, so I increased my poultry. Maybe if you can maybe tell us that, uh, tell us what made him embark on this local innovation. It is because I wanted to have production. And when I was doing this production of ants, I used the whole method of incubating with the machines. And I had a very big problem, whereby blackout, and uh, when it went blackout in the 18th day, I had to lose everything. Then I decided for, for me to increase it in the way it should go, I, used, I decided to use the relay, and it worked very well. Other than uh, the blackout, which was a problem in this area, how do we also see it in terms of cost? Was uh, cost of production uh, wasn't a big deal using the electronic incubator? My production was not as equal as uh, I used the relay that I innovated because it reduced the cost of the electricity because I was using ends. Again, when I re after arching, I also used brooder to keep the chicks which are hatched. When, I'm, when I put them in the brooder, 
I provide them with warmth from a jerry can with hot water for about two weeks until they cover themselves with enough feathers, then they continue that way. At the same time, when they, they cover themselves, it, it, it is almost about two weeks. Those two weeks will make me again to go to the sitting ends, and if they have hatched, I bring another lot. And in that way, production was going very high, and the cost of the machine, or cost of, leave, or cost of, the, of feeding them or doing them, it reduced. So I was producing a lot with little cost. Very nice to hear Mr. Tete here enumerating uh, the advantages uh, of using his relay uh, incubator. Uh, now, maybe in, throughout the journey, who helped you maybe with the designing of the uh, current relay you know, incubator? I'm cooperating with my wife, Lois Mombua, Joel, whom we jointly together help each other to work on this. Because when the chicks are in the brooder, she also sees whether they are in a good welfare while I'm doing another work in the, with the other poultry. At the same time, because the cost of living was very high and to maintain around three to 200 chicks, it was not an easy work. On the side of medication, we used, we innovated our local medicine, whereby we used aloe, Mm, croton seeds, aloe when crushed and dried in the shade. That powder, we used it to mix it with water and give the chicks together with croton seeds, crushed, dried in the shade, and mixed with the food of the chicks because also croton seeds will also increase protein and uh, it act as a bad biotic to the chicks, and they grow very fast and very strongly. Yes, we call Tete's farm one, uh, all under one roof. Now, uh, while walking around, we've seen uh, you've made some structures, shelf-like structures, where the hens are there laying, uh, lying on the eggs. Maybe if you can tell us uh, where you got the resources and who helped you maybe uh, constructing those structures, were they? Did you construct them on your own, or you hired somebody else to help you do it? I met uh, an organization by the name Prolinova, whereby, from all the way I started, it brought me up with some of the ideas, and also it helped me to buy some of the uh, this drinking water, feeding containers. It helped me very much. It helps also me very much to take me outside to know and see other innovators, meet with different people, different people of, with different ideas of innovation. So with that, it enlarged my mind and brought me to be increasing my production and also how to care them. Uh, this innovation is one of the local innovations that uh, had gone through participatory innovation development where various uh, uh, stakeholders came in board uh, to you know, help, uh, of course led by Tete himself, uh, develop his innovation. Now, with all these, are there any adjustments that uh, maybe you've made to the innovation since you started way back in 2016 to date? Since I started the interacting with the Prolinova and also taking me outside to exposure to see pe other people because uh, I have attended uh, some of the shows. One was at Kaskeo, another was at Kisumo, Obando, whereby I met with other innovators. I also met and I went to another show at being, being driven by the powers of Prolinova. I went to Makindu show whereby I also interacted with another innovators. From that point, I went on improving because some of the items which I was using, we are, I improved them. Like, for example, on the side of medicine, I've tried the match. I have the stock. I can keep them. 
for a long time. At the same time, in order to avoid, to avoid the inbreeding, I sell some of the stocks to, to avoid inbreeding. I sell them, I make the use of the money in other items. Sometimes with this innovation, it has brought me to another extent of feeding. We talk, all this has come out from the innovation being brought up by the Prolinova. Okay, Mr. Tete, have you shared your innovation with other people? Okay, Mr. Tete. Yes, sir. Maybe, are there any challenges that you have met uh, during the time of the innovation, implementing the innovation? Are there any challenges and how have you gone about them? There are so many challenges with this, but we have to bear with them. One, when formally I started, my house of poultry was not strong. So predators were pursuing to get inside and they timber with the eggs. Also, they carry some of my hands. With that, I had to look for another way of strengthening the house of the hands. Again, there are challenges. Sometimes we have, when we are hatching, not all the chicks come out strongly. There are deformalities of them. Also, those are challenges because I have to, it needs a very great care for them to grow. Okay, and now, uh, in, your, in your own projection, where do you see yourself maybe five years to come? What kind of a family or a man shall you be in terms of this innovation? Uh, my aim and my objection for years to come, and as I'm going on, I'm planning, if it's God's will, I'm planning to increase my poultry. I'm planning to extend it even to the neighbors. I'm planning to extend it even, even if it is the account or any people that I will be known for people to come and be buying the, any, 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 any idea from me and also to buy my, to buy my hands, my poultry. Again, this medicine locally I'm making because people are very interested with them and very, it is helpful to them. It is also working when on the side of Newcastle, on the side of you know, uh, and other diseases. With that medicine, we are planning to make it and see whether the county or any organization can take our medicine and see whether it can be added anything or whether it is workable Okay. So that we may not continue with something which is not properly. So okay, we are looking maybe. for an organization okay. or any county to come and uh, take it to the organization. Okay, maybe labeling the medicine, to have some labels, the names. Are you planning for such? Thank you. I'm planning to have those medicine labeled. Also to be approved by CARI or CARO. Today we call it CARO or oh, any organization which can think of coming and approve our medicine. We are ready for that. Thank you very much. Now today we are here at uh, uh, Mr. Stephen's uh, home to uh, see and get more information about how his innovation works and uh, the adv advancement that he has made uh, along the way with this uh, local innovation on improved fish smoker. Uh, I'm a farmer. Formerly I was a driver, but nowadays I'm a farmer. Maybe if you can tell us how your innovation works. It's working, but it's uh, good to have a charcoal and jiko uh, uh, made of metal. And uh, this box is made of metal, and it's a uh, very, uh, it's a heavy metal. Okay, and uh, how did you design it? Mm. Because I have started with the sufria, but the sufria was too light. 
when I, the, the, when you put the, the hubs, it's budding before the fish get to be pre prepared. So I was decided to have this, the heavy metal and uh, hubs burn slowly to, pre to, to get inside the fish so that it can be preserved. And uh, as, uh, if I, I can see it uh, correctly, I see it kind of involves some, some sort of welding. Yeah. So did you do it alone or somebody helped you in designing Yo. it and uh, ultimately bringing up a, a, a fish mocha in shape as it is? Mm, I was deciding myself, but when I go to the welder uh, to make it round like Sufria, it was not easy. Uh, wonderful. Now maybe if you can explain to us or tell us where you got the resources, if maybe the support came from elsewhere or... Because I, I was uh, really like uh, the fish smoker, I was decided to make it so... Uh, because we like that fish smoker more than the, because of the, the oil. Nowadays we don't like so much, but uh, this one... Uh, you can use it without oil. And it's very nice when you eat and uh, it's, it's so good. And uh, for how long have you been using this? Mm, 2016 up to now. Up to now. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, from all that time as you move along, have you done made any adjustment maybe to make it work better? Yeah, before I was not using some hubs because uh, I didn't know, because some are poison and uh, so I've learned a lot of uh, hubs now. Okay, now, and as a result of maybe the, in re the introduction of hubs into the whole system, can you maybe share with us some of the results that uh, you've so far achieved? Mm, not really, but uh, we have uh, test. The, the from the older one to this, uh, we we put some fish to the older one and some to this. So I've test the quality of these hubs and the quality of the other one. That one cannot take only one month and uh, it come rotten and uh, and this one can take three months. Uh, to our viewers, my name is Ruth Olale. I work with Kenya Agricultural Life Livestock Research Organization based in Kisumu and partnering with Prolinova Africa. And today we are in uh, uh, Steve's home, one of our innovators. And uh, so we want to see the, uh, what is actually happening in Osir village. So Mr. Steve, you have explained about uh, the technology or the innovations. Uh, I would like uh, you to just uh, share with us how you have uh, been able to uh, share this technology with the local people in your community. We have a farmer field day within the city and we have a field day within the Sumu town west. So we have gone with this and they know how this thing is work. And some will come to serve with me and they want to know how it works and they, some they like it. And uh, some community have, they already buy from me, some. Uh, thank you, Mr. Steve. Uh, those who have bought uh, this technology, what is the results? How, how, how have they benefited? And they have they also shared this technology further? But uh, I've already, they, because this box is still, it's still small, mm -hmm. so they can, it's not for business, but it's for the family. Mm -hmm. So they all, and uh, you know, the economy of Kenya now is too high to get face and do this one, but they like it. Yeah. Yes, uh, and now that uh, they like it and you like it, yeah. 
Uh, we want you to just share with us yeah. how this has impacted food security or food in your home yeah. and how it has impacted uh, the nutrition in your home and even income. Uh, does it have any effect? Has it changed your family in any way? Yeah, it changed my family because uh, uh, at uh, first I've said, uh, I've said the, the face is nowadays is too small and you can go to the lake from 12 to 6 to buy a face for just 40 shillings or 100. So it takes a lot of time. So you can go for uh, 400 to 500 in, uh, if you have money and you smoked. And the other day you can work and you eat. So it's helped me in the family and the other people can buy this. Yes, thank yeah. you. And now I want to say what are the challenges of mm. this uh, innovation for you? Uh, in case you want to make it even large scale, what is your challenge? My challenge uh, is finance because of, uh, of using the materials. Uh, it needs heavy metals. Okay, yeah. and now that you have a challenge of finances, and mm. uh, it looks like you have an opportunity yeah. to make more. Uh, how are you going to solve your challenges? Because you can even have uh, a factory if you wanted to, but how will you mm. uh, have your own local uh, solutions to improve on this innovation and to expand it? Yeah, we have said this with the fisheries officers and uh, they say that they can help us to make it, but they still not yet respond. And uh, for now, we are still think how to make it bigger than this. And uh, our challenge is finance. It is finance. Yeah. And so, but, uh, in two years, yeah. we're just asking, you have this technology. Where will your family be in two years using this innovation? It's uh, help us to save labor and uh, other challenges. Uh, we pray that uh, the technology will continue. Thank you very much. Today we are here at a benignous place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, ward in Makweni county to know more about uh, the improvement that she has made. My name is Samuel Beritu, the founder and the executive director of the Grow by Intensive Agriculture Center of Kenya, in short, GBIAC, um, an NGO that was started in the year 2008 in order to respond to um, the many emerging issues and challenges of food insecurity and poverty levels in Kenya. My name is Batshaba Ratema. Um, I'm the field officer for the KCOA Care Project. For Kenya, the Knowledge Hub is hosted at Pelham, Kenya. Well, where I work as a field officer. The CARE project is uh, an initiative where we want to establish center of excellence where farmers and multipliers can learn about organic agriculture practices that are at GBA. Part of the mandate is to ensure that our member organizations are able to cascade knowledge on organic agriculture. My name is Rosina Mbenga, I'm the country coordinator for Pen and Kenya. And Pen and Kenya is a network of NGOs. Uh, currently we have 57 member organizations that are spread uh, across the country. Uh, all of them are promoting agroecology. And uh, we hope that this message reaches out to very many farmers out there, very many extension officers out there, and as many public people as possible 
so that we can showcase the potential of the organic agriculture and also to showcase the importance and the, the uh, ability that we have within our ecosystems to nurture our food uh, in a natural way, to nurture our food in an organic way and uh, a way that also is uh, promoting the healthy communities. One of the programs that we promote at GBIAC is the Seed Sovereignty Program. And uh, this call, calls us to teach farmers on uh, how they are able to save their indigenous seeds. And you know, indigenous, indigenous, saving indigenous seeds is our heritage. And uh, our heritage is uh, one of the things that, uh, that has been entrenched in the constitution. And therefore, we, we, we have a mandate to help our farmers to save what belongs to them, and that is seed saving. Yes, we learn um, uh, from different organizations as well, uh, because one organization cannot be able to get all the information. So we, we also visit other organizations like Seed Savers in Gilgil and get the ideas from them, or we also have uh, meetings together so that we get to learn what ideas do they have, how do they save their seeds, what can we borrow from them. And as well, they also visit our center. We teach farmers on good agronomic practices. That means some of the, the good uh, agronomic practices are, one, um, timely planting, how farmers can be able to plant their, their crops uh, in time without delay, delay. Two, timely weeding, um, timely fertilization, and using the correct fertilizers, and that's organic fertilizers. Uh, we also teach farmers on how to control pests and diseases, and that is organically, and as you can see here, um, the tomatoes are growing without any chemicals, so it is possible for you to grow anything without chemicals. And, and uh, regardless of where you are, you, are, you can grow your crops without chemicals. Another practice that we are promoting here at GBIAC is vermiculture. Vermiculture is a rearing of earthworms, and these are not just earthworms, but they are special earthworms known as the red wigglers. Red wigglers like staying at the surface, about six inches um, from the surface, and so they are just on top here, and their work is to uh, feed on the materials. They break down the materials, especially um, the organic matter. They break them, uh, them down into uh, smaller um, uh, nutrient-rich materials so that the plant will be ready to, to take up the human. Another good practice that we are promoting here at GBIAC is the BSF. And the BSF is the Black Soldier Flies project. Um, and this project is purely for smallholder farmers. And this is where we rear special flies, not house flies. These are flies that um, uh, will, will undergo some cycle that will give the farmer the lava or the larvae that will be fed to the poultry or to any animal after processing the feeds. The practice that uh, we are promoting here at GBIAC is small livestock integration. That is integrating small livestock to the main farm and the cycle has to touch on plants or crops, the soil, water, and the, and the, and the animals. So that cycle has to revolve like, like that. Each um, of them must benefit one another. This is an example that we're giving here. And this one, we are calling it African Integrated um, Farming System. One of the practices that uh, uh, GBIAC is promoting is soil fertility management using organic uh, methods that um, um, where farmers or smallholder farmers get or acquire materials from their own farms without going outside their farms to get the materials for, for making compost or for making, um, you know, the fertility management agents. So our compost here, um, as you can see, are materials that we get from our farm. And, and so we, we, we help farmers to come up with uh, their own fertilizers fertilizers that will replenish their soils, fertilizers that will grow their soils, other than using chemical fertilizers which will destroy the soil. Gibea Casademo Center for KCOA has been collaborating with other non-government organizations, especially the ones that are uh, like-minded, like um, African Real IPM, where we, learn, we have learned a lot about uh, tree planting and uh, fruit tree planting and nursery management and also um, IPM management. 
and so we have been able to borrow that from them. We have also been working with uh, hand in hand with other organizations like Seed Savers in Gilgil and also um, Biology in the western part of the country, Manhouse Agricultural Center, we've been working together. And so many other organizations have uh, also visited the, G uh, the GBAC Center so that we learn and we share ideas together. GBAC has developed its staff from one staff, that is myself, from uh, 2009 to 17 to date. So we have very qualified staff that have undergone courses that are very relevant to ecological organic agriculture and agroecology in general. And, and so we are very competent that people coming at GBIAC will be able to learn a lot of things and gain skills out of our staff members. I'm Winnie from Moranga County. Papa, tunafanya organic farming. We don't do chemicals at all. At our controlling pests, we do organically. Yeah. At least we can compare using organic farming and healing uh, here. We tap at organic farming, how to put me a lot of finances in on finances side we can safer. Because we let me have organic we let me the available resources you have. You don't have to go to source out there. Welcome back everybody. Bienvenue tout le monde. Hello. I have a watch. Hello. That I that has been given in to me. Your Does, montre? Has anybody lost a watch? Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui a perdu sa montre? Let's go, let's go. All right, well, it's with me. If you need it, come and get si it. Si vous en avez besoin, <laughs> vous pouvez venir me voir. Yeah. Yeah. We go back. to the front and take up their position. J'aimerais demander aux intervenants de venir uh, prendre leur siège. Panelists, panelists. Panelists, you know can do you need to read the names again? <laughs> Sunny, Helen, Sunny, Abdul, Abdul, Naomi, Martha, Johannes and Magdalene. Panelists, Thank you so much for joining us today. Merci de nous avoir joint aujourd'hui. Um, I'd like to start by asking each of the panelists. J'aimerais commencer with par demander les intervenants. Helen. <laughs> Nous commençons par <laughs> Helen. Helen. Um, uh, we're looking for another microphone. If you can introduce yourself and the organization that you come from, please. Vous pouvez vous présenter et dire votre organisation pour laquelle vous travaillez. Yeah, thank you very much. Merci Good uh, morning. Bonjour. Yes, my name is Helen Mangoy. Je m'appelle uh, Helen Mangoy. I work with Inades Formation Kenya. Je travaille avec la fondation Inades. It's an organization that uh, is based in West Africa. C'est une organisation qui est basée en Afrique. With yes. operations in Kenya. Avec, uh, ici au Kenya. So our Kenyan office is based in Machakos here in Kenya. Et donc notre bureau, uh, de Kenya se trouve à Machakos. So we target rural farmers. Nous, uh, les paysans building their capacities. Pour renforcer leurs capacités. To produce better. Pour, uh, mieux produire. Thank you. Merci. Bonjour. Uh, good morning. Je m'appelle Sani Gerani Tori. Uh, my name is Sani Gerani Tori. President de l'Union Communale des Coopératives de Femmes de Banekwara. I am one of the representatives of the, that organization based Bene, in Benin. Département de la Viborie, commune de Banekwara. In uh, that uh, region called Banekwara. Notre uh, association. Notre union a 75 associations, c'est-à-dire groupement de femmes. 
Uh, we have uh, different groupings of women which are found in this organization of ours. Notre groupement de femmes travaille sur le tuvage du riz, la transformation de l'arachide en huile et le maraîchage avec la transformation de soja en fromage. Uh, our group of women is uh, dealing in uh, soya beans and uh, uh, other products to improve uh, food uh, quality and all that. Grâce à l'appui du projet Navinot, and thanks to the support we have gotten from the Navidon project, on a vu l'amélioration la, de notre al aliment traditionnel we have been able préparé, traditionnel, pampano et wagaru, mm -hmm. traditionnel, pampano et wagaru préparé. We have been able to improve on uh, our product, which is called. Uh, et grâce à la pluie du projet, on a pu les mettre dans les emballages pour pouvoir les vendre. And thanks to the project, we've been able to uh, package our product, and uh, you have seen what we just presented. Thank you. Merci. My name is Naomi Zato. Je m'appelle Naomi Zato. I come Zato. from Ghana. Je viens du Ghana. Prolinova, Ghana. Prolinova, and du I Ghana. work with the Department of Agric. Je travaille dans le Gonja, Department of Agriculture. Department of Agric, as the District Agric Director. Je suis le directeur du quartier. And I've since been involved with Prolinova work for the past eight years. Et maintenant, je m'engage dans le projet Prolinova. As an agriculturist and a nutrition expert. Thank you. Pendant huit ans, comme un expert. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you also for the hospitality of the Kenyan and other colleagues we are, we are doing this short time. Bonjour, uh, bonjour et merci aussi pour uh, votre hospitalité comme le Kenyan. Uh, my name is Johannes. Je m'appelle Johannes. I, I came from Ethiopia. Uh, je viens de l'Ethiopie. Uh, I am currently working in Addis Ababa University. Uh, maintenant, je travaille dans l'université d'Addis Ababa. Uh, I have been here also in 2013. I was coming with different farmers to uh, the same place on the ici en innovation fair. J'étais avec les paysans différents. On travaillait à notre projet. Uh, prior to my joining of the university, I was working on indigenous knowledge innovation. I am sure I was also part of the long journey, as Tesha was uh, mentioning on the Prolinova from the starting to where this is. So I, I feel proud to be part of the big journey and to see the expansion and the intensification of uh, this population. Merci. Uh, J'étais uh, avant de joindre l'université, je travaillais comme uh, pour uh, d'autres projets, et maintenant je suis vraiment reconnaissant de faire partie de cette équipe. Et je suis, uh, je me sens que j'ai déjà commencé le voyage avec vous. And finally, I'm proud to be on similar, on the same footings with the farmer innovators. Uh, Thank you very much. Je suis très content et fier d'être uh, dans le même niveau avec les paysans différents. Good morning, all. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. I'm Charity Divo. Je m'appelle Charity Divo. From Makueni. Je viens de Makueni. In Kenya. Au Kenya. I'm a resource person. Je suis personne de ressources. Je travaille avec Inades et Prolinova. And I'm a TOF. Et je suis uh, a on formateur de formateur. And the et je, je, je les forme dans l'agricologie. Merci. Uh, bonjour à tout le monde. Uh, good morning, everyone. Moi, je m'appelle uh, Abdou Cham. My name is Abdul Cham. Je viens du Sénégal. I come from Senegal. Uh, Prolinova, Senegal. Prolinova, Senegal. Uh, je travaille dans une ONG qui s'appelle Agribio Service. I work uh, with uh, an NGO which is called uh, Agribio Services. Qui s'active dans le domaine de l'agroécologie. Uh, in the department of or domain of agriculture. Uh, je suis chargé de programme dans cette organisation. I'm the one in charge of the program in this organization. En plus, je suis le coordinateur du projet pour le GFASA au niveau pays. Uh, I'm also in charge of uh, the, 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 the project, FASA, the project pro, 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 promouvoir l'innovation locale dans la gestion de l'eau en agriculture familiale au Sahel. In promoting local innovation in that organization. Uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Still morning. Okay, good morning. Bonjour. Uh, my name is Martha Je Opondo. Martha Opondo. Yes, and I work uh, with... Um, Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization. Je travaille avec uh, l'organisation des bétails et d'agriculture au Kenya. Yeah, I've been in uh, socioeconomic research for 
straight here over 20 years, but yeah. J'étais dans le uh, domaine de la recherche de socio-économique. Yeah, but now um, but I've also worked with uh, Prolinova since 2008, since the year 2008. J'ai travaillé aussi avec Prolinova depuis 2008. Yeah, when we had the first Pharma Innovator uh, project, so we have worked along with the network for a while. Au moment où on avait uh, les premiers innovateurs kenyans et nous avons travaillé avec eux pendant un moment maintenant. Yeah, and uh, I'm happy to be here and to meet all the innovators to for during this um, International Pharma Innovation Fair. Et je suis très content de rencontrer tous ces paysans pendant cette foire uh, d'innovation. Yeah, thank you and you're all welcome. Merci et vous êtes tous les bienvenus. Bonjour. Morning. <laughs> Um, my name is Magdalene Alukava. Je m'appelle Magdalene Alukava. I am a data innovation and ICT officer at Kenav. Uh, je suis uh, innovatrice de données dans le Kenav. So Kenav is the Kenya National Farmers Federation. Kenav, c'est la fédération des paysans ou bien des fermiers au Kenya. We are located here, so welcome to Kenaf, everyone. Ah, vous êtes tous les bienvenus. Nous sommes ici où nous sommes, où nous travaillons. Voici, vous êtes à Kenaf déjà. So the core mandate for Kenaf is to represent, uh, promote, and protect um, matters that are affecting farmers. Et notre mandat comme Kenaf, c'est de promouvoir et de d'aider uh, les les projets qui où uh, nous avons des paysans qui s'engagent. And we do that through lobby and advocacy, policy action. Et nous faisons ça à travers uh, la politique et le plaidoyer. As well as farmer empowerment. Et même à renforcer les capacités des paysans. Kenaf also acts as a mediator and catalyst for agricultural innovation. Kenaf aussi travaille pour uh, la catalysation uh, des innovations de fermiers au Kenya. So I'm really honored to be part of the panel. Et je Thank suis you. vraiment honoré de faire partie des intervenants aujourd'hui. We worried about you falling over the edge. <laughs> Thank you very much to the panelists for, Merci pour les for explaining who they are and who they represent. Uh, qui ils sont et, et so, qui les so I just wanted to explain how the session is going to work. Je voudrais expliquer comment la séance va se dérouler. We're going to ask the panelists to share their views and their experiences about recognizing farmer innovation and participatory or farmer-led experimentation. Nous allons leur demander de partager avec nous comment uh, les paysans uh, travaillent et comment ils sont représentés. And I've asked them to um, share around a two-minute input per person. Uh, J'aimerais aussi leur demander de présenter pour deux minutes. And then we'll have a, 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 a a period of time for them to ask each other questions. Et nous allons avoir un moment pour qu'ils demandent des questions à l'un à l'autre. And then we'll open the floor to everybody in the room to be able to engage with the panelists. Et puis nous allons donner la chance à tout le monde de, 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 de converser ou bien de demander des questions à eux aussi. So I'm not going to put any of the panelists on the spot. Et je ne vais pas demander à, à, aux intervenants à... I'm just going to ask them when they're ready to indicate that they want to share something with us. Ah, and it's basically their views and their experiences around local innovation and farmer-led. Il s'agit seulement des, des idées et leurs vues en ce qui concerne à ce qu'ils font. Okay, so over to the panelists. À vous, who les panelists, pour nous dire vos points de vue euh, sur la reconnaissance et le soutien que mérite euh, l'approche d'innovation locale. Euh, je ne veux pas mettre quelqu'un en avant, mais n'importe qui parmi vous peut prendre la parole. Anybody can start. I'm not going to specify who is going to do it. Merci. Je suis fier de prendre la parole et d'être dans ce forum pour ce genre de forum. Uh, Plus avec l'alimentation. Je uh, suis I'm happy to be here and to present to you uh, what I have uh, in this forum. 
Avec le projet, on a pu améliorer nos aliments. Nous, on faisait ça comme ça, préparé directement. Uh, with our project, we were able to improve our food. C'est comme ça que nous, les femmes, nous faisons, on vend, on prépare et on vend, on ne sait pas conserver. Uh, we, it's like the way we do it as women, we, what we used to do as women, you just uh, take your product and just uh, present it like that. Et grâce à l'appui de ce projet, But on les met dans les sachets où on peut même les emballer, faire les boutiques et en vendre. And thanks to this project, we have been able to package our product, and now we are able to uh, introduce to you something that is packaged and sub something that is presentable. Notre inquiétude, c'est comment faire pour trouver un marché d'écoulement pour que ça soit mis dans les boutiques pour pouvoir les vendre facilement. Uh, now our worry is on how to market our product so that it can even be put in the different shops and it is sold worldwide. Maintenant, ce que nous faisons, on amène ça à la foi, au foie, comme on a amené ici. S'il y a réunion dans les, dans les mairies, dans n'importe où, c'est comme ça qu'on trimballe dans les marchés pour les vendre. Uh, and with us, at the moment, we are only doing, uh, ex uh, we are only going to these expositions and the fairs to, to uh, present our wares and uh, all the things that we have, and maybe in the municipality there. Et grâce à, à ce appui, on souhaite avoir un marché d'écoulement pour que ça soit disponible partout, qu'on puisse les vendre même dans les écoles, pour, pour, dans les écoles à cantine pour qu'on puisse les vendre. Et maintenant, notre issue ici est de comment nous pouvons même vendre dans les différentes shops et le mettre en place pour que ça soit accessible à des enfants pour qu'ils puissent le vendre, même dans les écoles. Okay. Merci. I must also add that it's a great honor to be part of Pronova Ghana. C'est un grand honneur d'être dans Pronova Ghana. And to be given the opportunity to be part of this international pharma fair, Et innovation fair. Et d'avoir l'opportunité de venir à cette fois internationale des paysans. Yes, we are farmers here. And we know that in our various departments of agriculture, farmers are seen as technology adopters where research and technologies from agriculture, science and research are developed and pushed down to farmers to adapt. And nous avons ici beaucoup de paysans qui sont présents et aussi nous savons que d'habitude dans nos départements d'agriculture, on considère les paysans comme des adoptants et, et pour eux, les recherches que les gens au niveau de, des chercheurs font doivent être simplement un moyen pour eux d'adopter les résultats de la recherche. And that have generally been a way of sending technologies to farmers. Et ils sont là avec l'idée que il faut simplement envoyer des technologies aux paysans. Until my involvement with Prolinova Ghana as a member of the technical support team and also a member of the local multi-stakeholder platform in Ghana at the Northeast Gonja district. Ayant été parti du comité technique euh, de coordination de Prunova au Ghana et aussi membre des plateformes multi acteurs au niveau local dans la région qu'elle a indiquée là. And before then, far back in Yendi, during Prunova time, and Prolifans time, Sorcifans time, and now Elephants. Et depuis ce temps, c'est depuis les premiers projets de Pronova qu'elle était là, Prolifance, Susifance et maintenant Elifance. My whole mindset have changed. Et toute ma fa façon de penser a changé. From just seeing farmers as technology adopters to now seeing farmers as being creative and being part of finding solutions to their agriculture needs in their various localities at very cheap accessible to them. Et je peux ainsi voir que les paysans ne sont plus simplement des adoptants, mais ils doivent être impliqués jusqu'au développement des solutions finales auxquelles euh, elles utilisent pour répondre selon leur contexte et cela est accessible et facilement utilisable pour eux. I have been involved in identifying local innovations, prioritizing them with farmers, identifying which we can do participatory development which have directly involved in supporting 
in women, farmers, innovations in food and nutrition security to develop them and increase the nutritional content of local foods that are readily available to them. Ainsi, j'ai eu beaucoup d'occasions pour participer à l'identification des innovations locales et ensuite à leur priorisation pour arriver à identifier ce qu'on peut introduire dans les processus de développement participatif de l'innovation en fin de compte améliorer les produits locaux les, à, afin que elles aient davantage de valeur nutritive. And these are widely adapted Et as compared to agricultural accepté. technologies that are forced down through their truth, which are very expensive to adapt, which are not accessible to them. And I must say, we are very grateful for this. Et je peux dire clairement que les innovations que nous avons amenées et que elles-mêmes a créées a, ont été largement adoptées plutôt que celles qu'on envoie d'habitude pour qu'ils adoptent simplement. Et elle ne peut que dire eh, que c'est bien. My own capacity have been built in local innovations documentation, PID processes and their documentations, PID participatory processes. And we have a booklet containing what Ghana Prolinova have done in elephants here. We have what have been done in prolifans here. I've not picked the source of fans book. We have everything available and documented here for sharing. Et personnellement, mon, mes capacités ont été renforcées sur tout ce qui concerne l'innovation locale, son identification, sa documentation. Okay. Et là, vous pouvez voir un bou, un, 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 une brochure qui contient les innovations locales que le Ghana a été en mesure de développer so suivant les différents projets. So, I'd like projets. to wrap up on sharing what we've done so far and also the PID works which women who have been involved in PID work, we've been supported through Lyft. They are now packaging and selling. They are having small enterprises, getting income, supporting their households. And our innovations have also been shared through several forms which some of them are community exchange programs. We've shared some through the National Farmers Day programs and a lot. Et je vais ainsi résumer en mettant l'accent sur l'opportunité que cela a donné aux femmes de développer beaucoup leurs produits, d'être en mesure de les euh, en bénéficiant du fonds et des facilités d'innovation locale, être en mesure de les préparer et partager leurs connaissances avec les autres dans leur communauté et à travers les jours de l'innovation au Ghana. Et ainsi, voilà okay. ce que a Thank pu you se so faire. much. Merci. So I'll give others the opportunity. Et je laisse d'autres personnes Thank pouvoir you. se parler aussi. Thanks so much, Naomi. Yes. Okay. As I have said, I'm Charity Divo. J'avais dit Charity Divo. From Makueni. De Makueni. Being a local innovator. Et moi-même, je suis innovateur and local. And actually, I can say there are so many advantages of innovation than the disadvantages. Uh, as we all know, during post-harvesting, our farmers lose a lot of produce. And I, I came with the innovation of dryer, that is natural solar dryer. Je which suis are arrivé à, à, je disais que je suis innovatrice moi-même, et il apparaît que nous avons pu avoir certains résultats avec nous, notamment les producteurs ont beaucoup de pertes après la récolte. Et pour nous, nous sommes parvenus à, à, à les appuyer pour fabriquer un séchoir au soleil, un, un séchoir solaire. Yes, which enables our farmers not to lose their produce. They can try them and they use them during drought time. Like if we are not the season of tomato, they can dry their tomatoes and they use them in later. Ainsi, ils ont l'occasion d'utiliser ce, cette technologie-là pour garder leurs produits, les sécher, et en temps de, de manque, en temps de soudure, ils peuvent toujours avoir la facilité de les utiliser, comme pour la tomate. Yes, on that matter also of post-harvesting, we do have value addition of songam, where we normally take care of our families to make sure mothers in the house, they are happy in their marriage, they are enjoying because songam contains a lot of nutrients. We don't give our men rice, but we give them songam rice. We dry from the dryer, then we make it in the future. And for evidence, we have a table there. So if your family is not stable,
make sure you pass there and you'll know the advantage of sorghum and also drying your vegetables during when they are not available. Et je veux profiter pour vous dire que un de nos produits d'attention c'est le sorgho et ça a une valeur particulière pour nous ici parce que eh, quand ton mariage n'est pas en train de bien fonctionner, n'est pas stable, tu peux l'utiliser. On ne sert pas de riz à nos maris, on sert le sorgho et ça permet à ce que on puisse avoir la joie à la maison. Alors vous pouvez passer si vous sentez que votre mari titube un peu, prenez l'occasion de venir vous renseigner à notre table et vous allez réparer les, les situations qu'il y a là. Yes, and uh, also I've said more. I have several innovations which I cannot outline them here. And when it comes to the poultry management, as I have said, we have farmers who say they don't, uh, they don't know how to manage their chicks. We have came with the innovation of a feeder and a dryer that will not contaminate the bird feed. So it is very easier now for the farmers through innovations to make their chicks grow. Et dans notre travail également, nous avons eu à rencontrer les, les éleveurs de volailles qui nous ont dit qu'ils ont quelques problèmes par rapport à la gestion de leur élevage. Et dans ce cas, nous avons essayé de développer également des réponses pour eux pour savoir gérer mieux et le, leur poussin. I can say through innovation, I have managed to meet 400 farmers who are now in high increase of poultry keeping and also as it comes to post harvesting of their produce. And I'm so proud through Proneva Kenya, through Vincent, I cannot miss to mention you. You have done it well to us and you have given us the way to go. Et alors je vais dire, alors je ne finirai pas sans mentionner que j'ai déjà rencontré dans mon travail près de 400 eh, agriculteurs, paysans que ce soit pour la gestion post record, que ce soit pour la gestion de l'élevage. Et nous avons vraiment progressé. Je ne je, je vais pas manquer de mentionner Vincent, qui nous a accompagné, le coordinateur national de Prénova au Kenya, qui nous a accompagné dans ce processus. Et la direction à suivre maintenant est bien balisée. The last but not the least, everything which has an advantage, it also has some disadvantage. This I'm just requesting for capacity building because we have farmers who are innovation innovators but they don't know if whatever they are doing is an innovation so what we are requesting if the current innovators who are in the house they can be just facilitated with stipend so that they can reach as many group farmers as they can to see what they are doing if it can be innovation and as we go through to the groups we shall share with our coordinators so that they can help us to identify those other farmers who are on the ground doing things, but they don't know what they are doing, if it can um, benefit them. Because innovation, it is a local innovation. The word local means anything you think, it cannot make something, it can make something. Thank you. Merci. Uh, je veux dire que il n'y a rien sans d'éléments eh, à, à considérer encore. Et dans ce sens, je veux mentionner que nous avons besoin de renforcement de capacité, surtout pour des paysans qui sont là et sûrement ont des innovations aussi, mais qui ne sont pas atteints. Et dans, je pense que si les paysans qui sont déjà dans le groupe et qui participent et qui sont reconnus, peuvent recevoir certains fonds, enfin, certaines facilités, certains fonds, ça va les aider à atteindre d'autres paysans qui ne sont pas encore touchés. Parce que l'innovation locale, c'est tout ce qui est local. Et ce que nous pensons que c'est rien, ça a peut-être une information derrière, un intérêt derrière. Et dans ce processus, on peut arriver à valoriser encore davantage ces pratiques, ces bonnes pratiques. <laughs> OK. My, I'll just remind, my name is Martha. I have been working in research. Je and suis uh, Martha et j'ai l'habitude de travailler dans la recherche. Yeah, I've been... Um, interacting with this process of supporting and recognizing innovators. And my perspectives towards this is that the more we support and the more we recognize innovators, the more innovations we have. Et je veux so dire que j'ai eu beaucoup d'occasion de travailler il y a un, un certain nombre d'années avec les paysans innovateurs en m'intégrant dans ce processus. 
et ma perspective sur cette question, c'est que plus nous soutenons les paysans, plus on vient à reconnaître que ce qu'ils sont en train de faire est important. Yes, and you you probably will see um, if you go through the catalogs of innovations that we have that um, the initial innovators or the innovators who are already recognized, you you realize that they continue innovating. So you find that somebody started with one innovation, but they um, have two, three, or four more innovations, either different or around the original innovation. Et vous pourriez voir que quand vous, euh, vous parcourez les catalogues que nous avons produits jusque-là, que les producteurs, une fois soutenus, une fois engagés, continuent à développer d'autres innovations, et que ce soit tout autour de ce qu'ils existent déjà, ou bien d'autres dans bien d'autres domaines, de telle manière qu'en partant d'une innovation, certains sont maintenant à deux à trois innovations. And the other thing about it is the sense of self-help and the sense of uh, self-determination that comes with recognizing innovators. Et c'est un autre élément très déterminant que je trouve uh, à travers ce processus, c'est que il y a l'autoconfiance et l'autodétermination qui vient au producteur quand il est engagé nos activités. Yeah, I think this is something that uh, going through the, the exhibitions we have witnessed, the extent to which our innovators are able to really interact with uh, the audience. And uh, you, you, you find that <laughs> uh, if you, you've engaged an innovator from the beginning and maybe two, three years down the line, you realize that they have personal growth in terms of even being able to describe their innovations, being able to interact and even pre present their in innovations. So it's not just the growth of innovation, innovations, but it's also the growth of the individual as an innovator. Et vous avez eu, été témoin avec moi durant les expositions que les innovateurs et les innovatrices sont en mesure de présenter clairement leur innovation. Et cela est très appréciable parce que si vous engagez les producteurs dans ces activités dès le départ, vous réalisez leur développement personnel aussi, parce qu'ils ne savent pas seulement de la multiplication des innovations, mais c'est en, en eux-mêmes également que leur capacité est renforcée pour s'exprimer correctement. Yes, and also the, the fact that uh, supporting innovators and recognizing and documenting innovations also brings out a lot of knowledge that is either hidden or, or on the verge of getting lost. And um, the context specificity of the knowledge that comes with local innovation, that they just target the problems that are there. And this comes with supporting the local innovations and also recognizing the innovators. Et vous voyez que considérer les innovations et les soutenir amène à ce que on aille de l'avant en termes de découvrir les innovations qui existaient ou qui dormaient ou même qui étaient en voie de disparition. Et cela vient avec le contexte particulier auquel chacune de ces innovations répond. Et ça, c'est quelque chose à, à, à retenir. Yes, and I would also want to say that um, the uh, extent to which the knowledge uh, or the understanding of local innovations and participatory innovation development has also spread. I would say that it's becoming more or less a movement in the areas where it is. And integrating into other aspects like agroecology, you know, and um, I think this is good for us in the current context in which we are operating. We are operating in a context of climate change. We are operating in a rapidly changing environment, and just bringing in the idea of farmers being able to look around their environment, around their surroundings, and to adapt and be able to get local solutions for themselves. But you see, this is not something that would be possible if what they were doing is not supported and recognized. Thank you. Et je veux finir sur un point qui concerne le fait que la reconnaissance de l'innovation paysanne et le soutien qu'on doit apporter à ces innovations est devenu maintenant, elle s'est répandue maintenant. Ça s'est même transformé en un mouvement. Et nous pouvons être fiers de cela parce que ça participe à ce que les différents acteurs qui sont impliqués commencent à le reconnaître que ce que les paysans font sont importants, notamment lorsque nous considérons ce contexte de changement climatique et de changement rapide dans tous les domaines, il est important de venir avec la compréhension que 
les paysans avec lesquels nous travaillons sont capables même de regarder tout autour d'eux, de développer une solution rapidement et d'avancer leur, dans leurs activités. Et je veux vous remercier. Merci. Euh, merci beaucoup. Moi, c'est Abdou Cham de Prolinova Sénégal. My name is Abdou Cham from Prolinova Senegal. Permettez-moi de, de partager avec vous l'expérience de, de la plateforme Prolinova Sénégal. I would want to share with you the experiences we've had as Prolinova Sénégal sur les concepts tels que l'innovation locale uh, on the concepts of uh, local innovation et le développement participatif de, de l'innovation locale and even uh, on PDI processes. Donc on a démarré le processus uh, we started the processes avec uh, l'information et la sensibilisation des acteurs locaux with the information and sensitization of the local community sur les différents concepts tels que l'innovation locale uh, le DPI et l'implémentation conjointe on the different concepts like uh, local innovation and all that et au début c'était un peu difficile and in the beginning it was a little bit difficult parce que les acteurs n'arrivaient pas à comprendre ces concepts là the community was not able to understand those concepts mais avec le temps but with time on est parvenu à les convaincre Are we were able to convince them? Et actuellement, ils ont soutenu ces concepts-là et reconnaître. Ils ont reconnu ces concepts et, et soutenu. Uh, now they are able to recognize the concepts and even support them. Donc, l'autre élément, c'est l'institutionnalisation de l'approche des pays. And uh, the next item is the institutionalization of Donc, the uh, uh, concepts in the country. Donc, on a informé aussi les, 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 les universités telles que l'Université de Cheikh Ante Diop de Dakar. Uh, we have now been able to inform the universities like uh, the university in par, Dakar. Par le biais d'un chercheur qui, se, qui est par ailleurs membre du comité national de pilotage. Uh, using uh, one of the people in charge of uh, piloting of the project in the university. Et l'école nationale supérieure d'agriculture de Thiès. And the uh, college of agriculture dont uh, le directeur est par ailleurs le président du comité national de pilotage. Where the, the president is, uh, where the one of the members there is the president of the, comi the, inter the national committee of uh, piloting the project. Donc ces deux acteurs-là nous ont beaucoup aidés. Uh, these two guys have really helped us. Sur la sensibilisation et l'information. In uh, sensitizing and even giving information to the farmers. Et aujourd'hui, uh, on a vraiment identifié des, des étudiants en quatrième année en agronomie And uh, today we have been able to identify uh, for years in the uh, Department of Agronomy. Actuellement, ils ont soutenu ces différents concepts uh, et accepté. They have been able to support these concepts and uh, accepted them fully. À l'état où je te parle, il y a un étudiant en quatrième année qui fait un stage chez nous dans notre organisation. And we also have uh, a student who is kind of currently doing his uh, internship in our organization. L'autre élément, c'est le réseautage. And uh, the next thing is now networking. C'est-à-dire, on, on, on met en place le réseau des paysans innovateurs. We have been able to come up with a ne a networking uh, uh, processes in our country. Qui regroupe les paysans innovateurs du nord. Uh, qui regroupe les paysans innovateurs de la région de Saint-Louis, au nord du Sénégal. Uh, in all the different uh, parts of Senegal, we've been able to do networking. Et ce réseau-là a porté le plaidoyer auprès des autorités locales. And we've been able to uh, do lobbying in the, to the, with the authorities, uh, local authorities in our country. Ils ont joué un rôle très déterminant. They have really played a very important role. Pour que ces autorités-là puissent accepter et soutenir ces différents concepts, so tels que l'innovation locale et le DPI. So that the, the authorities can be able to accept the concepts like uh, local innovation and all the other processes. Comme vous venez de le voir, notre paysan innovateur, on, on a appuyé aussi nos paysans sur comment présenter les, di les différents concepts. C'est-à-dire l'innovation locale, comment identifier mm -hmm. uh, les, les différentes innovations locales. And as you have seen with our, uh, uh, one of our farmers here, uh, she's able to present and even come up with a, a project and how to uh, present his uh, whatever uh, exhibition. Bon, dans les jours, uh, voire mois, mois à venir, uh, in the future, bon, nous espérons élargir un peu l'institutionnalisation de l'approche des pays dans d'autres universités du Sénégal. We are thinking of how we can expand the institutionalization of our programs in all the universities in Senegal. Aussi, nous envisageons aussi mettre en place uh, un réseau national qui regroupe les paysans innovateurs. And another thing it will be networking so that we have a, a grouping of together of all the farmers in our country. Uh, les paysans du nord du Sénégal et les paysans du centre the farmers from the north of Senegal and the farmers in the south. Pour former un grand réseau, to create a very big network, un réseau national qui, 
qui porteront vraiment le, le, le combat. Uh, a, net, a, a great network, a big network that can be used as a, a force. Avec l'appui de ces deux chercheurs. And with the help of these two researchers. Pour vraiment permettre aux autorités étatiques. Uh, to give a chance to the authorities that you have. De mieux it. reconnaître et donner une place très importante ces différents concepts dans to le développement to identify de l'agriculture. To accept the different concepts that we have in. Uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. My name is Magdalene from Kenya. Mon nom c'est Magdalene de Kenya. I'll highlight some of the innovations that our farmers are doing. Yeah. J'aimerais mettre en relief les innovations qu'on a eues comme uh, paysans. Continuez. So in Western Kenya, one of the value chain that is predominant is the maize value chain. Dans l'Ouest du Kenya, l'une des chaînes de valeur prédominante c'est le maïs. But through our program, we were able to uh, engage our farmers to start now producing soybeans. Et à travers un programme, nous avons été en mesure de les engager maintenant dans la production du soja. So they started producing the beans and then selling them to off-takers. Uh, but uh, it got to a point where by they were producing a lot and we didn't have enough off-takers. So what the farmers decided was for them to now start doing value addition. À travers ce projet, nous sommes arrivés à les amener à produire et que pour que les commerçants les, les achètent. Mais c'est arrivé à un niveau où c'est tellement important que les, les commerçants n'arrivent pas à consommer, à acheter toute leur production et leur idée maintenant est de commencer à, à faire de la valeur ajoutée. So some of the products that they were now producing was uh, making soy, soy oil and also uh, making cookies and also uh, making soy flour. Et ce que je peux dire, c'est que ces femmes, ces, ces gens qui ont commencé à produire le soja ont également commencé maintenant à développer eh, les biscuits de soja, l'huile de soja et la farine de soja. So a majority of the farmers that were participating in the programs were, ma were mostly women. So through that we were able to you know, improve their income and as well as their livelihoods. Et la majorité de ceux qui ont participé à ce projet sont les femmes. Et nous sommes arrivés à renforcer leurs capacités pour eh, améliorer leurs revenus et également leurs conditions de vie socio-économique. So we had uh, farmers who, were, who had the area, the land area that they were producing was from 0.5 acres to now 10 acres, just because of the benefits they were getting from innovating. Et au vu des bénéfices qu'ils qu sont en train d'engranger dans cette activité, ils sont partis maintenant de 0.5 hectares à, à même 10 hectares au vu de ces bénéfices. Now, from a technological perspective and how we've de de deployed our innovations, and our experiences, um, majority of the time, uh, when it comes to agri-tech solution, farmers are not usually consulted. So you find that, uh, I mean, service providers are coming up with solutions that really do not address issues that are affecting the farmers. Et ce que nous connaissions, c'est que la façon dont les gens avaient l'habitude de, de, de voir comment les producteurs peuvent adopter de nouvelles innovations, de nouvelles technologies, et que ces producteurs-là sont juste à utiliser, adopteurs. Mais ça ne répond pas aux solutions, aux problèmes qu'ils font face réellement. So this has resulted to a lot of resources and money being spent on building technology that really do not impact the farmer. Et ça a mené à, dével à développer beaucoup de technologies, à dépenser beaucoup d'argent, pour des technologies qui ne sont pas en réalité ce que les paysans ont besoin. So it's really important that when we are coming up with solutions that they are farmer led and fa a farmer is engaged right from the problem identification to the solution development and even dissemination. Ainsi nous percevons que venir à commencer les initiatives de développement des solutions des producteurs par eux-mêmes dès le commencement jusqu'à aux expériences, jusqu'à même au partage de ces résultats-là est préoccupant et c'est ce que nous devons considérer prochainement. And also while designing this solution, we also have to think about uh, gender inclusion. Uh, Susan was here in the morning and she showed us the, 
the differences between men and women and the preferences that women uh, use when choosing a technological solution. So it's very, very important that we include digital inclusions in our solutions. Ainsi, nous comprenons également qu'il est important de considérer l'approche genre lorsque nous pensons à développer des solutions avec les paysans. Comme la présentation que nous avons suivie ce matin de Suzanne, il est clair que les hommes et les femmes ont des préférences et des priorités différentes et qu'il faut nécessairement les consulter et séparément comme cela se doit pour des réponses pertinentes. To conclude, part of the efforts that Kenaf is putting in in recognizing and supporting pharma innovation is we have come up with an innovation hub that is called Kilimo Hub and through that we, are, we want to highlight what farmers like charity are doing in terms of pharma innovation so that other farmers could learn as well. But also we are reaching out to other um, value chain actors within the sector where they can pro provide services, may it be capacity building, and also working together with uh, institutions like CALRO so that we ensure that the research that CALRO is doing is disseminated and, and has reached farmers. Et dans la perspective d'inclure les producteurs dans les initiatives de développement de solutions de technologie, nous sommes arrivés à maintenant avoir une application qui est appelée Kilimo App. Et cette eh, application aide à, à, à vulgariser, à partager les innovations que les, 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 inno les paysans innovateurs arrivent à faire. Et aussi, nous, nous mettons dans cette euh, plateforme, à, dans cette application, ce que d'autres acteurs aussi dans la chaîne de valeur font, ainsi que les recherches que mènent eh, des institutions telles que CALRO, l'organisation kenyane eh, de, de, de recherche agricole et de l'élevage. Et ainsi, cette technologie est présentée pour permettre la dissémination de toute forme de résultats de recherche. Merci. Yeah, uh, just to remind us, my name is Helen. I work for Inades Formation Kenya. We have really been recognizing innovations and the farmland innovations for that matter because we have seen the solutions that are brought about by these innovations in the space of climate change, food security, we have seen farmers innovating a lot. Uh, one thing I've realized uh, working with farmers as innovators, at first they don't even recognize themselves. You come, you realize they are doing something that is really solving problem, but in their mind they are thinking, I'm doing this because I'm resource poor. And actually they are really solving a lot of problems. So the first thing that we have done as Hinades, he's really recognizing them identifying them and bringing them on board to realize actually what you are doing is really solving a problem and it can be taken up by someone else. Et je veux so vous dire que je travaille à, je suis Hélène, je travaille avec Inades et ce que j'ai personnellement réalisé est que les, les, innovateurs, les innovateurs, les innovateurs que nous rencontrons sont pertinents dans ce qu'ils font mais eux-mêmes ne reconnaissent pas que c'est de l'innovation ce qu'ils sont en train de faire. Ils pensent simplement que c'est parce qu'ils sont pauvres qu'ils sont en train de faire ce genre de choses, alors que c'est vraiment des solutions qu'ils sont arrivés à développer et très utiles. Et maintenant, ce que nous faisons, c'est de les identifier, les sélectionner et les amener eux-mêmes à savoir que ah, ils sont partie prenante des solutions que nous développons. Yeah, yes, and uh, at Inades, because we have seen these innovations work, we have been very deliberate in incorporating them in our programming. Et en tant que Inades, uh, au vu des résultats que présentent leurs innovations et leurs expériences, nous avons délibérément maintenant considéré leur implication dans nos activités. So in the projects as we design, we include the place for farmer-led innovations and bringing them on board to innovate together with others. Et pendant que nous élaborons nos projets, nous incluons des, des possibilités de recherche conduites par les paysans, dirigées par les paysans, afin qu'ils puissent venir avec leur réalité. Sharing from experiences, uh, creating platforms for farmers have really helped them in developing their innovations. Et créer des opportunités, des plateformes de partage de connaissances a vraiment aidé à ce que les paysans puissent continuer avec leurs innovations. 
So talking about these platforms, wherever we have field days, we call innovators to showcase whatever they have. Et ainsi, dès que nous avons un, une visite de terrain, nous appelons les paysans innovateurs pour exposer leurs innovations. And we have seen a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning among the farmers during these sessions. Et cela a donné à des occasions de partage entre pairs, de forme de paysans à paysans en tout ce que nous faisons. Yeah, and I've seen this one more effective when a farmer is learning from a farmer, they implement easier. Et il est facile de constater que lorsque c'est un paysan qui apprend à un autre paysan, c'est facile pour eux de considérer cela et de l'utiliser. Yeah, and through these platforms, because we also invite other organizations, yeah, we have seen them invite our innovators also to train there are farmers that they are reaching out. Voilà, parce que nous avons l'occasion à travers ces rencontres et ces plateformes d'inviter deux organisations. Nous sommes aperçus que même ces organisations ont donné des opportunités à nos producteurs pour aller former les leurs dans leur réalité, dans leur milieu. Yeah, and also through these platforms, we have seen government recognize innovations. Et aussi, nous avons constaté que à travers ces plateformes, même le gouvernement a maintenant reconnu ces innovations. And just to state one example, uh, this year when we had uh, Madaraka Day, our innovators were called to showcase what they have. Et pour un exemple que je vais citer, cette année, lorsque nous avons eu un événement que nous appelons eh, le jour de le jour de Maka, une fête, eh, un, un événement spécial où eh, les paysans ont eu l'occasion d'exposer leurs innovations. So I encourage other development actors to recognize innovators in whatever programs that you are doing and incorporate them because I've seen this one create a lot of impact. Et je veux encourager les acteurs de développement ici présents d'essayer de, d'incorporer et d'impliquer les paysans innovateurs dans ce qu'ils font parce que j'ai vu cela donner de grands résultats. Okay, th thank you very much. Merci. Uh, 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 maybe uh, instead of going to the details, Au lieu que dans beaucoup de détails, I, I will I, I'll try to bring some concepts, maybe take away to your home. Et so you je vais plutôt eh, okay. vous donner, you je vais plutôt much. vous dire quelques very mots good. que vous pourriez amener chez vous comme un enseignement clé. You can see how our women uh, innovators are innovating every time, every day, as they can, as you can observe it now. Quand vous pouvez voir nos femmes innovatrices, elles font des innovations tous les jours à toutes les occasions qu'elles ont. Quand vous pouvez déjà voir celles qui me sert ici. Now you know we are given two minutes to present. Nous avons juste deux minutes pour présenter. But the issue is complex. Mais le problème dont on a parlé est très complexe et aussi diversifié. It is also dynamic. Yes, also dynamic. So answering all these things into question by itself needs also a certain principles in the future. Et je vais regrouper ces éléments en deux questions auxquelles il faut aussi réfléchir dans le futur. So you experts also when you go to the field you have not to be tied up with time because we are talking about process. Process consumes time. Process consumes, you know, determination. So give it enough time if you want to open your eyes and learn something. Et donc, euh, ainsi, je veux vous dire que vous aussi, les acteurs, les experts ici, si vous allez sur le terrain, ne vous attardez pas, ne vous attardez pas sur le temps, parce qu'on est en train de parler d'un processus qui consomme du temps, qui consomme de l'autodétermination. Alors, trouvez euh, de, de, de votre disposition pour donner du temps. And the other point of uh, departure is we, we have to believe that in the absence of government, in the absence of expertise, researchers and so on, already farmers are doing something in their field, which means they are innovating every day. Et c'est aussi clair pour nous à reconnaître que en, en absence du gouvernement, eh, des experts, de, des chercheurs, nos paysans, tous les jours, ils sont là à développer des solutions. So that principle problème. always is a fundamental and a point of departure. Always, every day, every mi minute, they are experimenting because they have environmental problems. It could be excess water, shortage water, uh, dry. Then you have uh, uh, many cases in, uh, uh, in Kenya, even in Ethiopia, in Somalia, and so on, outbreak of uh, locusts, and so on. So since they have so many problems, always, they have to experiment. 
and innovate to exist. I, that must be the principle, the point of departure Et to ça anybody. Ça doit être, de mon point de vue, ça doit être vraiment le principe clé que pour nous, acteurs qui allons sur le terrain, de, con, de considérer que les paysans eux-mêmes résolvent leurs problèmes. Ils ont leur habitude, ils ont leur manière, parce que dans leur environnement, il y a beaucoup de, de, de changements, beaucoup de défis, et ils s'y adaptent. Et ainsi, nous devons considérer cela comme un point d'entrée. Therefore, if you want to recognize them and support them, make sure you are on the same foot, footage of the farmer, so that which is a long journey cannot be done in project cycle. Et donc, uh, it's si beyond vous that. It's accord. beyond three years. Si it is be beyond five years. Si Even vous it's decades. <laughs> si vous voudrez les reconnaître et les soutenir, et vous avez besoin de se mettre au même niveau eh, de fauteuil que, au même niveau eh, que eux, et aussi donner le temps parce que et ce n'est pas une affaire de quelques années. Et c'est même au-delà du des projets. Alors, eh, laissez le temps à ce genre de processus. Two important things in innovation. Deux Local éléments innovation. importants dans l'innovation. We have the hardware and the software. Nous avons la partie eh, dure, la, la partie fondamentale et aussi la partie eh, réplicable. What we have seen today, by and large, was the hardware and to some extent the software is the essence, the, the internal part of the farmer. We cannot see it easily. Be simply they, they were showing us the hardware. But the important thing is the software the values, identities, respection, what, ha you know, it's, it's more than words. You have to recognize that one. When we are recognizing them, we are uplifting them. That's why in the morning I said trust and confidence. The, hard, the software is equally important. Et je veux remarquer, je suis en train de remarquer que lorsqu'on parle d'innovation, il y a deux aspects importants. Il y a la partie visible et la partie invisible. La partie visible, c'est ce que nous avons observé ici les produits, les produits d'innovation. Mais la partie invisible, ce sont les valeurs, ce sont les connaissances. Et cela également est très important. Lorsque nous commençons à les reconnaître, nous, nous essayons ainsi d'élever les producteurs à notre niveau. C'est pourquoi au début ce matin, et quand j'avais eu l'occasion de parler, j'ai dit la confiance et la détermination étaient importantes dès le départ. Make sure also we have two, uh, two categories, visible and invisible. I am sure all the innovators, farmers here, didn't bring all their innovations here. They need some of them for their own protection, like intellectual property rights. Don't expect them to tell you everything. No. Even the Westerners never tell us everything. They go for a pra pra intellectual property rights, you know? Donc, uh, pour aussi ajouter un élément, la partie invisible dont je parle, c'est que vous comprenez que les paysans innovateurs qui sont arrivés ici ne vous ont pas tout dit, ils n'ont pas tout exposé. Et ne vous attendez pas à ce qu'ils vous dévoilent tout, parce qu'il y en a qui font partie de leurs secrets, de leurs connaissances. Et dans ce sens, je pense aujourd'hui qu'il faut venir à développer les droits de propriété intellectuelle en faveur de ces paysans. And finally, Et ainsi, enfin, that's why I said it is good to create enabling environment for the innovator farmers so that they solve their own problems, they make experimentation, they make innovation. Et ainsi, il est important, et comme je veux le remarquer, qu'il faut créer l'environnement favorable pour que les producteurs soient responsables des initiatives pour leur développement de l'innovation et les recherches autour. Uh, uh, Before I say thank you very much, let me say a very important uh, concept. Mm -hmm. This is in, uh, in Ethiopia, we, as you know it, we had conflicts and so on. What I was observed was the northern part where I am originally coming was under siege, under conflict for two years. And I was trying to see what happened to the innovator farmers which we had for a long time. It was after the project cycle where the whole impact of the innovation comes. These were the innovators who were able to survive, create markets there, and even support. Without the support of external support, they were making everybody to have access to food. So what I, am t uh, I want to underline is a project cycle, the impact is usually beyond the project cycle, not only on the project cycle. So thank you very much. Et je veux donner un, un cas, un exemple concret avant de conclure que pour Éthiopie, d'où je viens, là, vous savez qu'il y a des conflits là-bas actuellement. 
Et pour la zone nord dont je suis eh, originaire, eh, le processus que nous avons fait des années auparavant, nous avons compris que les paysans innovateurs que nous, que, qui, qui ont participé ont survécu à cette situation de conflit en développant eux-mêmes des solutions jusqu'à créer des marchés afin que dans leur communauté, ils puissent toujours avoir accès aux aliments, indépendamment de tout soutien extérieur. Ainsi, je veux que vous compreniez, que vous notiez que les impacts vont au-delà des cycles du projet. C'est même après les projets que de véritables impacts peuvent être notifiés et, 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 et documentés. Merci. Thanks so much to the panelists. I'm sure that they all deserve a round of applause for their inputs. Merci beaucoup pour les intervenants. Je crois que ils ont ils méritent des applaudissements pour leur présentation. We're a bit short of time, so what I'm going to suggest is that we just open the floor to everybody. Le temps coule vite. Maintenant, j'aimerais donner la chance pour tout le monde. And we gather a few questions. Et nous pouvons avoir uh, quelques petites questions. And those questions can either be uh, directed to a particular person or they can just be directed to the group of panelists. Et ces questions, on peut les demander directement à un intervenant ou bien à dans le groupement des uh, intervenants là. Okay, we have Jackie Tech. Sorry, I might need some help with this. Uh Okay, did, did Jaquita want to answer the question? I'm not sure what. A comment. Okay, comment from Jaquita. Donc, euh, merci aux différents panélistes. Euh, J'ai un commentaire. Donc, euh, ce qu'on peut retenir euh, de tout ce que vous avez dit, c'est que nous sommes vraiment dans un changement de paradigme à travers... Euh, l'approche des pays. Uh, what you have discovered from uh, the, what they have presented is that we are in a paradigm shift. Et ce changement de paradigme se traduit du fait que euh, les paysans innovateurs avec leurs connaissances ne sont plus encore euh, euh, considérés comme étant des utilisateurs des résultats de la recherche mais plutôt des acteurs à part entière. And what we have discovered is that the farmers themselves are not only the consumers of the innovation, but they are the ones who are actually the producers of those innovations. Et dans ce processus aussi qui est multi-acteur, l'engagement des uns et des autres est important, d'où on peut voir uh, l'implication du conseil agricole, des paysans innovateurs, de la recherche, donc qui viennent autour du paysan innovateur comment améliorer son innovation. And we are seeing that there are implications in the in, in innovations. And so uh, we have to be aware and uh, get in touch with the farmers to know the implications of the innovations. Donc, qui permet aux uns aux autres d'avoir vraiment des connaissances d'où il y a l'apprentissage mutuel entre les différents acteurs. And uh, as we can see, we have to Merci. have, uh, we, 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 we have to learn uh, from each other among uh, the innovators themselves. There's that peer learning from each other. I, I have a question. Uh, thank you. So une question, merci. my question uh, goes to two of the panelists. Uh, the, the first one is uh, Sunny. Um, and the, the se second, this, that question also goes to Abdu Mais from Senegal. Deux questions vont premièrement à Sunny Guerra. Et ensuite à Abdou. So my question uh, to Sunny is, uh, I listened to you talking about uh, some of the, that your, your farmers have done um, interesting innovations. I'm curious to know uh, w one such innovation that uh, you could share. Et pour uh, Sunny, c'est de savoir, je vous ai entendu dire que votre groupe de femmes a travaillé sur un certain nombre d'innovations, a développé un certain nombre d'innovations, et je voudrais avoir un exemple de tel produit ou de telle innovation que vous avez développé. And for Abdou, uh, what is an example of an innovation that was most impactful in Senegal? Et pour Abdou, quelle a été l'innovation 
qui a eu plus d'impact dans votre, dans votre cas au Sénégal. Merci. Thanks. Can I ask for quite prompt oui, responses? Oui, merci. <laughs> Chez moi, c'est la préparation de Pampano qu'on faisait et on a amélioré en poudre et en balai. Uh, for us, our project was uh, making that uh, flour that was improved and we were able to package it. I think she showcased it yesterday there. Plus avant, on prépare ces fermentés là qu'on préparait directement et on vend. A uh, long time ago, what we used to do is that uh, our flour, we used to just sell it directly like that, openly like that, without even packaging it. Et grâce à l'appui du projet Navinot, avec la particip participation des paysans et le projet, on a pu améliorer en mettant les animaux nutritifs. And uh, for now, because of the support that we got from the Navinet project, we were able to package our product and uh, we improved its uh, nutrients and it is now uh, has more quality and more, more nutritious than the way it used to be. Et les mettre en poudre pour mettre dans les emballages pour pouvoir les conserver pendant un an au moins pour pour la conservation. Packaging our product in a way that can last for even more than a year, that was an achievement to us. Uh, merci beaucoup pour la question. Thank je pense que c'est une question, question très pertinente. It's a very important question. Donc, bon, je pense que l'innovation que je vais vous présenter, euh, ça se trouve dans la région de Kaolak, uh, plus particulièrement dans le département de Kaolak. Uh, one of the innovations that I would like to present to you is the innovation that is found in a region called Kaulak. Yes. Uh, cette zone est, 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 est marquée par la salinisation de l'eau et, et, et du sol. And in this region, we have uh, water which is salty, salty water. We have the problem of salty water there. Pour faire le maraissage, ça pose problème. Qui dit salinisation de l'eau et du sol, il y a forcément que le maraissage est presque impossible dans cette localité. And uh, to be able to do farming, it's uh, almost impossible to do farming with salty water. Donc les paysans euh, innovateurs, c'est une innovation socio-organisationnelle. And c'est une innovation de groupe innovation socio-organisationnelle mm -hmm. qui a été développée par un groupe. We were able to come up with a group. Donc c'est euh, euh, dans, le, dans le quartier de Ngan Alsan, au, au, dans le département de Kaolak. In the district of uh, Kaolak. Yeah. That is les where the innovation was found. Donc les paysans sont confrontés par dif ces difficultés-là. Uh, the farmers who are faced with this difficulty of uh, farming or vegetable farming in a salty environment. Donc ils s'étaient dit comment faire pour vraiment uh, développer le maraîchage dans cette localité. And they came up with the question, how can we do vegetable farming in this kind of a locality? Donc ils ont commencé à utiliser des bassins de décantation. Uh, they started using bassin de décantation. Uh, they started using some uh, form of uh, a, a basin for uh, uh, doing the farming. Donc pour stocker l'eau productive pendant une durée de 24 heures. Uh -huh, they take the water for a period of 24 hours. 24 they store the rainwater for a, a period of 24 hours. Donc uh, après les 24 heures, ils peuvent utiliser parce que les particules solides, c'est-à-dire les, les sels et le fluor et le calcium se déposent au fond du bassin. And now, uh, in this uh, kind of innovation, after the 24 hours, uh, the heavy elements, they can take the water that is up there to do what we call a yeah, 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 Il yeah, y a plusieurs innovations que, que ces gens-là ont développées. Uh, there are so many other innovations that these guys were able to develop. Donc, que vraiment juger, que juger est nécessaire et important. Uh, and to me, I feel that this was very necessary and important. Même il y a un paysan innovateur qui a développé un système de compostage. Uh, there is even an innovator who was able to come up with. Si vous voudrez le même la même innovation dont tu as parlé, juste donne deux éléments d'impact. Comment ça a été vraiment impactant dans le milieu? La la même innovation dont tu as parlé pour la désalinisation. Quel a été son impact dans le milieu? Okay. Donc. Brigitte, he, he didn't yet uh, uh, answer Donc l'impact. Donc le, à mon avis, le, le, le uh, premier impact, c'est uh, ça réduit la salinisation de l'eau. Uh, to my opinion, that project reduces the salinity of the water. Ça favorise aussi un, un maraissage. Uh, and it also supports uh, vegetable. Le maraissage et l'arboriculture. Uh, vegetable farming and even uh, uh, the other kinds of. Uh, 
farming. Ça permet aussi aux, aux producteurs d'avoir un rendement, un bon rendement. And that also creates a good environment for our activities. Yeah. Merci. Merci, Abdou. <laughs> There was a question at the back. Thank you very much. Merci the, beaucoup. The innovators on the platform. Merci pour les innovateurs qui sont présents ici. My question is uh, Ma with regards to integration of innovations. There are two aspects. One is standardization and two is copyright issues. Et je veux mentionner que pour intégrer l'innovation il y a deux éléments. Il y a la sensibilisation et il y a la coopération. How are we working around the issue of standardizing our innovations to meet the refined product stage? And then two, given that we are innovators and our technologies are in the open space, how are we dealing with copyright issues so that we can be able to earn patents for ourselves. Thank you. Et donc, euh, j a, j a, il me semble que le, le mot-là m'était échappé. Il a parlé plutôt de deux éléments pour être sûr que l'innovation locale va être intégrée. Premièrement, c'est la standardisation. Et le deuxième, c'est la question de droit de propriété. Concernant la standardisation, comment on arrive à mesurer, à être sûr que ce qui est fait est vraiment bien documenté et dont la traçabilité est, 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 est atteinte, est, est garantie. Et concernant est le deuxième point qui concerne le, le, le droit de propriété, les innovations sont présentées à l'air libre à, à tout le monde. Qu'est-ce qui garantit est le droit du, de l'innovateur initial dans ce cas I'm not going to open the floor to any more questions. Um, some of these issues will be taken up later, ce but I'd like. Ce vont être traités après. <coughs> but I'd like to give the opportunity for two people: one to refer to the standardization, and one person to refer to the copyright issue from the panelists. And then that's going to bring us to the end of this session. Mais je vais donner aux deux inter intervenantes euh, l'une de parler de la standardisation et l'autre de parler des droits de propriété intellectuelle. Yeah, maybe a brief again. Uh, above all, uh, the concept, I mean. Et elle a voulu que les deux membres dans le panel puissent donner les réponses aux questions de standardisation et de droits de propriété. Et après, ce sera la fin de, de ce panel. Uh, maybe I know uh, the, the, uh, the condition in reality in rural area. Think of a farmer having fragmented plots, plots, a farmer having different types of soils, a farmer having microclimate, a farmer having a single, uh, I mean, uh, very few uh, household number, large household, economic wise, middle, low income, high, and so on. When you see all these complex issues, et je veux remarquer que nous avons des, 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 des paysans qui travaillent dans des environnements assez particuliers. Le microclimat est là, les différents types de sols sont là, et même au niveau de leur ménage, c'est de grands ménages, et, et tous ces éléments sont des éléments déjà complexes. Do you expect a standard solution to an, an in Do you expect a standard solution or technology under such landscape? Donc, je vais poser question. la question de mon côté aussi, à savoir si on peut espérer eh, des technologies standardisées eh, au vu de ce contexte que je viens de décrire. Without saying yes and no. Et pas nécessairement pour dire the, the second oui is et non. About intellectual property rights, the way I understand it. Le second, ça concerne le droit de propriété intellectuelle tel que je peux comprendre. There are two types of uh, policies, the way I understand. Some of the policies, including in Kenya, are functional. They are implemented. Many of them are non-functional. They exist in the policy, but people are already gone ahead of time. Et donc, uh, pour they ma become out, outdated, if you like. Pour ma compréhension, je peux dire, par exemple, que les politiques que les gens élaborent sont là. Mais à côté de cela, les gens avancent. 
Et on pourrait même dire que des fois, ces politiques ne sont pas mises en application et sont eh, eh, dépassées. So let us do it on this occasion. Maybe as you have said, we can further discuss it. Further. Et donc laissons peut-être cette uh, préoccupation à des discussions plus approfondies plus tard. Thank you, Johannes. I just want Merci, to add a little Johannes. bit into what he has Et said. Je veux ajouter quelques éléments sur ce que tu, vous venez de dire. Yeah, the first one is regarding standardization. And Et I want to say that some of our PID processes actually support um, uh, standardization. For example, uh, the nutrient analysis, uh, they call it proximate or what? Yeah. And uh, the Joe, when we talk about the feed, the Lofoda feed, yeah. they have gone through analysis um, uh, based on the KEBS standards. And this also is, is very specific to remember it is innovator centered, which way do they want the innovations to go and if they want to commercialize. So definitely if you want to commercialize an innovation, there has to be the standardization aspects to conform with what um, the markets uh, are supposed to have, that is one. And in terms merci, of- Merci, merci, uh, je veux, merci, juste pour que je traduis d'abord. Merci, et je, je veux remarquer que concernant la standardisation, pour ce qui concerne ce que nous faisons avec Prolinova, c'est pris en compte, c'est bien pris en compte dans nos processus de développement participatif de l'innovation. Mm. Je vous donne l'exemple des, euh, des, des aliments pour enfants et tous ces différents types d'aliments que vous avez vus. L'innovation participative prend en compte la standardisation parce que quand tu veux aller sur le marché, il faut être sûr que ce que tu vas présenter répond aux exigences du marché. And secondly, about the copyright, copyleft, I think um, I want to say this, maybe it will be emphasized later, that one of the things that uh, if, you, if you study the way we have been interacting here, we encourage sharing. So we have basically a principle of copyleft. And it's also notable that a number of innovations are discovered and documented when the innovators have already shared them. I can count a number of innovations that are documented when innovate innovators have already shared them and they're already being pro practiced. And a number of innovators um, readily share their innovations without requiring um, them to be patented. But in case there is an innovator who wishes not to expose their innovation, we respect that. And I think there's one innovator in the house who can attest to the fact that we have always respected his privacy in terms of what he's willing to share and what he's not willing to share because uh, probably he would like it patented. So that's just as far as I could Et say. Pour le deuxième point, je veux notifier que et pour notre approche, vous allez constater que nous apprécions eh, le copyleft qui veut dire qu'on ne met pas l'accent sur le droit de propriété et c'est libre à partager et c'est ce que nous faisons. Mais il est aussi no, a remarqué que Certains innovateurs préfèrent ne pas exposer leur innovation. Et il y a sûrement des innovateurs ici qui peuvent témoigner que quand ils ont voulu aller dans ce sens, on ne les a pas obligés. Voilà, eh, les discussions pourraient continuer plus tard là-dessus, mais je veux résumer rapidement sur cette, sur cette question de cette façon. Merci. Thank you. Omar, I'm not going to allow it now. Omar, we, we've got a session later with issues that are emerging. Can you take your question to that session? Okay. Yeah. Et je veux à Merci. Il a juste voulu demander qu'on leur crée un espace pour exprimer leurs questions, leurs préoccupations, 
les opportunités. Parce que hier, pendant la présentation, il n'avait pas vraiment pu le faire. Um, a suggestion was made to me that if people want to only take 30-minute lunch, we can have 30 minutes of discussion. But that's the only option. No, we can. Uh, can you translate? We can push it to this discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Bridget. We can still have the one hour lunch, but then we can push the closing to five o'clock instead of 4.45 here. Yes, but it does mean that we're only going to have lunch at 13.30. That's, that's okay. the first point. Right. Okay. Because I see this is very important. Okay. Did, um, did anybody want to respond to Omar's? Okay, ça va devoir continuer encore quelques minutes. Well, it was really a comment no, about... No, it's not... I think uh, uh, Omar's uh, question is valid, as I was mentioning also before when I was starting. So why don't we create, maybe the committee can create a certain groups so that all concerns will be maybe during the break and so on. This was the culture of uh, Prolino, I remember, where parallelly things were going on. So let us bring the issues. What Om Omar was raising is a critical question. So let everybody has a certain uh, groups from different areas, we, uh, you can combine us. Then we bring them to the panel then. Very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah, it's in the program. Yes. So it, it will be dealt with in the program. Thank you. Just to ensure Omar that it will be taken into account in the program through question and answer session. Yeah, just something else I remembered about standardization, copyright, copyleft. Uh, looking at a product like what was presented by Benin today, supported by the Navinat uh, project, we can already see that it's a branded project. And that branding is part of giving the rights to, to the producers, and they can sell it with their own uh, brand and their name, and that gives a sense of ownership. So that usually such processes arise from PID. I think we'll talk about PID later for people to understand more. And how, which way PID goes really depends on what is the, the desire of the innovator. How do they want, which direction do they want their innovation to, to take? Et je veux rapidement dire à propos de la standardisation, en me basant sur les du Bénin, si vous voyez les produits présentés, vous allez comprendre que Le, la façon que c'est en, en, eh, emballé avec des, des logos, cela montre qu'ils sont propriétaires de ces produits-là. Et cela vient avec le processus d'innovation, du développement participatif de l'innovation. Et selon les priorités, selon les préférences des paysans qui sont impliqués dans ce processus-là, le résultat sera leur propre... Eh, qu'ils aient le droit de propriété sur le résultat final. Sorry, I've got a question at the back. Sorry, um, I'm just giving people who haven't had a chance to talk the chance. Thank you. Uh, my name is Janice Audi. I represent Young Professionals in Agriculture Development. My name is Janice Audi. I represent the young professionals in agriculture. My concern is uh, in many African countries, we have an aging farmer population. In Kenya, an average age of a farmer is 60 years old. And we can see that well depicted in this conference. So my concern is this. How do we ensure youth inclusion for a long-lasting continuation and transformation of this amazing local innovation? Eh, eh, ma, ma préoccupation est que dans la majorité des pays africains, les jeunes sont les plus nombreux. Et ce qui vient à mon idée, c'est de demander comment s'assure que l'inclusion des jeunes est satisfaite afin que eh, la transformation soit durablement organisée et basée sur cette... Un des paysans, c'est 60, 60 ans, ici au Kenya, comme on a vu dans la, les, les expositions hier. So, I'll respond. Um, at KENAF, we have a KENAF Youth Council where we are trying to have youth representation 
from the world level to county to to sub county to county and to national why we are bringing youth on the table so that they can articulate their issues that are affecting them so that is one way another one we also have a kenneth young program whereby we are trying to get uh, more youth to engage into agriculture and on top of that we are trying to make agriculture sexy and we are using technology um, to you know to attract more youth into agriculture and that is why we have the kilimo hub where we are trying to you know hold conferences hold hackathons hold workshop master classes where you young people can come and learn but on top of that we are also doing farmer to farmer exchange visits so we have some of our young farmers who are really doing well in agriculture so we take farmers from one county to go and learn from there so we are doing that locally in international also et je veux noter pour répondre à cette question je veux dire que au niveau de Kenaf la la fédération kenyane des producteurs nous adressons cette question de deux manières le premier niveau c'est que nous avons une agent de conseil des jeunes et qui regroupe les jeunes qui travaillent dans l'agriculture et de la base du milieu rural jusqu'aux communes jusqu'au du village jusqu'aux communes et au niveau national qu'ils soient représentés dans nos différentes discussions pour aborder les, leurs préoccupations le deuxième eh, point c'est un programme dédié aux jeunes et que nous utilisons pour encourager les jeunes à venir dans l'agriculture ainsi nous pensons que nous pouvons eh, mettre l'agriculture acceptable, appréciable par les jeunes. Et, et là, elle a utilisé le concept de mettre l'agriculture, rendre l'agriculture sexy. Et ça passe par et le fait de, de développer des applications comme Kilimo App, qui permet de faire des conférences, de faire des rencontres, de faire des projections, de faire des concours, des compétitions de, de, de technologie pour les jeunes. Et ainsi, ils pourront s'intéresser davantage à l'agriculture. À un niveau plus intéressant encore, il y a des groupes de jeunes qui sont dans l'agriculture qui travaillent très bien dans leur localité. Alors nous faisons des programmes d'échange visite et nous les amenons de part de leur milieu à d'autres milieux ou bien nous amenons des jeunes d'un milieu chez eux pour apprendre et ainsi globalement être sûr que les jeunes leur participation à l'agriculture est prise en compte. Merci. Riga, you had a comment question. Yes, um, I'm Akonga Riga from Wild Neighbors and a member of the Prolnova Kenya Steering Committee. Johannes talked about something very important, um, that is both the hardware and software. And the software part, uh, which are basically the internal uh, internalization of uh, the innovator, uh, the processes used, that's something that is not being recognized. What can be done to be able to recognize um, these processes, not just the, the eventual um, output of the innovator, the innovation that is developed, but these processes which are very important, because the different processes um, that farmers take, uh, and they take di di different routes. Um, some of the things that we've been discussing in the morning, the issue of uh, uh, gender, uh, uh, we are assuming that um, they don't do, there's maybe even some gender analysis being done. It might be, uh, they might be doing it uh, uh, unknowingly, yeah? But how can you be able to understand and appreciate these processes that uh, uh, the innovators are doing so that we recognize this software part of it. Et pour ce qui me concerne, je remarque que Johannes a dit quelque chose très important ce matin concernant deux aspects de l'innovation, l'aspect interne et l'aspect externe. Et pour moi, il sera davantage important de se concentrer sur les processus internes et que lui y voit à peu près comme le processus qu'on ne met pas nos yeux seulement sur les produits finaux, mais comment internaliser, comment valoriser, comment capitaliser, documenter le processus en lui-même afin que tout cela soit euh, utile. Et notamment dans ce cas, les gens peuvent être en train de faire l'analyse genre euh, sans le savoir, mais comment définitivement mettre tout ça dans la balance afin que euh, chacun sache ce qui est fait en termes de processus pour en gagner davantage. Sorry, I'm just bringing the mic back. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to respond to Riga. I need one brief, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allergic to it, but let me uh, respond. He's asking me the software. You know, uh, uh, we're doing, I think, uh, colleagues were coming from Somaliland, I remember. 
we came with a concept of two dimension and three dimension, still making you a bit confused. We experting, experts are thinking in two dimension, while our pastoralists, including farmers, are thinking in four dimension. In many areas where we make a study on pastoralism, they tell you something we cannot understand. It. Therefore, we are in different wave of lengths. So to become to, let alone to fourth dimension, to come to the third dimension as a common de denominator to communicate with the farmer or the pastoralist, I think we need to, 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 we need to know more and more about the farmers. We live with them, but we don't understand them. I have family in rural area. I know I am grown up, but I, it doesn't mean I know every in and out. Therefore, I suggest still we have to keep more and more time, like we are going to the universities, high schools, we have to go to you know the farmer's field school. I remember we have a good experience in Kenya. That was a big op uh, eye-opener, you know, to go for a knowledge and wisdom and what have you. So, so I propose again and again, we don't know the farmer. <laughs> Pour résumer, okay, pour, uh, pour résumer rapidement son point de vue, il veut insister sur l'aspect interne de, de l'innovation. Et cela suggère sans toute aucune mesure que nous ne connaissons pas vraiment les paysans. Nous avons besoin de prendre du temps avec eux, nous mettre au même niveau que pour davantage comprendre ce qu'ils ont voulu nous enseigner. Merci. Thank you very much. I just want to make a small comment in regards to youth involvement. And uh, I want to just add on what she, uh, the respondent from Kenaf talked about. That is the responsibility of all of us and the organizations that are represented to encourage and show really the young people the opportunities that are in the different value chains or in agriculture. But also, more importantly, to you, the uh, individual innovators, it is your responsibility, but also your duty, to make sure that the information, the, the knowledge that you have is passed on to you, the young people, starting with your children. It will be a shame to you as local innovators to die with this information. And you find that you are the, 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 the innovation that you came up with, your children cannot uh, replicate or even make it better. So first, it is our solo individual responsibility as innovators to pass on this knowledge. Perhaps our children would, uh, will improve the innovations and do them better, commercialize them to even a larger extent. Et je veux répondre Thank à you. la question de notre collègue qui a demandé l'implication des jeunes. Et pour moi, il y a deux manières de résoudre à cela. Premier, premier point, c'est que tous les participants, toutes les organisations qui sont ici, on pourrait considérer comme devoir de parler, d'expliquer et d'amener les jeunes à comprendre les opportunités qui existent dans les différentes chaînes de valeur agricole et ainsi les inciter à prendre leur eh, position dedans. Et le deuxième, c'est concernant, eh, c est, c est, il voit comme une responsabilité personnelle pour les parents que les innovateurs locaux sont d'enseigner leurs enfants ce qui représente leur innovation. Si vous êtes innovateur, vous devez commencer par, avec vos enfants à la maison, à leur enseigner ce qui est votre innovation. Ainsi, ils pourront hériter cela, le travailler plus tard et être en mesure de le partager, pourquoi pas commercialiser à plus grande échelle. Si vous ne le faites pas, vous allez mourir avec les innovations et ce serait une perte. Merci. Okay. Thank you. I just want to add a bit about Ghana experience and standardization and how we are incorporating local innovations into. Okay, so let me just touch on it. In Ghana, um, we realize that when we go for even uh, innovation identification in communities, I don't know whether it's also here, you see a lot of children and young people also interested in joining such meetings. So we encourage them, and as we identify innovations, we go through all the processes to pick PID, we are working with the innovator and their groups and any young people or children that are interested and especially when there are food and nutrition innovations when after doing PID, we do sensory evaluation, people are able to test to tell which preference is what they like and as you go through PID, 
all those young people, children, and everything, everybody is involved. So as we enter a community, we do all the processes. By the time we finish, you see many more young people are telling you inno innovative, creative ideas, and more innovations are coming up. So I want to believe this is one of the ways that we can encourage young people to also be innovative and then pass on to young people. I wanted a minute just to share. Et puis pour y, pour y aller par rapport à ce qu'elle vient de dire, c'est que dans leurs initiatives d'accompagnement des paysans dans le développement participatif de l'innovation, il faut remarquer que une fois quand ils vont dans les, dans les milieux, dans les communautés rurales pour leurs activités, beaucoup de jeunes viennent tout autour, que ce soit les enfants des innovateurs ou des jeunes dans la communauté, parce qu'ils sont intéressés à voir ce qui se fait parce que de nouvelles personnes sont venues dans le milieu. Ainsi, tout le long du processus du DPI, ces jeunes sont impliqués. Et en fin de compte, ils peuvent vous dire ce qu'ils ont appris et l'intérêt qu'ils ont trouvé à participer au processus. OK, so in most of our uh, PID on food and nutrition, uh, most of the cereals that uh, women innovators are using, most of the time they just fetch, but in food fortification demonstrations, we have standard quantities, and with the food composition table, we know that this portion to this part of this, maybe cereal to legume, makes for this. So all our food demonstrations that needed standardization, we have gone through PID with the women, and now all the PID results are out, and they are practicing with standardized measures and preparing local nutritious food. So that's it on that one. Then on. <laughs> Merci. Et elle a présenté un argument concernant la standardisation en expliquant que dans le cadre de, de, des innovations qu'ils ont appuyées concernant la sécurité alimentaire, le développement des aliments, la standardisation est prise en compte parce que dans le processus, les acteurs impliqués permettent que la table de, des valeurs nutritives des aliments sont bien connues et à un moment donné, les différentes quantités à combiner, que ce soit pour le, les céréales, que ce soit pour les légumineuses, cela est bien connu et maîtrisé par les femmes et ainsi, elles sont en mesure de faire des propositions, des formulations de produits qui respectent toutes ces conditions et toutes ces valeurs et pour être standardisées comme on le veut. Merci. Okay, so that really does bring us to the end of this session, and thank you very much to et the cela panel. nous amène à la fin de cette section, et je voudrais remercier les innovateurs, les membres du panel, tous les membres du panel. And thanks to everybody in the et room. Merci pour to toute l'assistance, pour l'attention. And before we finish and go to lunch, I know that I'm going to hand over to Onyama. That's much simpler. Et je veux thank confier you. au modérateur pour les annonces à suivre. So, merci. Yeah. So I know we are eh, hungry. We need to go and put something in the mouth. Je sais que nous avons faim. Go, nous devons aller manger. To, when we come back, we are ready prepared. Mais en rentrant, il faut être préparé. We know that when we come back, we had the next. There are two. So we are going to have another team here. Et nous allons avoir une autre équipe ici. But the moderator will be different. Et le modérateur sera différent. It will be done by Chris Makalo. Il sera fait par he Chris Makalo. It's Chris and uh, someone else. You are you, it's you and and Chipriel. Chris Macalo and Chipriel. So I'll invite Chris to come here. Je vais inviter Chris so that he, he can call out his team so that when he come back, you just go direct and sit there. Pour appeler son équipe pour que quand on rentre de déjeuner, nous pouvons nous asseoir ici à l'estrade. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Dr. Wanyama. Merci beaucoup, Dr. Wanyama. Um, I, I just request for one minute Je vous demande une for minute the following, the following uh, panelists to come forward. Pour ces intervenants de venir ici. Veronica Ciote from Mozambique. De Mozambique. Mahama Sabratu from Ghana. Mahama Sabratu de Ghana. Daudi Sentogo from Uganda. Daudi de Luganda. Rosin Lambenya from Kenya. Rosin Lambenya du Kenya. Richard Chuene. From South Africa, uh, Richard Chwene de l'Afrique du Sud, Matilda Uma from uh, Kenya, Matilda Uma de Kenya, and Chirilukovian Wasike from Kenya. Et Wasike aussi de Kenya. Ah, okay. 
Um, then there were two people who, whose names were appearing in the program, y avait but aussi uh, deux they were not able to come, so they are being replaced. Dont leur nom a um, été dans le programme, ils ont re remplacé. Jakite Burali from Mali. Il y a so you are replacing uh, Augustine Wedrago. Vous allez remplacer Augustine Rodrago. And then Nancy, representing um, Kamau, Jeffrey Kamau. Can you please come Nancy forward so that we just um, one minute organize how you are going to present in the afternoon? Vous pouvez venir ici pour qu'on nous organise comment vous allez présenter à l'après-midi. I hope they are all here. Je crois qu'ils sont tous ici. Okay, please come, come forward. Uh, veuillez venir. As, as uh, this calls to vote, it's now about 27 minutes. I think that's the last time I checked, maybe 28. But we would just like you to come back 15 minutes past 2. J'aimerais vous demander de re no minute re revenir more, ici à no minute less. 14h15. Because we need to keep capture the time we, are, we have eaten into. So 15 minutes past 2, we should be back here. Nous avons besoin de remplacer des so heures qu'on a perdues. Si on if vous a appelé, team, we can go for lunch. Et si vous ne vous faites pas partie de cette équipe, vous pouvez aller euh, pour le déjeuner. A farmer innovator. I'm at the same time the chairman of. What was it going to take a Pode explicar o que está a fazer? Ambas o canela, só os dois coitados. Primeiro, canela, é o que é o amor. Ambas faz, a faz o dele na ambas colhe. E para a dalam sinha, já custa o que é ambas a faz lá. A dalam sinha, a sinha logo o pete logo a faz. O que me cala logo o teca o ia o gualó chalas tru me colom para cá te a faz. We are a wow jala, look who jali lens in your old chelamati. Ukumeka matila Manga and Timaela and Sino Oanya Quazi, Ungana Tora, now little ones in Cavaz. Say, Kumeka Lumti Quenca in Alu. See, they will care. 
loko ibdala msinya na ibdala la lo munze ni kama vazi kwa msinya uanya kwati na ulilu ka vazi uleli nile amba but it was Boy, Lela and Javas. In Shako and get a la Shako, Shoka Avas in tea, Solusagula, I sell and zongo, and a lie, Punis have went last room, can see through me a man through that. Kilki no lado de BID. Was this in Now, Técnica, técnica, tem que por isso dar. É, a a Alguma coisa aqui pode trazer aqui para aumentar, para aumentar esse processo, aliviar 
aliviar o processo. No mundo tem, pode entrar na internet, talvez ver o que está fazendo o processo. Que é esta? Sim, quando estiveram lá. O tempo era muito numa manhã, podia fazer dois, três. Quando agora já dizer, mas conseguem ver que melhoraram muito. Agora já ah, podem fazer até 35. Professor. Mas aquele, aqueles que estou levantando aqui para exemplo, é exemplo. na PIB, quando o um inovador começar a ir, você quando vê, sempre procura, se procura. É alguma coisa no mundo, qualquer sítio no mundo, que você pode trazer aqui. Mas talvez pode também levar eles na troca de experiência com outro que faz. Hum. Outra hum. coisa que está ligada com isso, para melhorar? Mas para melhorar, sim. Yeah. Nós técnicos temos uma... Não, sei, não, 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 é, não é lacuna, é falha. Chegamos aqui e só perguntamos. O que fazem? Produzimos vasos. Yeah. Mostram o que, o que produziram ou como fazem. Nós nos sentamos para acompanhar todo o processo para ver as dificuldades que tem e podermos ajudar a resolver. Porque pode dizer que, ok, está tudo bem, nós conseguimos produzir 30, 30 vasos por dia. 30 vasos durante quanto tempo? 8 horas, 10, 10, 10 horas, 20 horas. Nem esforço de trabalho, né? Usando a mão, o que podemos melhorar para poder ajudar? É, produzem esses vasos sentadas ou de pé. Isso são que hum, coisas que temos que analisar. Não, é não, é não. Onde podemos ajudar Sim. a reduzir... É... Daí quando procura isso, yeah. vai descobrir talvez na research, ou quando é research, na investigação. Tem alguma coisa, alguma coisa que ele expulsava por outra coisa, não é isso? Mas está ligado, quando trouxer aí, eles usam, só mostrar, eles vão pegar, melhorar isso. Existe alguma coisa, alguma máquina para fazer, por exemplo, cestos? Ter cestos de palha, de, de, de quê? É só, é feito à mão? É feito à mão. Se não, tem... O processo é o mesmo. O material, o material tem. é feito. Tem. Tem. Existe. Não, não existe. Não, se não existe, também há possibilidade, como você é, 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 é pode é, colocar, é, começar, you can develop it. Yeah, podem também é, criar condições de, 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 de trabalho. Hum. Talvez fazer cestos sentadas. Sim, é isso. Melhorar, é isso. Está a ver, está a trabalhar. Está a trabalhar. É isso mesmo. Está a trabalhar. Está a trabalhar. Se pensarmos em investigar, pode ser na internet ou em qualquer sítio, né? Se existe uma máquina para este processo. Nós temos ainda em princípio que este trabalho das comunidades não deve acarretar o custo. Então, uma máquina para esta, esta camada hum. é, pode acarretar muitos custos que, se calhar, não estariam em condições de adquirir essa máquina. Uhum. Eu acho que pode levar, se levar tempo sem fazer 30, 35 por dia, uhum. mas não tem custos. Uhum. Então, você, como é técnico, que... como Quer cientista, dizer, vai sentar, vai fazer, fazer essa máquina. Horas, hum. horas. Aquele Sim, tempo ia máquina, fazer outra coisa. Uma máquina, tá vai ver o custo Sim. da máquina. Isto é mamã, vai ferrar, tem criança em casa, tem que cozinhar. E vai estimar. Se está a fazer isso. Se você tirar este tempo para ele fazer em dois horas, há de voltar a fazer uma coisa de nada. Eles não precisam de máquina, porque é mais caro. Ou precisam de máquina para melhorar, porque a machamba, que a zona, a área que querem, onde querem plantar, é mais extenso. Tudo é o técnico. Temos que, temos que vencer a preguiça. É a preguiça que nós temos como técnicos. Oh, 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 Bule, estamos dizendo você quando vê a máquina aí, não para trazer aquele mesmo máquina. Como você é técnico? Pode também, esses quando foram lá, troca de experiência, voltaram numa maneira de fazer. Quando chegaram aqui, mudaram, usando material locais. Mesmo você, pode dizer, ah, essa coisa eu posso fazer com árvores aqui, com estacas. Está vendo? 
já. É para pensar fora de aqueles que nós aprendemos na escola. Aqui? Ah, já está bom. Aqui. Embaixo. Embaixo, aqui. Que é para a terra não cair. Sim. Levou, levou, levou uma hora, 30 minutos. Não sei o que é isso. É o nome. Já está bom. Alguém que está me a fiscalizar o nome. O nome. Mamã Navito. O nome. Esperança Alexandre Matos. Esperança, você vai me dizer. Esperança Alexandre Matos. Esperança Alexandre Matos. Esperança Alexandre Matos. Se acompanharam. Ela trabalhou assim, de pé. Imagine se, se tem, tem que produzir 30 por dia de pé, vai conseguir? Mesmo ah, sabendo que esta yeah. mamã tem criança em casa, tem criança, tem, tem, tem outra senhora. Tem que procurar a água, não sei, tem que cozinhar. Está a ver? O técnico. O técnico. Esperança Mate. Alexandre Mate. Mate. Tem, e senhora? Candidato Ernesto Macado Onwani. Quatro. Está bem. Onwani. Nós todos nós sabemos como fazer isso, não é? Ernesto Macado. Ok. Macado? Onwani. Ah. Sim, temos que pensar. Em... Esse é isso um, um exemplo? É exemplo. Não é obrigatório. Um exemplo de problema. Eles até agora precisam de 10 vasos para a pessoa. Mas tem, tem que ver as condições. Porque eles não têm capaz de entrar na internet. É? Você tem capaz de falar com alguém, mostrar como ele. Eu, você, onde você vai? É a maneira de melhorar, fazer isso. Quando apanha isso, só mostra. Eles vão tocar para apontar. Tem capaz de fazer isso. Para poder eh, acompanhar, ajudar esta associação, os produtores, os inovadores a melhorar, tem que, você tem que, como técnico, tem que trabalhar sempre, todos os dias, quase, acompanhar todo o processo e conhecer melhor o processo. Não é só dizer, tenho certeza que David Bulle. Se, nós, não, se não fosse esta demonstração, Está não ia saber como faz. Obrigado. Sim. Uma puta aqui estava sentada. <risos> My name is Samuel Nderitu, the founder and the executive director of the Grow by Intensive Agriculture Center of Kenya, in short, GBIAC, um, an NGO that was started in the year 2008 in order to respond to um, the many emerging issues and challenges of food insecurity and poverty levels in Kenya. My name is Betcheba Ratemo. Um, I'm the field officer for the KCOA Care Project. For Kenya, the Knowledge Hub is hosted at Pelham, Kenya, where is where I work, and the field officer. The Care Project is uh, an initiative where we want to establish center of excellence where farmers and multipliers can learn about organic agriculture practices that are at GBIAC. Part of the mandate is to ensure that our member organizations are able to cascade knowledge on organic agriculture. Uh, my name is Rosina Mbenga. I'm the country coordinator for Penam Kenya. And Pelham Kenya is a network of NGOs. Uh, currently, we have 57 member organizations that are spread uh, across the country. Uh, all of them are promoting agroecology. And uh, we hope that this message reaches out to very many farmers out there, very many extension officers out there, 
and as many public people as possible so that we can showcase the potential of organic agriculture and also to showcase the importance and the, the, the ability that we have within our ecosystems to nurture our food uh, in a natural way, to nurture our food in an organic way and uh, a way that also is uh, promoting the healthy community. One of the programs that we promote at GBIAC is the Seed Sovereignty Program and uh, this call, calls us to teach farmers on uh, how they are able to save their indigenous seeds. And you know, indigenous, indigenous, saving indigenous seeds is our heritage. And uh, our heritage is uh, one of the things that, uh, that has been entrenched in the constitution. And therefore we, we, we have a mandate to help our farmers to save what belongs to them. And that is seed saving. So we learn um, uh, from different organizations as well uh, because one organization cannot be able to get all the information. So we, we also visit other organizations like Seed Savers in Gilgil and get the ideas from them or we also have uh, meetings together so that we get to learn what ideas do they have, how do they save their seeds, what can we borrow from them. And as well, they also visit our center. We teach farmers on good agronomic practices. That means some of the, the good uh, agronomic practices are one, um, timely planting, how farmers can be able to plant their, their crops uh, in time without delay, delay. Two, timely weeding, um, timely fertilization, and using the correct fertilizers, and that's organic fertilizers. Uh, we also teach farmers on how to control pests and diseases, and you know, that is organically, and as you can see here, um, the tomatoes are growing without any chemicals, so it is possible for you to grow anything without chemicals. And, and uh, regardless of where you are, you, are, you can grow your crops without chemicals. Another practice that we are promoting here at GBIAC is vermiculture. Vermiculture is a rearing of earthworms, and these are not just earthworms, but they are special earthworms known as the red wigglers. Red wigglers like staying at the surface about six inches um, from the surface, and so they are just on top here, and their work is to uh, feed on the materials. They break down the materials, especially um, the organic matter. They break them, them down into uh, smaller um, uh, nutrient-rich materials so that the plant will be ready to, to take up the human. Another good practice that we are promoting here at GBIAC is the BSF. And the BSF is the Black Soldier Flies project. Um, and this project is purely for smallholder farmers. And this is where we rear special flies, not house flies. These are flies that um, uh, will, will undergo some cycle that will give the farmer the lava or the larvae that will be fed to the poultry or to any animal after processing the feeds. The practice that uh, we are promoting here at GBIAC is small livestock integration. That is integrating small livestock to the main farm and the cycle has to touch on plants or crops, the soil, water, and the, and the, and the animals. So that cycle has to revolve like, like that. Each um, of them must benefit one another. This is an example that we're giving here. And this one, we are calling it African Integrated um, Farming System. One of the practices that uh, uh, GBIAC is promoting is soil fertility management using organic uh, methods that um, um, where farmers or smallholder farmers get or acquire materials from their own farms without going outside their farms to get the materials for, for making compost or for making, um, you know, the fertility management agents. So our compost here, um, as you can see, uh, materials that we get from our farm. And, and so we, we, we help farmers to come up with uh, their own fertilizers fertilizers that will re replenish their soils, fertilizers that will grow their soils, other than using chemical fertilizers which destroy the soil. GBA as a demo center for KCOA has been collaborating with other non-government organizations, especially the ones that are uh, like-minded, like, like um, African Real IPM, where we, learn, we have learned a lot about uh, tree planting and uh, fruit tree planting and nursery management and also um, IPM management. 
and so we have been able to borrow that from them. We have also been working with uh, hand in hand with other organizations like Seed Savers in Gilgil and also um, Biology in the western part of the country, Manhouse Agricultural Center, we've been working together. And so many other organizations have uh, also visited the, G uh, the GBX Center so that we learn and we share ideas together. GBX has developed its staff from one staff, that is myself, from uh, 2009 to 17 to date. So we have very qualified staff that have undergone courses that are very relevant to ecological organic agriculture and agroecology in general. And, and so we are very competent that people coming at GBIAC will be able to learn a lot of things and gain skills out of our staff members. I'm Winnie from Moranga County. Upper Tunafanya organic farming. We don't do chemicals at all. After controlling pests, we do organically. Yeah. At least we can compare using organic farming and healing in Utapata organic farming, how to me a lot of finances in on finances side uko safer. Because in a to me hapa, organic una to the available resources you have. You don't have to go to source out there. Like come and compost, una to me two zilla materials and una toa kwa shambayako. Do na rudisha kwa mchanga ina kuwa better. At least let us embrace organic farming. Because so far, sijaona any disadvantage. Unaweza hata tumia unaweza tumia ka shamba kidogo na na have a lot. We are using the 60 30 10 format of growing crops where the 60 ni carbon, 30 ni calorie, alafu 10% ni vegetable crops. Kona manufacture kwa sababu it is not that costly, it is cheap. So the only match kile tu utahitaji ni shamba. After mapata shamba, actually mbegu kupata singuni. You use the available materials. Mbegu kama ume harvest the other season, unaweza secure the seeds vizuri, utumeyo season next. So si lazima wendu purchase. The KCA project has been made possible uh, by Bivat through Pelham Kenya. And some of the renovations that have been done here have been done through some uh, support from uh, Pelham Kenya. Um, and we are yet to do more of uh, renovating and putting in new projects and uh, also new structures uh, that will help uh, to, to, to disseminate knowledge. Because one of the, uh, the things that this project is up to is to, to disseminate knowledge. And the other thing that uh, we have done together is to train, I think, more than uh, 600 farmers now since we started this project. And, and uh, as, a, as, as, a, as a master trainer, we have been able to train a lot of um, the multipliers. Multipliers are people that are coming from different NGOs. They have come here at GBIAC. We have been able to, to train them, give them the skills, uh, build their capacities, and now they are working, going, we have gone back to their, to their organizations, and now they are disseminating that knowledge to the smallholder farmers. We want to appreciate uh, our partners, uh, the GIZ, Biovision Africa Trust, and even Pelham Uganda uh, for uh, partnering with us in this project, and look forward for having more partnership in the future because this is the way to go to ensure that uh, the whole of the country, the whole of Africa, and the whole of the world are large, adopt these agroecological practices, and we are happy and excited even as we see global trends towards the adoption of agroecology because we are this the future and let's all support organic agriculture. This project is funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, and implemented by GIZ in cooperation with Biovision Africa Trust, Pelham Uganda, Pelham Kenya, and other partners. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity software where you can manage everything in
Husband who is here and we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example here I have a I have a card of fruits which I have used the organic fruit fly and it's doing non well. How do you make uh, the, your local uh, organic fruit fly trap? These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon. This is a lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey. One glass of a lemon juice. I add one spoon, tablespoon of honey. And I use two, two glasses of water. I add together and I stir well so that I make this now, this juice, which I use it as the medicine I use. I go on, I use local materials. These are the bottles we use for water. I just do holes all round, halfway. I do holes whereby the insect comes and gets in and they are being trapped. I used it by hanging. Let's get inside the bottle. They know they don't fly away because they are being trapped by the lemon juice which is inside the honey and the water thereby i use the insects to feed my young chicks at home okay i do the work with the help of my husband who is just here and he can do he can say more about the innovation uh, in this form of innovation, it is cheap because we just use local materials like lemons, water, honey. Uh, the, the materials are available in our farm. Uh, we use the organic, organic trap, blue fly trap to control blood fly insects. We control them in mango trees, man uh, guavas, pumpkins, and also in lemony fruits. Now, having heard of uh, how the local, uh, in the 
innovation is being concocted. Could you kindly tell us what made you embark on this local innovation? What made me to do this innovation? I was sometimes going around my farm and I see a lot of fruits which are just on the ground due to insects and I had no enough money to buy the hungropet medicines. So I decided to do something to see whether I can prevent it. Okay, and as a result of the improvements, maybe are there are some results, uh, maybe in terms of the efficacy, it is now working better than mm. before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now, it's doing on well, because when I go around the farm, even if you find fruits which are falling off, they are so few. It's not like there before. Okay, Madam Mombua. Mm. It's good that you are doing this innovation. Mm. And maybe have you shared this innovation with other people? Okay, the information the in innovation I've shared with a lot of people by now. I even share it with the groups who come and come with us so that I help them. And I even help my neighbors to do it on their own chambers. Are there any challenges? In challenges, there are so few cause the materials are so locally and we get them locally in our chambers. So we have no challenges. There are no challenges, yeah? Yeah. And maybe at, with your own conjecture, uh, where do you see yourself maybe in five years to come? Where do you see yourself? Okay, in five years to come, I see I will have grown up and I will, I will have been enlarged. And many. Africa. Pelham, Kenya is the Kenyan country chapter of the Pelham Association and has a membership of 49 member organizations. In Pelham, Kenya, our members work with small older farmers. What we have discovered over the years is that the farmers have many innovations. It is the work of Pelham to make sure that we try to, to identify these uh, innovations. Then we document them, then we try to scale, to scale them up so that uh, other farmers can make use of these uh, innovations. Among our members, we have members such as the uh, Pamakacha Research Institute, currently uh, uh, working on uh, programs. One of them is promoting permaculture, whereby permaculture is not just about promoting organic. It is also involves uh, activities such as uh, landscaping, incorporating landscaping in, uh, in production. Laikipi North is classified as semi-arid. Most of the communities are traditionally pastoralists. In these communities, very little food production is happening locally. Instead, they focus on pastoralism, which due to the increasing lack of land, is putting enormous stress on the environment. The area has little rainfall and has suffered severe degradation, erosion of topsoil, and huge gullies have been created. The possibilities are endless, and currently the community here believe they can turn pests into possibilities. My name is Joseph Lentuyoi. I'm one of the founders of uh, Laikipia Permaculture Center, a center in Laikipia which is actually training people on permaculture. Permaculture is a sustainable way of living. It's a sustainable way for human settlements to look at how does man live on the earth planet? How do we interact with the landscape? How do we take care of ourselves? How do we take care of animals, plants, to be able to all coexist? Through permaculture techniques, the center will help to address land degradation in the area. Enormous erosion gullies can be prevented with swales and trees. 
the three aspects of uh, social aspect, environmental aspect, and economic aspect is met at the end of the day. If these three are not met, then the system is not balanced and then we will fall. The Panaculture Research Institute has successful farmer innovation practices for sharing and upscaling. We are also growing uh, food, uh, food forests for them. We are growing um, fruit trees, veggies, and um, various other crops to fix nitrogen to the soil and uh, kaffir crops. So with this region, mainly the acacia species does very well. But with just little amount of water, we are able to do a lot. We integrated the project of Alo with bees for pollination, with cob houses like this, and then we trained the women to be able to make the cob houses themselves. True permaculture is not just organic farming. It's the harmonious integration of environment and people providing their food, shelter, and energy in a sustainable way. At NPC here, we grow varieties of crops, which are about like, at the moment, is about 50 types of crops, ranging from hot cultural and cereal crops. We regenerate the soil first by making compost, have um, compost as well as uh, using leguminous crops to to make uh, to develop the fertility of the crops. Here we grow crops in a companion way, like uh, we grow spinach together with the kales or skuma because we, they, they repel each other. If you see spinach cannot be affected by aphids, but uh, the Skuma can be affected by aphid, so we grow in a companion way. Where we are now is actually um, Natum Alo Women Group, 27 women um, in a very rural setup of Laikipia North. And uh, the place is really dry, receives uh, less than 500 meals of rain for a year. Uh, Water is collected off the rock and directed into a tank. The rock water catchment tank provides water for the whole community. The centre is also promoting ecotourism using locally available materials for developing structures such as houses. We are looking at natural building, specifically cob building. Cob is a mix of straw, sand and clay. Behind me is our biggest house on the site at Laikipa Pamukasha Centre. We build it with cob. And how we do it, we, we invited um, uh, people who know how to build it from other countries and we called our local people to come and build with him. We are teaching them how to be able to adopt um, technologies like natural building. We have our women who we work with knowing how to build it themselves. They are taking it to their projects. Mchanga tunachukua pamoja na changarawa tunaweka pamoja na nyazi nyazi tu ni hii ya hii hata unaweka bila kukatakata bara tu unachanganya ikiwa ni mzima mzima na mna hiyo kwa hivyo hii kitu kutengeneza tunatengeneza maina mbili tunatengenezea kwa sanduku 
na usa tengenezea hata kwa ukuta lakini kwa ukuta utakuwa na unatumia ujuzi kubwa sana na unafaa kuwa mwangalifu sana how do we generate income to be able to buy things that we don't have we grow what we need and we have supplies to sell then we get the money to buy things that we cannot be able to grow this way this is called this is what we call entrepreneurship and this is why we train women to be able to make cosmetic products like soap shampoo shower jelly they sell it they get the money <laughs> Sasa anakuja tena kupandilisha kupanya kasi ya sabuni. Naletiwe sisi wataalamu kutoka Nairobi akuja kufundisha sisi mambo ya sabuni ya aloe. Kwa sababu hiyo ya aloe ndio iko hapa kwetu. Na ba, naweza hiyo sabuni yetu aloe na coconut na hiyo mafuta ya coconut natoka huko Mombasa. Naweka silicate na katisi soda. Sasa watu wa NPC nasaidia sisi. Anapeleka sisi tureni ya hiyo mimea na hawa naletea sisi wakini ya kukuja kumunua hii sabuni yetu. Kwa sababu sisi kwa hapa hakuna market ya sabuni. Kuandoka kama subu isambili na kukuja kutuwa mafuta inje. Kwa sababu hiyo mafuta ya koko na tana mkwada ya yeweke ya kuwe majimaji wasi tangana sana mafuta ile na shikana sasa hiyo hiyo mafuta kupata njua aita ya kwa majimaji na nakaa tu kama masaa matatu kwa sababu ile katisi soda anaweka kwa maji anapea apwe kwa sababu hiyo kitu na kama kama moto ni kama moto kwa awesi kwa roba sabuni na hiyo maji moto anaweka hiyo maji pesheni ngoweka hiyo kati msuda na na sana kaa kama masaa matatu masaa mengine apo apate bariki ndio naleta hiyo mafuta na koroga ndio naweka hii makontina sasa iko sasa iko hiyo hiyo sabuni kuweka hiyo kontina anakaa kama siku tatu kwa siku tatu nakuja kutoa kwa kontina kwa sababu imeshikana sasa hiyo sio maji maji imeshikana sasa anaanza kuendelea kutengeneza ngine kama alikuwa anataka tena kutengeneza ngine. Imagine a situation where you have thousands of acres of rangelands which support tourism and livestock keeping invaded by invasive species of a fast growing cactus. Opuntia stricta is an invasive cactus that has colonized huge swaths of land in Laikipia. It is known by locals as Ormatunai and was introduced in the 1940s by colonialists who used it as a living hedge to protect their homes and gardens from wild animals. In this place, people don't want to hear about uh, the cactus because it's invasive. It has taken up all the rangelands. So therefore, no grass would grow underneath. That means that their livelihoods have been affected directly. So we are looking at how else can we use the cactus to be able to benefit them. We are now in the process of setting up a factory to be able to make uh, products of, of Pontia uh, cactus. That's uh, jam, juice, yogurt, wine, and this can be say, sold locally. We are also exploring potential of uh, contacting other people who have been doing uh, cactus in various countries to tell us how can we convert the part of the cactus to make fodder for their animals. We buy the fruit from the women group, that is Twala and the two women group. After we get the two crates or three crates of the fruit, we wait. Then after that, we wash, clean the fruit. After I clean the fruit, I, I use the extractor this to extract the pulp. After I get the pulp, I wait again. I heat, I heat that's now done. I eat the, the pulp uh, to 50 degrees, then I sieve. I put again the, um, to heat again. I use the ingredient that's what, uh, sugar, pectin, citric acid for jam. Then I eat into 
up to 105 degrees. After that, I put it down and I cool it to 68. In 68 degrees, I pack into the glass bottles. After I pack, I, I leave it for one day. The other day, uh, second day, I put the labels. If you are making wine, you need to 75 degrees and then you cool up to 50. After that, we put in the jelly gun. We ferment for 14 days. After 14 days, we heat again to reduce the enzyme. After heating, then we put for two days, we sieve and you can get a good wine. The center is processing Opuntia fruits, jam, and wine, considered to be very nutritious for international markets. Like Hippia Permaculture Center's various trainings aims to work with the women's groups to turn their farms into productive, abundant permaculture farms where true permaculture is not just organic farming, it's the harmonious integration of environment and people providing their food, shelter, and energy in a sustainable way. We are following the footsteps of the founding father of permaculture, and we should be a living example, because I teach permaculture myself, and when I teach permaculture, I don't want to teach something that I don't do myself. So if I don't practice the concept itself, there's no point of me teaching it. And we would like to tell everyone else on the planet Earth to be able to see this and adopt it at the end of the day. We would like farmers to document the good innovations so that uh, this information will also uh, help or impart knowledge to the uh, coming generations. Grown up. Okay, grown up in terms of fruits. fruits. Yes. Having many fruits. Uh, having many fruits, having many trees in their chambers. Okay. And the organic, making them to be more healthy. I am Joe Ouko, a farmer innovator. I'm at the same time the chairman of Farmer-Led Innovators Association of Kenya. We have an agribusiness called Lofoda Gmail. It is a project which has come right down from uh, around nine, uh, 2009 when innovations were introdu was introduced in Kenya and the partners that are behind the whole innovation move that has led us to this project was number one, Prolinova Kenya, number two, Calro. The two put their effort together and taught not only ourselves but a group of innovators from Nyando, the, the then Nyando district and Bose district then, now they are, uh, they are counties and sub-counties. The teaching of uh, innovations from that time gave us an inspiration to make sure our minds worked out to ensure what we were doing would come out on top of whatever people were using before to en enrich lives. The basic thing about this product is we are using what goods ordinary goods, what goods can eat anywhere in the world, I, I, would, I would like to say, is what we take and dry up and keep ration it in a way now that what we have learned from Calro and Polinova would make it best fitting. The two containers I have 
have the same kind of thing. They are not different. The difference is this one is crushed very soft, but this one is granules. The soft one has been, is being used to make pellets. So the same, the same fodder can be produced in pellet form. And we are very happy and we are really grateful that Pelham Kenya gave us on their own a machine that makes this kind of thing. So for us, Lofora, if you gave it to a goat, and a goat picks just one, 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 one sort, it is like they have eaten more than 10 of those kind, kind of fodder. Okay, Mr. Joe, it would be interesting for us to know how you started, uh, where you started with the Lofoda meal, how it developed until you got to a point when you introduced or developed different uh, ingredients to make the, the Lofoda, the current uh, formulation. Yes, basically, I had mentioned some time back that we had dead goats that were dying because they were lacking food during drought. When we saw that uh, happening, before Prolinova came in, we were cutting trees, the fodder trees, and hanging them. So sometimes when they ate, the leaves dropped down. Then they dropped down in the units and they were drying. So later on, when we, we looked at the goat, they were hurrying for those dry leaves. That's what made us think, if we dried them, it would be even better before the rains were off. So we took, took off to now, collect the fodder. Now we were not chopping because one thing we realized is if you cut the branches then sprouting became very difficult and we lost we lost the leaves and it took a long time. So what we did now we went on to just harvest the, the sheath, the top parts of those. And after we harvested them then we chopped them. We were using pangas. some answers. So I will want to hand over again for the second to Chris who will assist us to do this. He has raised, he has asked me an issue about how long we should do. Uh, we need to agree. We wanted, he is asking for one hour because of the large group. Activité. So we will give you one hour. On vous donnera une heure. Thank you. Thank you um, Dr. Kam um, Wanyama. Dr. Wanyama. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, in the morning before lunch, le matin avant le déjeuner, we were told that um, local, local innovation, on nous a dit que les innovations locales, is recognized and is being supported sont already. Et sont soutenues déjà. Of, but of course, there's more, more needs to be done. Mais il y a toujours encore uh, ce qu'on doit faire. Now, we are moving to the next level Maintenant, this afternoon. Nous avançons à un autre niveau cet après-midi. Where we are charged with the responsibility of trying to discuss how to effectively integrate a formal ARD, uh, into, uh, I mean, integrating farmer-led research into formal agricultural research for development. Où nous avons uh, la responsabilité. Nous avons ah. la responsabilité de voir comment intégrer uh, le processus dans la, les activités d'innovation par les paysans locaux. And uh, we have uh, the team here, nine, nine members. Et nous avons l'équipe ici, neuf membres. And everybody is going to take just um, one second, just to. Mention your name and your institution. No stories about your institution. Chacun va uh, prendre une minute pour uh, nous dire son nom et son institut, ou bien son établissement. Okay. We can start with Richard. Yeah. Afternoon, everyone. My name is Richard Tweni, Department of Agriculture, South Africa. My name is Mama Sabratu, Ghana Education Service, Ghana. Moi, je viens de Ghana. Mon nom, mon nom c'est uh, Mathilde Sapatou. Jaramogu University. Moi, School je viens de Agricultural and Food Sciences. Moi, je viens de l'université uh, de Jaramogu ici au Kenya. I am Daudi Sentongo, Uganda National Farmers Federation, Uganda. Moi, je viens de la confédération, confédération des paysans au Uganda. Bonjour tout le monde. C'est euh, Bourama Djakte. Hello euh, everyone. Je suis du Mali. I'm from Mali. 
Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Akri Lukovian Wasike from the School of Agriculture, Food Security, and Environmental Science, Maseno University. Moi, je viens de Kenya, dans l'université de Maseno. Mon nom est Veronica Eugenio Stoy, représentante de l'association agropecuaria Chemulani de Gwemleni, Mozambique. My name is Veronica Sitoy. I represent the Farm Association of Gwemulani, Gaza, Mozambique. Moi, je je m'appelle Véronique, je représente les paysans en Mozambique. Good afternoon, I'm Rosina Mbenya, country coordinator Pelam Kenya. Moi aussi je viens de Kenya, je représente euh, l'organisation Pelam. My name is Nancy Chege, School of uh, Agriculture, Environment and Health Sciences, Machakos University, Kenya. Moi je viens de l'université de Machakos. Thank you, so we know who they are, where they come from. And just like, uh, we don't need to reinvent the wheel, just like in the morning, we don't want to identify the person to start. Yeah. And what they are going to tell us, because I said that we have gone to uh, the higher level, how to ensure that formal ARD effectively integrates farmer-led research as a key approach in partnership with all legitimate stakeholders. Quite a mouthful, eh? Ok, comme l'a dit Chris en français, nous allons échanger sur euh, les expériences des uns et des autres, sur comment on peut intégrer l'approche des pays dans les systèmes de recherche agricole pour le développement, et surtout si vous avez une expérience pratique, ou bien aussi si vous avez une idée pour le futur, comment intégrer l'approche d'innovation de, euh, locale des pays dans les approches de recherche agricole pour le développement. And we have agreed with them that um, they are going to tell us their experience with that integration if they don't have the, any experience voilà. then they are supposed to suggest to us how that integration can be done effectively but we shall not allow one person to tell us the experience and to suggest how to do it uh, because that will take us a very very long yeah. so um, each person tell us the experience in three minutes if you don't have the experience tell us how you think this can be effectively integrated in ARD. Voilà, comme il l'a dit, nous avons la possibilité de donner une expérience, mais aussi de donner quelque chose qu'on pourrait faire si on n'a pas une expérience. Mais pour éviter de perdre du temps, on va éviter de donner son expérience et ce qu'on pourrait faire dans l'avenir, mais donner une seule que vous allez vécu ou bien que vous imaginez qu'on peut faire pour faire avancer l'innovation locale et la recherche agricole dans les approches de recherche de développement. Okay, and to be fair to everybody, let us keep to time. Nous avons trois minutes pour chacun. I've got the innovation of switching off your microphone if you go beyond three minutes. <laughs> okay, donc nous allons ver, surveiller le temps que vous allez mettre. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, Jibril, you can, yeah. or do you have, how, how many microphones do we have? Well, I think oh, there's one already, okay. okay. Please go ahead. Ok, merci tout le monde. Thank you everyone. Euh, je vais commencer avec euh, l'expérience du Mali à travers euh, le projet euh, Profis qui travaille sur les innovations paysannes dont je suis le coordinateur. I am one of the coordinators of the projects we have in our country. Yeah, where we are talking about the innovations of the local, uh, the local innovations in our country. Donc euh, pour notre cas, le projet a démarré depuis 2007. Our project began in uh, 2017. To, to a seven. Donc pour la prise en compte euh, de cette euh, euh, expérience dans euh, la recherche développement agricole formel, donc euh, nous avons bâti une équipe. In order to take into account what uh, we are talking about, we were able to create a team. Donc euh, cette équipe euh, est représentée à travers euh, euh, l'IR, l'Institut d'économie rurale. And this team was, has been represented uh, since yesterday. À travers une organisation paysanne aussi. Uh, using uh, an organization which is an organization of farmers une also. Une ONG. At an NGO. Voilà, donc, uh, et la Direction Nationale de l'Agriculture. And uh, the Management of Agriculture. Donc je vais m'apprésenter sur le cadre de la recherche rapidement. I will go through the uh, different aspects of research. Donc toutes les activités rapidly. depuis... Donc les activités ont commencé par le renforcement des capacités des acteurs sur l'approche des pays. We started with the empowering of uh, the local farmers in the country. 
Donc, euh, les activités d'identification et caractérisation ont toutes été faites par euh, cette équipe. And uh, all the processes were done with this team. Ce qui a permis aussi les représentants de la recherche, donc de comprendre ce que les paysans font. Uh, so that uh, all the representatives of research can know what these people are doing. Et de conduire des expérimentations sur des innovations. And to lead uh, uh, what we call uh, experimentation in their, in their practice. Voilà, donc nous avons même un document ici We qui parle de l'apprentissage entre chercheurs et paysans à travers l'expérimentation. It is talking about, it has documented the experiences of the learning from uh, different uh, farmers and even the researchers together with the farmers. Voilà, donc uh, uh, globalement c'est ce que je voulais dire pour le moment. Say generally, that's all I want to say for Donc the moment. Les questions nous permettront de rentrer Maybe dans les détails. the questions will allow us to go into details of what we Merci. are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merci I also, à vous. I also want to share the experience that we have gone through. Je veux aussi partager une expérience dans laquelle nous avons été impliqués en tant qu'institution. Uh, we have had. Uh, two programs through which we have managed to integrate farmer-led research into the curriculum of the university. Nous avons eu deux programmes au travers desquels nous sommes arrivés à intégrer eh, la recherche dirigée par les paysans dans nos curricula de formation. One of these was through development of case studies with the farmers where postgraduate students would go out, collect cases, bring them in the university and then with the assistance of staff find solutions together with the farmers. So it is research by the farmers for the farmers. Un élément, un exemple concerne où nous avons envoyé les étudiants en fin de formation qui vont au dehors, qui vont vers les paysans, travailler avec eux ensemble et préparer leur mémoire pour revenir et cela peut être vu comme des solutions développées par les producteurs pour eux-mêmes. What is very interesting about the letters that we have done is that this is uh, an East and Southern African program where we are having innovations from the farmers being included as part of the research agenda in the universities. But then most importantly, the innovation I want to mention is one that is going on at Makerere University where we are using rumen extracts from the slaughterhouse to enhance fermentation process in silage making. And we have reduced this to only four days and you have your silage ready. Et je veux partager un exemple particulier parce que ces études de cas que nous menons avec les paysans sont intégrées actuellement ensemble pour l'Afrique de l'Est et du Sud. Et pour la particularité de l'exemple que je veux donner concernant l'Université de Makerere. Et dans cette université, la recherche qui est faite permet d'utiliser des substrats pour accroître la vitesse de fermentation des fourrages pour le sillage. And currently what we are doing is trying to integrate innovations that are happening uh, through this project that is running in Malawi, Uganda and Kenya where we, have set, uh, we are setting up a digital platform where farmers can share experiences together with the scientists in these universities. Et pour la suite, uh, il y a un projet en cours actuellement dans trois pays dans la région ici, Malawi, Tanzanie et le Kenya. Et au, au vu des résultats, nous avons créé des plateformes digitales au travers desquelles les résultats sont partagés entre les paysans. Lastly, we have managed to include part of the findings that we are getting out of integration, uh, inclusion of the farmers in our research agenda into the curriculum. And we have managed to revise two sections of our curriculum, one on sustainable livestock production systems and on feed resource utilization. Thank you. Et pour finir, eh, nous sommes arrivés au travers des résultats que nous avons à changer un certain nombre de choses eh, et à améliorer des curriculats donnés. Un concerne eh, la gestion durable des ressources et le second concerne l'alimentation de façon durable des animaux. Merci. Thank you. Merci. I'm also in the university. So uh, we also have our experiences, but now I won't go the experience way. I'll okay. go the theoretical way. I want to finish. Je also. travaille aussi à l'université et nous avons nos expériences. Mm -hmm. Et vu que mon prédécesseur a déjà évoqué son expérience, mm -hmm. je veux aller sur des, des, des éléments qu'on peut considérer pour aller de l'avant. So I just uh, summarize my points. Number one, 
you know we're talking about ways in which we can do this uh, farmer-led uh, research. So number one is collaborate through collaborative framework. Et je veux dire que les voies à suivre pour pouvoir intégrer cette approche de recherche dirigée par les paysans, le premier, c'est de travailler dans un cadre collaboratif. So where we have shared goals, mutual respect for each other, recognition of each other group strengths, etc. That's how we do collaboration. Et dans ce cadre collaboratif, il s'agit d'un cadre où on reconnaît et les capacités des de uns et des autres, personne n'est sous-estimé. Et on reconnaît également ce que chacun est en train de faire en termes de respect mutuel. Et c'est comme ça que nous établissons ce cadre comme base. Number two is local relevance. Research should be driven by, by the needs of the farmers, not uh, any other need. Le second, c'est la pertinence locale de l'innovation. Parce qu'il faudra que l'innovation en question soit mm -hmm. importante et réponde à une un besoin spécifique des paysans, non juste, pas mm -hmm. seulement que c'est de l'innovation qu'il faut y aller les chercher. It ensures innovations that are practical and readily adopted by the, by the farming community. Et ce qui montre que l'innovation doit être pratique, l'innovation doit être pragmatique et, et facile à être acceptée, à, à, à être à, 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 utilisée dans la communauté des paysans. Number three is capacity building. We need to recognize the importance of building capacity for all the participants in the research, the researchers and the farmers. We should, we should be able to build their capacity. Et le troisième point concerne le renforcement de capacité. Il faut savoir que dans ce genre d'approche et de processus, et renforcer la capacité, que ce soit des, des chercheurs, mm. que ce soit des paysans, mm. elle sera fondamentale. The other one, number four, is inclusive platforms. Create platforms where farmers, researchers, and other stakeholders can exchange knowledge and experiences e.g. innovation fairs like the one we have today. Et le cinquième point, c'est de créer des, des, des plateformes inclusives où les différentes catégories d'acteurs qui, qui, qui interviennent dans ce secteur-là puissent se rencontrer, échanger, discuter, un peu à l'exemple de la foi que nous avons ici actuellement. Number six, ensure that we are, we are using sustainable practices because farmers will not be interested if we are, we are mishandling their soil and there is no sustainability or they get problems when producing crops in future because we have mishandled their soils. Et le sixième point sera que il faut faire attention à ce que les pratiques soient durables parce que les paysans ne seraient pas enthousiasmés avec des pratiques qui sont qui ont des risques de détruire leur sol. The other one is policy support. We, we can we, we must ensure that uh, there are some policy uh, policy supporting whatever we are doing otherwise it will be futile. We have to ensure that there are those policies are there and we have to do advocacy for those policies and we have to ensure that uh, uh, we implement them, not just coming up with those policies. Le septième et le dernier point est d'établir des, des, des politiques qui sont favorables à ce processus. Parce que si la politique n'est pas là, ce serait comme un travail dans le vide. Alors il faut veiller à ce que on arrive à faire des plaidoyers auprès des acteurs politiques pour et finalement intégrer cela de façon officielle oh. et formelle. Okay, because of time, I'll just summarize the others. Long-term engagement, just don't just do research for this year and then you leave it. You've not have gotten time to implement the findings and seeing the results, so it should be a long-term engagement. Et le point que je vais résumer rapidement est de travailler sur des perspectives de long terme, que ce ne soit pas eh, des orientations de projets d'un an, parce que la perspective à long terme va permettre de s'assurer que les résultats sont davantage euh, rassemblés et capitalisés. Don't switch, don't switch, don't switch me off. Number eight, diverse participation. <laughs> diverse participation. We should ensure that uh, the approach is inclusive. You include not just the, the, the women, you include the, uh, all ages, the young people, and uh, the scale of operation, large scale farmers, small scale farmers, bring all of them on board. Et un point aussi sera l'inclusivité. Et pour cette inclusivité-là, intégrer les, considérer les femmes, considérer les petits producteurs, mais pourquoi pas aussi les grands producteurs. My second last uh, point, resource allocation. Eh? There is need for appropriate allocation of resources, both financial, human, uh, and human, to support farmer-led research uh, initi initiatives. Eh? And we always have to consider the large gender issue because that one is very important. Even when we talk about gender, are you, have you thought about the large gender issue? <laughs> Women own land. Who owns land? The old was this. Uh, can we access the land for, for innovations? 
we have to deal with those hard issues. And, uh, and then, uh, 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 ce dernier point que je vais mentionner concerne uh, l'allocation des ressources. Et quand nous budgétisons, il faut arriver à faire la part pour tout le monde. Et non seulement cela, mais aussi, il y a euh, l'accès aux ressources qu'il faut voir de près, surtout lorsque nous parlons de l'intégration du genre. Mm -hmm. Et pour donner un exemple, les lois qui existent autour de l'accès aux terres mm -hmm. sont des lois dures. Mm -hmm. Et pourtant, il faut trouver un moyen de, de, de faire face à ça et créer plus d'espace pour les femmes. And talking about the I'm about to switch you off. Uh, huh? oh, sorry, it's just one, point, one last point, but I want to say this one because it is talking about gender. Gender. Stereotypes, you must deal with stereotypes. You know, that's what kills us in Africa. I, I read for you one, one proverb. Just one proverb, and then I, I will leave it there. This is Je vais vous lire un proverbe, mm -hmm. parce que parler de, du genre, parler du rôle des femmes et des hommes, c'est des stéréotypes, c'est des systèmes qui sont déjà préétablis. Je vais vous donner un exemple à travers un proverbe qui existe chez moi. This is a European proverb, eh? A woman, ah, European, a dog, yeah. a hickory tree, the more you beat them, the better they be. That's a European proverb. So they have also come from far. So let's encourage ourselves here in Africa, but we shall get somewhere. The last point, impact assessment. Number Elle a donné un proverbe et qui dit, si je veux, je me suis, j'ai bien entendu, que plus tu tapes un chien, il devient mieux quand on les trappe. OK, tape un chien, tape une femme, tape un arbre, il s'améliore. Et donc, ça, ça c'est les Européens qui ont dit ça. C'est un proverbe européen. Ça montre que même eux-mêmes, là, ils ont quitté très loin. Merci. Et le dernier point, ce sera l'évaluation d'impact. Je vais faire un, un, une attention particulière à ça également. Thank you very much. I think, uh, Merci. I'm going to submit in line with her submission. How can we make sure that... Uh, je vais aller dans le même sens que ma, research ma and, uh, research and development integrates sur comment est-ce qu'il faut arriver uh, à intégrer effect effectivement l'approche des pays. And uh, she of course, because she has mentioned 10 points, she has mentioned most of the points, but I want to uh, really add my voice on some of those points. One, uh, because most of the research is funded by someone. And the integrating this approach requires us, the promoter of the approach, to define a framework in which we can mobilize resources to support the approach that we want to integrate. Et je veux dire rapidement que elle a mentionné 10 points, donc uh, c'est très détaillé, mais je veux uh, insister sur certains de ces points. Et le premier, c'est que quand un recherche, une recherche est en train d'être menée, c'est qu'il y a un donneur, c'est qu'il y a quelqu'un qui a financé cette recherche. Alors, il va s'agir de demander à ce donneur, à ce bailleur, lui-même, de créer le cadre qui permette à ce que la mobilisation des ressources pour l'intégration euh, de, 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 de l'approche soit effective. So this requires a, an harmonized framework for resource mobilization. But you also you realize that the, uh, the uh, uh, formal research is really uh, dominated by uh, government-funded research organizations universities, uh, development organizations, all of these have an interest. Uh, uh, and they determine where the money actually goes. Il faut dire que eh, ce qu'il a dit précédemment nécessite un cadre harmonisé de mobilisation de ressources. Et deuxièmement, il observe que eh, la recherche formelle est réalisée par les universités, le, le gouvernement et toutes ces organisations qui sont autour. Et ces organisations ont toujours un but, ils ont des objectifs clairs et ils savent là où les ressources là doivent, être, doivent aller. But in the formal led uh, joint research, you realize that the farmer is now the one leading the process. How can we convince the people who have the money to fund an idea that is led by the farmer? This is uh, the ways that we should devise. How do we motivate the, the, the owners of the funds, the one who have the funds? to fund the idea of the farmer. And you remember that uh, uh, at the end of the process, the farmer will want to patent his idea and may determine the, the, the scalability of the idea. So how do we harmonize the patenting issue that you've been talking about, which is an intellectual property of the farmer, vis-a-vis -vis the investors or in, in the process, which are the government in this case, which are development partners, 
on the other side, we need to harmonize the issue of patenting vis-a-vis -vis the scalability because research in its essence has the outputs of the research must be available to the to the public to use because there has been public investment. Et il, veut, il a fait des observations que je veux vous traduire rapidement. C'est que les politiques, les gouvernements, les institutions de recherche ont de l'argent et ils veulent décider ce que leur argent va servir à faire. Au même moment, les autres organisations qui veulent promouvoir les recherches dirigées par les paysans veulent que ce soit le producteur qui soit au centre et qui mène ses réflexions et qui détermine là où la recherche doit aller. Le problème qui se pose est de concilier les gens qui ont leur argent et qui ont leur objectif, d'accepter maintenant d'abandonner leur objectif et d'aller laisser le producteur prendre le devant pour diriger la recherche. Et ça pose vraiment un grand problème. Et il pense qu'on devra trouver un cadre harmonisé où ceci est possible. En l'occurrence, un résultat de recherche qui est trouvé, le paysan va avoir l'intention de le mettre à l'échelle. Comment il met à l'échelle quelque chose que quelqu'un a financé avec son argent Finally. Uh, effective integration requires institutionalization. And for institutionalization to happen, uh, there must be first uh, alignment of the legal and the regulatory framework because you realize that at the one end, the research organization contributes to the mandate, which, ha which is within a legal framework. Therefore, we need to advocate for a harmonized legal framework uh, that involves uh, uh, partial uh, integration of farmer-led joint research, but also recognize that institutionalization is a slow process. It, involve, it has to involve continuous engagement. You have to continuously assure stakeholders at all levels that this approach is really important. It drives to this agenda, and you continuously engage them to convince them such that they can align à des légaux et les autres frameworks. La solution qu'il propose, c'est l'institutionnalisation. Et l'institutionnalisation renvoie à travailler de façon collaborative, de façon à élaborer des cadres de référence légales qui permettent aussi bien au gouvernement à considérer, à intégrer l'approche que nous, nous pensons très importante aussi. OK. Thank you so much. Merci. I'm going, uh, my presentation is just going to be designed with uh, the two presenters. Ma présentation doit aller dans le même sens que les deux précédents. Uh, when you look at participatory research, it is to build a, a small, to, bu to build on and scale up the small scale, uh, the small scale, uh, ho small scale holder farmers to, um, develop, to develop. It is also to find out how the farmer himself or herself work out new and better ways of using out local resources available to improve their lives. Et je pense que lorsque nous sommes en train de parler de l'innovation locale, il s'agit de voir comment le paysan eh, ou l'agricultrice à son niveau personnel, arrive à développer ce qu'elle fait et aussi comment elle s'assure d'utiliser les ressources locales qui sont tout autour d'elle. Farmer-led joint research as a key approach is now becoming an accepted integrated part of regular activities in agri-research and development. Et bien que nous constatons que la recherche dirigée par les paysans est très pertinente, on peut de même observer que cela n'est pas encore devenu euh, un élément totalement accepté dans la recherche formelle. Starting with the farmers' innovation, find out where the local energies are trying to explore new opportunities. Et cela conduit à voir, pour commencer, pour, que ce, pour ce qui concerne l'innovation locale, d'explorer là où les paysans euh, trouvent des opportunités euh, tout autour d'elles. So for that to be effective, Both the farmer, both the farmer, uh, uh, and the farmer agri research institutions and other uh, stakeholders will have to potentially 
recognize the farmer and appreciate and encourage their potential to tackle current new challenges, which give the farmer the pride and confidence and, and confidence to uh, explore new, new possibilities. Et cela va également amener à ce que les institutions de recherche agricole travaillent avec les paysans à reconnaître leur potentialité, à prendre de la confiance en eux-mêmes afin d'être suffisamment préparés pour trouver les opportunités so par eux-mêmes. That would be the starting point for joint experiment Et by farmers and agri-researchers. Et être le point de départ pour la recherche conjointe. So, uh, he talks on institution institutionalization. Platforms, uh, uh, is before uh, Agric researchers and development institutions are to integrate into relevance platforms, research extensions, and education to expand innovation and adaptation process on agriculture and rural development for them to, for the uh, smallholder farmers to better their lives. Okay. Elle ajoute que les plateformes doivent être créées all the government and everything then uh, we extend those technologies but through community outreach we manage to get our local innovators which Et is very key la question c'est de savoir comment nous intégrons l'approche du développement participatif de l'innovation dans nos organisations et pour répondre à cela je veux remarquer que en, en tant que à, à, à l'université Nous devons, à un moment donné où nous révisons les curriculums de formation, arriver à intégrer eh, ces approches, et particulièrement lorsque les opportunités and viennent à ce niveau. And we don't just reach out to them like that. We do this through innovative uh, methods and approaches. Et il y a eh, une, euh, un aspect du travail de l'université qui concerne Comment intégrer les communautés? Comment travailler avec les communautés? Okay. Et pour time, ce point, nous arrivons alors à utiliser des démarches très innovatives pour le faire. In the interest of time, I'll give an example of an innovative uh, uh, aspect uh, in which and where we kind of um, relate with the farmers. We have a project or a program in the university that was funded by the World Bank called the African Center of Excellence in Sustainable Use of Insects as Food and Feed. Et pour à cause du temps, je vais donner un exemple rapidement de ce que nous faisons à l'université qui concerne un projet financé par la Banque mondiale intitulé Comment les Africains peuvent établir l'excellence Pour ce qui concerne l'accès à l'aliment, aux aliments. We about reach uh, 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 the farmers through this program, and many of them have embraced the raising of insects as food, human food, and insects. I mean, and feed. So this targets both human and livestock that we all use as food, and this contributes a lot to sustainability. So let me use an example of a farmer. Et je Before veux montrer l'exemple de ce je veux continuer dans l'exemple de ce projet pour dire que eh, notre projet a permis à eh, amener les producteurs à commencer par élever les insectes et ces insectes sont utilisés comme des aliments pour hommes et aussi des aliments pour les animaux. So this farmer is raising the insects innovatively and he has reached out to many others. And uh, this happens because of the capacity development through training, capacity building through demonstrations and training to a farmer. And uh, I mean, his, his uh, farm is called the Mixer Foods. Et l'exemple qu'elle qu a donné concerne un paysan qui a élevé les insectes. Il en a élevé en abondance. De même qu'il a atteint Et a touché d'autres producteurs, d'autres innovateurs par le, la formation. Et c'est parce que nous-mêmes, nous, nous l'avons accompagné par des processus de développement de capacités de, 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 de formation 
et pour avoir ce résultat. Son champ est appelé un champ mix. Because he has reached out to many farmers, we also provide some kind of framework for co-creation of knowledge with others for sustainability purposes et and uh, also through commercialization. And this happens because Yoost as a university is a TISC center. By TISC, I mean technical information service center. Et which, je veux, je veux which dire provide que them with intellectual property uh, advice and uh, rights that are required. So they patent their products. Et dans notre processus, nous avons, puisque ce producteur a touché beaucoup d'autres producteurs, nous sommes arrivés à les encourager pour créer une plateforme de co-création des connaissances pour qu'ils travaillent ensemble. Et we cela s'est fait par l'intermédiaire d'un centre de conseil au sein de notre université qui a permis de les suivre et d'arriver même à leur faire avoir les droits de propriété et également et commercialiser leurs innovations. We are able to do this in collaboration with World Intellectual Property Organization, dubbed WIPO. Nous avons été en mesure de faire cette collaboration avec eh, l'organisation de propriété intellectuelle au APIA au niveau international. We also have Kenya Innovation Agency, which has chosen Yoost as a center also to help our um, local innovators, the farmers whom we link up with, in commercializing their innovations, which is very key. I'm soon switching off your Nous avons l'agence kenyane aussi qui a fait l'accompagnement nécessaire et a considéré le centre pilote que nous avons eu afin que cela devienne un exemple pour d'autres. OK. Thank you. My time has been switched off, <laughs> although I had more. <laughs> Merci. Mon temps s'est arrêté. Et quand bien même, j'aurais pu dire beaucoup d'autres choses. Boa tarde. E aqui só vou falar principalmente diretamente na, 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 nas, atividades, nas atividades que o, a associação está fazendo. Good afternoon. I will talk about the activities that my association in my association is going on. E a associação de Mlani na na qualidade de uma associação que já vai há tempo, acabamos de ter, sermos dados uns técnicos de agro, que são extensionistas que nos ajudavam na plantação de, de algumas plantas. In Chamlan Association, we receive, uh, what is Wanyama? We receive agriculture technicals that help us to put different kinds of trees je vais, je vous présente un cas au Mozambique euh, concernant mon organisation. Et notre organisation a bénéficié de l'appui des services euh, agricoles, de conseils agricoles, euh, concernant le développement des plans. Those technicals, they bring plastics to do vases. Uh, to do that uh, basket that we put plants. E ao chegar o tempo, os técnicos sempre iam embora onde nós ficávamos sem sem vasos plásticos. In the time, the technicals go back and they leave a lot of plastics in our communities. Il faut voir que l'expérience à laquelle elle fait allusion, c'est ce qu'elle a présenté là-bas. Et dans le processus de leur collaboration avec les services de conseil agricole, ils ont amené beaucoup de sachets plastiques et comme le vase pour contenir les plants. Et d'ailleurs, on a l'association commencé à voir qu'il y avait une forme de continuer avec les activités parce que les techniques ne sont pas là et ne sont pas là. Et puis, on a commencé à comprendre comment aller avec nos activités parce que les techniques ne sont pas là 
and then we don't have resources to buy plastic. Et nous avons remarqué que après le départ de ces de ces agents de conseil qui nous ont accompagnés, et il y avait beaucoup de sachets tout autour, mais on avait toujours besoin pour pouvoir continuer à produire les plants. Et nous nous posions la question, nous n'avons pas les ressources pour aller acheter les sachets qu'on utilise pour faire les petits plants de pépinière là. Et maintenant, comment il faut faire? Les membres commencèrent à sentir ici et commencèrent à étudier comment ils vont atteindre notre objectif. Et nous commençons à innover à quelle innovation que nous avons. Et puis les membres se sentent et commencent à réfléchir comment ils vont continuer avec les activités. Et puis ils trouvent la façon de créer cette innovation que nous montrons. Quand les, les gens de, du groupement, les femmes concernées ont commencé par réfléchir à la solution, ils sont parvenus à créer eh, ces gens de pochettes de pépinières en matériaux locaux, en matériaux végétaux, comme ce que nous vous avons présenté hier. Et d'ailleurs, nous voyons que l'innovation est très importante parce que les plastiques sont toujours... Quando queremos plantar as plantas, sempre tirávamos aquele plástico e deitávamos fora e ficava como suja para a comunidade. E daí começamos a ver que esta inovação é muito importante porque é a, a, o, coisa, os vasos sempre só vão diretamente para lá embaixo, não tira nada. E a inovação se tornou muito importante para nós porque nós salvamos o planeta para os plásticos And the plants that we put in this kind of vessels, they remain there when we go to replant it. Et nous avons constaté que notre approche a permis de protéger l'environnement parce que les plants que nous mettons dans ces eh, dans ces paniers végétaux là sont vraiment utiles et peuvent y rester jusqu'au temps où nous allons les replanter. Au propre vase, pour nous, c'est très important parce que, en vez de ces vases ele é estrume quando leva o, o coisa, quando leva o, o vaso para lá embaixo, fica a fazer estrume para para aquela planta e cresce rapidamente, cresce com muita força e cresce bonito. And uh, other things, when we uh, transplant this for other place, the vessel remain like a fertilizant, fertilizer the the soil and the plant. Quand nous allons eh, transplanter ou replanter nos plants qui sont dans ces pots-là, nous constatons que le, les pots deviennent comme des fertilisants pour la terre où on a planté. Muito obrigado pour ter oportunidade de estar neste painel. Muito obrigado. Thank you for the opportunity to be in this panel. Thank you. Merci pour l'opportunité d'être dans ce panel. Okay, thank you for this opportunity. I uh, want to talk about our experiences from the Pelham Network, and uh, one thing I want to talk about is the Farmer Research Network. Uh, we are part of the Agroecology Hub in Kenya, and uh, one of the things that we have realized is the socializing the issues of innovation. I think it's a key principle in agroecology, and uh, we have managed to work in collaboration with some of our member organizations, particularly in Western Kenya, Uh, to put together groups of farmers. Nous avons, je vais vous parler, je vais vous parler de mon association, de notre expérience au niveau de Pelom. Et ce que je peux dire, c'est que nous appartenons à un réseau de producteurs et qui se focalise sur l'agroécologie. Et par notre euh, approche, nous avons touché plusieurs autres groupes et je vais en parler davantage. Yeah, so when we put these farmers together, they are not just recipients of uh, innovations, but they are co-creating and they are creating the no new knowledge within those groups. Et lorsque nous mettons ensemble ces producteurs en termes de les faire socialiser, nous ne les mettons pas là seulement pour recevoir les technologies, mais nous les faisons partie du processus de co-création de connaissances. And I want to talk about uh, one of the innovations that we were looking at is the Tefrosia volgeli in terms of agroforestry trees. Eh? I was involved in that research, and uh, when we were trying to work with the farmers, j'ai particulièrement été impliqué dans un de ces processus de recherche 
concernant l'agroforesterie. Et lorsque j'y étais, yeah, we realized the importance of giving space to the farmers to come up with their own ideas and to practice it in different contexts because not every innovation suits every con uh, context. Like for the tephrosia, we found out that there are some tephrosia plants which are not effective. So you find maybe in one community they have this kind of tree and another one they have a different tree. Et pour cet exemple, nous avons compris que il est important de donner de l'espace et de créer des espaces pour les producteurs pour s'exprimer et faire leur choix. Parce que et pour le tifosia, nous avons compris que ça n'est pas tout n'est pas toutes les toutes les formes qui ne sont pas effectives dans tous les cas. Donc c'est basé sur le contexte. Vous pourrez aller dans un milieu où vous trouvez et, un type de tifosia, mais dans l'autre vous trouvez autre chose. Et ça c'est important à considérer. Et when we were starting, we were looking at the tifrosia as an effective uh, parasite, uh, bio, uh, I mean, yeah, bioparasite eh, in terms of controlling ticks and so on. But right now we realize the farmers came up with ways of even using the tefrosia powder as brooding for chicken and many other uses have been emerging and farmers are also uh, trying to put up their own ways of how many in terms of... Ce que nous avons encore constaté avec le tifosia, c'est qu'au départ nous le voyons seulement comme un bioparasite, un parasite organique. Et mais par la suite, nous nous sommes rendus compte que c'est utilisé de plusieurs autres manières par les paysans. Par exemple, pour nourrir les, 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 les poussins. Et, et un exemple comme ça. Yeah, so I want to, to emphasize the need of localizing and ensuring that innovations, they are context specific and farmers are given opportunity to experiment and socialize different innovations. Farmers should not work alone. They should work with the other farmers in groups and try to uh, also uh, socialize and find out even more and more uh, innovations that can emerge from one innovation. Et je veux insister sur le fait que il faut donner des opportunités et créer de l'espace pour les paysans, pas au non, non plus individuellement, mais en groupe, afin qu'ils socialisent et que par ce processus, ils arrivent même à tirer le meilleur des innovations sur lesquelles ils travaillent, pourquoi pas à en dénombrer d'autres qui tournent autour de ce qui existe déjà. Secondly, I want to talk about the power of uh, documentation and communication in uh, scaling up innovations. Et ensuite, je veux mettre l'accent sur l'importance de la documentation pour la mise à l'échelle. Uh, right now, in our PELAM network, due to the challenges we have had in terms of uh, in, in, uh, after the COVID and also the war on Ukraine that has caused the fertilizers to really increase and the farmers to be very desperate, we have deepened our work on biofertilizers. Et pour ce contexte aussi, et je veux dire la nécessité d'avoir des innovations qui, ton, qui, sont contest, qui sont basées sur le contexte. Hein, quand je considère le contexte de, de l'après-Covid et la guerre en Ukraine, où les engrais chimiques ont pris du, 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 du prix et que les paysans sont désespérés, et cela devient clairement qu'il faut s'appuyer sur les, les expériences qu'ils ont en termes de la production de bio-engrais. Eh, bio and some of, some of these uh, uh, innovations from the farmers, we have worked with them. I know there is the IPR issues, but uh, we have worked with farmers to ensure that we are documenting, and also they are, tr they are given opportunity to capacity build, showcase to others, and to be able to solve the problems that we are facing at a large scale. I'm, resi I'm resisting switching you off. And si, okay. je remarque que dans notre approche ainsi, nous sommes arrivés à mettre l'accent sur la documentation et à donner des opportunités aux paysans d'aller exposer leur, pour leur, leurs activités, leurs innovations et donner et montrer à d'autres personnes. Ok, as I, as I switch off, I need to emphasize the importance of youth. We have been part of the Yalta initiative where we work with a number of youth. And also secondly is the issue of policy. We, have, we don't have to be silent on policies that protect farmers like indigenous knowledge and so on. So let us all work together. Thank you. Et quand je suis en train de finir maintenant, permettez-moi de parler de deux choses. Les jeunes, nous travaillons à les prendre en compte. Et, et on ne va pas se taire aussi sur les politiques. Comment est-ce que nous amenons à ce que les politiques qui protègent les paysans sont mises en avant? Merci.
uh, my experience of farmer led it was in 2010 and it was not good mon expérience euh, avec la recherche dirigée par les paysans c'était en 2010 et ce n'était pas un bon, ce n'était pas bien there was a, a group of women uh, they were using six in, uh, indigenous plants to control the, uh, the pest in the, the on the vegetables c'était un groupe de femmes qui utilisaient des plantes euh, des plantes médicinales pour contrôler les ravageurs dans leurs champs we introduced ourselves and uh, also introduced the concept of Prolinova and uh, innovation they did understand. Et dans ce contexte là, nous nous sommes introduits et nous avons introduit également le concept de Prolinova mais ils n'avaient ils n'avaient pas compris, ils n'avaient pas accepté. When we go to the local uh, leaders to introduce ourselves then the problem started. Et maintenant quand nous sommes allés encore voir les leaders locaux pour nous introduire et afin qu'ils nous aident, mais là encore euh, les vrais problèmes ont commencé. There was one of the members of uh, the innovators who was not paying uh, the levy every uh, for every year. Every year they must something that they pay to the to the uh, to the leaders. So the lady was not paying and then the the okay can go on. Et dans le milieu dont je parle, euh, les, les un, une des femmes du groupe d'innovation là ne payait pas ses, en quelque sorte ses impôts dans le milieu elle devait payer des impôts aux leaders dans le milieu mais elle ne payait pas and the, the, the leader was, say, was saying that because this lady does not pay you are not going to work together et maintenant mm. ce responsable local dans le milieu dit que comme cette dame ne paie pas ses droits dans d'adhésion dans le village alors on ne veut même pas que vous la considérez comme partie de votre projet. And the lady was telling the, 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 the leader that I'm not going to pay. Et elle même elle a mis la somme et insisté qu'elle ne paiera pas les droits qu'on lui demande. And the leader was saying no these people are not going to work here then they must go. Et si c'est ça alors ces personnes n'auront même pas l'occasion de travailler avec vous ici et ils doivent partir. They were actually fighting in front of us. And it was the first time vous pourriez voir people. que littéralement ils sont mm. en train de se de se battre mm. verbalement entre, devant nous. Uh, but eventually uh, the other group they said they will uh, 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 donate money to pay for that lead. Et les autres membres du groupe ont dû finir par s'entendre pour dire qu'ils vont faire le paiement au nom de leurs collègues. Uh, let me just stop there for the sake of time. Donc Thank juste uh, laissez-moi en arrêter là à cause du temps pour le moment. Thank you. Merci. Thank you very much. Let us uh, give a round of applause. Merci beaucoup et pour, nous pouvons les applaudir. Um, it was not easy. Quite ce n'était pas facile. And I think we are quite lucky that um, all the major stakeholders that are supposed to integrate Uh, farmer-led research are represented here. We have universities, we have NGOs, we have farm associations, and these are the people that we want to integrate, to uh, appreciate farmers' capacity to do research. Mm -hmm. And they are here, they have promised us that this is taking place, the, that they have suggested ways and means of ensuring that this happens. Yeah. Alors, nous avons une diversité d'acteurs qui sont là, la recherche, l'université, les organisations de développement et tous les acteurs qui sont sur la table. Et ce sont ces acteurs avec lesquels nous voulons promouvoir la prochaine innovation locale. Donc le fait que vous soyez là et que vous donnez déjà des pistes pour aller dans ce sens-là, nous réconforte comme quoi les choses vont aller de l'avant dans l'intégration de la prochaine innovation locale des pays dans l'institut de recherche agricole pour le développement. And to avoid the inbreeding where they're asking each other questions, we are going to release it so that the members yeah. can ask them questions. Donc pour uh, retourner sur uh, ces panélistes, vous allez donner la parole au public comme ça s'il y a des questions, on va les prendre et puis les soumettre uh, à ces panélistes. So Jibril, if you could be somewhere yeah. if we I see the hand of uh, Mark. Any yeah, if you if somebody has got So any any questions to the panelists? Une question pour le panéliste. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. I, I, I want to ask more or less, um, 
kind of a reverse kind of equation. Je vais alors poser une question. Yeah, when we talk about um, uh, patenting and all this, I, I, I understand the issues around it, but I'm, I'm interested in something that um, we, we seem to recognize that there are certain uh, things about how things have always been done that has resulted in some kind of exclusion, if, if you'll allow me to use that word. And um, I'm not saying that it's wrong to patent or, 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 uh, or even brand and things like that. It is a good thing because it kind of gives strength to the persons who are originating these things. But I'm also thinking about the exclusion aspect that some of these things bring. If you look at how the seed, seed production is commercialized, if you look at how fertilizer production is commercialized, if you look at how we, you know that the real capitalization of things and that kind of brings the exclusion. Um, if you can give uh, opportunity for translation, yes. Yes. Uh, it's quite long. La question, elle, elle veut remarquer que, que certains ont parlé de, de renforcer le droit de propriété des acteurs. Elle ne disconvient pas. Mais ce sur quoi elle veut attirer l'attention est que dans le processus, on risque d'aller à une certaine forme d'exclusion. Parce que les uns les autres ont, ont expliqué que ça se passe déjà. Mais le risque est-ce que l'exclusion puisse avoir lieu en ce, qui, en ce que quand nous voyons comment les produits fertilisants eh, qui sont produits au travers des processus d'innovation sont vendus et commercialisés, on se demande si un groupe ne serait pas exclu finalement. Yeah, so um, I, I, in my mind, I keep thinking that this um, Prolinova network is offering some kind of an alternative to especially the small excluded um, small scale farmers who for some reason are not able to cope up with the, the, the capitalization that has gone on in, 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 the, in, the, in the agricultural production space, just like in maybe all other spaces. That's the first question. And voilà, then je trouve que eh, je garde toujours en tête que pour Prolinova, c'est comment appuyer les tout petits producteurs qui ne sont pas concernés par tout ce développement de technologie qui se passe dans l'environnement agricole. Et pour ceux-là, il va être important de, de faire attention pour ne pas finir par les laisser encore. Yeah, then I'm just interested in uh, the just uh, Madame Matilda's presentation uh, around the the is insects research and the mixer farms. Maybe mention one or two innovations around them, specific innovations around the, the insect uh, um, Et Je veux renvoyer research. une question à, à okay. l'enseignante qui a parlé concernant le projet d'élevage des insectes. Et je veux lui demander de nous mentionner des innovations spécifiques qui ont, qui, qui ont lien avec ça. Two specific innovations. Kindly, you want a specific innovation with the mixer or other farmers also. That is just an example of a more of a progressive farmer that has been uh, capacity built and promoted because of the innovative networks that he has with the university. So one of the innovations is, you know, he raises insects as food and feed. So through that, for example, he raises the black soldier fly. He gets the frost. Can that be translated? Yes, yes. Elle a voulu donner quelques exemples concernant son cas et a expliqué que l'innovation en elle-même, c'est le fait que le paysan élève les insectes qui deviennent des aliments pour hommes et des aliments aussi pour les animaux. So I'm saying he can raise the frass from black soja fly, and how beneficial is the frass to the farmers, the local farmers? It's used an, as an organic fertilizer, more so for the, uh, the vegetables. The insect itself is also used as a feed to livestock. Donc, euh, l'exemple qu'elle donne concerne l'élevage d'une certaine forme de criquet noir. Et il faut voir comment que cet insecte devient de l'aliment aussi pour les animaux. Si ce n'est pas mixer, il y a d'autres farmers ou farmer groups qui raisent des feeds pour les species dans le lac. 
pour les Bolivien, ça a une, une saveur d'une approche intégrée, une approche euh, mixte de production, de, 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 de production, de production. Il, elle indique que l'innovation dans ce cas, c'est lorsque le groupe se met ensemble pour produire des aliments, des compléments d'aliments pour les espèces de poissons. And of course, currently, Mixer acts as a hub for other farmers for, I mean, sharing the knowledge with other farmers. Et cela I est devenu un moyen de partage de connaissances avec d'autres paysans. Thank you. Merci. Yep. Okay, um, time is running out, so we might ask a few questions. But if, if you, you can even have 10 questions, but just answer, answer one. One that is vous most pouvez important, avoir 10 eh? questions, mais s'il vous plaît, posez une seule. Uh, anybody can, uh, thank you very much, good presentation. Merci. Maybe uh, we are talking about integration, which uh, requires also a prerequisite. You integrate two things. Nous parlons the de l'intégration qui, à mon sens, aussi requiert deux choses. Une uh, institution, I mean, uh, une university. Ça requiert une institution. And uh, farmer, farmer could be an individual or Et could be a group. Les paysans, ça peut être individuel, les paysans individuels ou les groupes de paysans. Let me just few uh, phrases what we have faced in the early days while we are working with extension, uh, I mean with research and university. Laissez-moi mentionner des éléments spécifiques qui ressortent de mon expérience de travail quotidien avec les chercheurs they et les, les vulgarisateurs. They have a slogan in the research scientific research and un, universities, they, they have a slogan which says, published or perished. Les universitaires et les gens des institutions de recherche ont un slogan qui dit, publie ou périr. Therefore, while we are working with them, all the so-called scientific usually decide, I'm sorry to say it is by Western, so that usually indigenous knowledge element is not usually published. Et nous constatons que dans cet objectif de publier ou périr, les éléments que nous développons qui sont basés sur les connaissances. Therefore, we are, we are not very, very strong with insti federal, insti I mean, the research institutions and the universities. So, unless you solve this one, is it a charity to, I mean, to, to make an integration? Why do you have a big issue there? The slogan of perish and publish. Thank you very much. When you say three words in English, we need six words in French to translate. So, <laughs> <laughs> so give time to uh, translate. Donc, il a juste un, un conclu que ce principe de péri ou publié ou péri eh, qui con combat contre le processus qui normalement vise à davantage eh, documenter, capitaliser sur les connaissances locales. Merci. Uh, thank you. My name is Janice Audi. I represent Young Professionals in Agriculture Development, YPAD Kenya. Janice, um, qui représente uh, l'Organisation des Professionnels des Jeunes en Agriculture et Recherche. So, um, my, my concern is probably to PELAM or researchers in the house. Um, I have not really come across a framework or policy document on agroecology. I stand guided if there is. Um, what exists are so many policies like the National Climate Change um, Framework Policy 2018, the National Climate uh, Change Response, um, I think 2010 or so, and so many SGTS that only uh, talk about aspects of agroecology and sustainable practices. Et and je veux dire que, peut-être comme Pela, mais dans cette salle, ça concerne l'agroécologie. Je ne suis pas encore arrivé à trouver un cadre légal dans une stratégie euh, spécifique pour l'agroécologie pour ce pays. Ce sur quoi je suis tombé généralement concerne l'adaptation au changement climatique qui peut-être brosse ça un peu, mais pas autant détaillé spécifique. Well, what is the position of the researchers in regard to that gap? Because we all understand that good policies emanate from research. Et qu'est-ce qui est votre position là-dessus puisque nous savons que de bonnes politiques qui existent sont encore, donnent encore de l'espace favorable pour la recherche de façon adéquate. There's also one that exists that really restricts um, the farmers or uh, local innovation, so to say, that is the seeds and uh, plants variety, um, cap 
I think 326 laws of Kenya that really restricts um, seeds exchange. Et je trouve qu'il y a autre chose qui limite ou restreint l'innovation locale. Ce sont des lois qui existent tout, au, tout autour des échanges de semences. Don't you think that this really undermines indigenous um, seeds um, exchange, uh, thereby, you know, exposing us to biodiversity loss and climate resilience? They're not really supporting our food sovereignty. So what is really our position? Do you think we need policy reforms that involves small-scale farmers as a strong voice in promoting their local innovation and local knowledge, indigenous knowledge, and therefore, um, you know, promoting climate resilience and food sovereignty and, and, and the likes of sustainable practices that we all yearn for? Mais également, je ramène ça sous forme de question pour demander quelle va être notre position concernant eh, la prise en compte et l'implication des producteurs. Pensez-vous qu'il faut mener des actions pour amener à ce que désormais des politiques uh, plus favorables uh, à, aux échanges de semences, aux, aux échanges de connaissances indigènes, toutes choses importantes pour la souveraineté alimentaire puissent se réaliser? Uh, all right. Um, I'm a congrégateur from all neighbors. Um, I'm glad Riga that the universities are, um, are integrating uh, uh, farmer-led uh, um, innovation and research in, um, in their curriculum, like what Maseno have done. But what I wanted to know is that, um, are we seeing any results since Maseno University integrated uh, that in their curriculum? For example, in terms of, are there students who are more interested in uh, undertaking research, whether undergraduate or postgraduate, in pharma, uh, pharma innovation or uh, participatory innovation development, and are there maybe even uh, like um, lecturers uh, interested in moving in that direction? Je veux demander comment est-ce que ça se passe jusque là pour les gens de l'université de Marseille que j'ai entendu. À quel niveau les chercheurs ont davantage été intéressés à maintenant aller dans la perspective en changeant les curriculum d'intégrer et tout ce qui existe comme innovation locale, comme approche de développement participatif de l'innovation. Yeah, let's go back to the panelists. I think there was one address to Pelham and another one to universities in general. So if one university person answers, then the other one will just clap. Okay. Thank you. I want to respond on the question from Janice on the policies, and thank you for that question. Je veux um, répondre à la question de Janice en la remerciant pour sa question. Yeah, in, uh, in Kenya right now, we have a draft agroecology strategy, which Pelham Kenya, together in the ministry, uh, spearheading, and by June, July, we should be launching the strategy. Actuellement, nous avons une version provisoire de la stratégie eh, nationale de l'agroecologie pour le Kenya. Et Pelham a, a travaillé là-dessus avec le ministère de l'Agriculture. Et si tout va bien, en juillet, cela va être publié. Okay. Yeah, and I also want to add that because she's from the youth, that one of the areas that is focused in that strategy is youth um, as a way of financing their participation in agriculture. And also to add is that there is also an, uh, a process on the access and beneficiary policy, uh, which is uh, strongly anchoring farmer managed seed system. So maybe you can see me later and uh, we'll talk. But I also wanted. And I want also say that for the second question, as you are a young representative of the young here, comme les représentants des jeunes ici, de savoir que un point, un aspect clé dans cette stratégie concerne les jeunes, comment les intégrer, comment les amener davantage à participer à l'agriculture. Et aussi, un élément clé qui est mis en exergue dans cette stratégie concerne la gestion des semences, les semences traditionnelles. Et peut-être elle pourrait l'avoir après pour échanger davantage. Yeah, finally, there is need for the value addition for the, and support from private sector and these researchers so that all these innovations, they are able to compete with the others. Eh? Um, so I think that will came from her. But uh, if you look at like the Lekipia Center there, they have well branded their cactus wine and all that. So let us support the farmers to have competitive products out there. Et je vais finir en disant que il euh, y a les gens de Lekipia qui est là Et cela amène en fait que le secteur privé travaille davantage avec euh, les, les, les paysans pour arriver, comme euh, ceux qui est là, à mettre un paquet et afin qu'ils soient compétitifs sur le marché. Okay. 
Donc, je vais essayer de répondre à, à la dame par rapport euh, à deux aspects. I will try to answer Madame uh, on donc, two aspects. Euh, donc, euh, par exemple, si on prend l'aspect agroécologie, je essaie de faire comprendre les trois dimensions. I will not try to give out the three dimensions of agroecology, for example. La, la dimension science. The dimension of science. Pratique. Practice. Et mouvement. And uh, movement. Donc, si on essaie de voir au sein de notre réseau, on peut dire que nous sommes déjà positionnés par rapport aux pratiques. And I will say that we are already well placed in terms of uh, practice. Donc, ce qui explique uh, cette gamme d'innovation que nous avons ici, parce que nous essayons de faire promouvoir les connaissances locales. Because we are trying to uh, promote local innovation and local knowledge, we have already uh, ahead in that. Si on vient au niveau de la dimension mouvement, when we come to the dimension of uh, maybe movement, donc uh, le réseau Prolinova même en est une parfaite illustration à ce niveau. Uh, already Prolinova is ahead in that area. Parce que qui met différents partenaires ensemble qui travaillent dans cette dynamique. They have been able to put together several partners who are working in the same line. Donc pour terminer, je vais au niveau national. Uh, to finish, I will talk about it in the national level. Donc uh, c'est bien au Kenya, au Mali et au Burkina également. It is already known in Mali, Kenya and uh, Burkina. Donc Burkina pas Faso. je ne connais pas pour le Sénégal, sinon la stratégie aussi est en cours d'élaboration. I don't know much about Senegal because maybe their programs are yet to be developed. Sur l'agroécologie. Their strategies are yet to be developed yeah. at the level of, at the national level. Okay, merci. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to That is the university one? Yes. Oui. Ah, okay. Merci. Okay. Il est de l'université. As I respond to the university issues, I would also try to respond to the issue of publish or perish. Pendant que je tenterai de répondre en tant que universitaire, je vais aussi dire un mot sur ce slogan de publier ou périr. As far as integration is concerned, what we have done in Maseno in third year, after third year, when students proceed on industry attachment, one of the things they do while on attachment is they must identify a problem with the farmer and work on delivering solutions with the farm. Et aussi, loin qu'on parle de l'intégration, il faut savoir que dans leur université à Maceno, ça n'est seulement de travail. Voici ce qui se fait. Les étudiants impliqués doivent aller en stage. Et dans le milieu où ils vont, identifier ensemble un problème avec le paysan, travailler sur ce problème et revenir avec les résultats. Cognizant of the student's desire for marks, during the assessment, we have put a lot of marks on industrial attachment project. Et so we make les sure that they do it. Sachant que les étudiants aiment les, les notes, nous avons mis beaucoup de bons points pour ce qui concerne leur implication à différents stades d'évaluation et de ce besoin de, avec les paysans. And then, when it comes to staff involvement, there is the competitive interest of wanting to publish. And we are happy that a few journals are now embracing a participatory research processes that are now publishable. Initially, colleagues were not very happy about it, but progressively we are seeing action research that is now being published, and that has opened at least some room that we are seeing more engagement of academic members of staff into action research that is being published. Et aussi, pour ce qui concerne les membres de staff, les universitaires eux-mêmes, avant, il était difficile pour publier des recherches actions, des résultats de recherche actions. Mais maintenant, il y a quelques journaux qui offrent cette possibilité. Et pour cela, nous avons changé, nous avons observé également le changement et aussi une plus grande disponibilité et de volonté de, de nos chercheurs pour aller maintenant dans ce processus et arriver à faire leur publication normalement. But then we also need to realize that there is a lot of resource requirements in terms of ensuring that we institutionalize 
uh, innovations from farmers. So there must be willingness of the donors to get involved in these processes. Thank you. Il faut savoir que cela va demander beaucoup de moyens pour assurer l'intégration et de de, de l'approche dans le processus comme nous le voulons et cela va ainsi demander à ce que nous encouragions les donneurs, les bailleurs à s'intéresser à ce genre d'activité. Merci. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I think we are at the end and I give the hand to uh, Chris. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Um, I would want to also add my voice to the lady asking about agroecology. I think Diakite has done a good job on it, the three dimensions. And also the fact that uh, Muranga County has already drafted uh, agroecology policy. So you might want to check on that. And with um, you can also go into the, um, this, the biggest civil society organizations in Africa called AFSA, the Alliance for Food Sovereignty in Africa. Go into, um, I used to be the, uh, I'm the <laughs> outgoing chair of that board. So go into our website. He's we have member. documented, <laughs> we have documented a lot of um, information on agroecology, documented. Uh, I didn't say, uh, I'm really not helping uh, the guy because I, I always believe that the Engli what the English require, just one paragraph, the French re require two pages. Yeah. So sorry <laughs> about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's make, true, make it's true. So to summarize, hey, pour résumer, <laughs> Pour résumer, il a apprécié comment tu as parlé des trois aspects de l'agroécologie, mouvement, science et pratique. Et aussi, il a mentionné une commune ici qui a sa politique, sa stratégie au niveau local. C'est déjà écrit. Et donc, euh, enfin, il a mentionné AFSA. Euh, AFSA, pour ceux qui veulent le savoir, s'occupe et a fait beaucoup de publications sur l'agroécologie, sur des études de cas d'agroécologie et l'encourage... Euh, toute personne à visiter ce site web pour s'enquérir davantage. Merci. Could be a, a few questions, but since we are going into into group work, mm -hmm. those questions will be um, uh, answered and will be raised. I know somebody would want to. Um, yes, Omar. <laughs> Omar, <laughs> the final word. Eh? Uh, thank you very much uh, for the panel. My question is a little bit uh, emotive. Uh, many years, research has been conducted through small-scale farmers by those who are seeking uh, masters and PhD. The honey promises is that we shall share the research with you, but that never comes. <laughs> je As veux, panel, je veux observer que depuis des années. Beaucoup de recherches ont été effectuées par les jeunes étudiants en master et au doctorat. Et quand ils viennent nous voir, ils disent que nous allons revenir partager ces résultats, les résultats avec vous. Mais ce n'est jamais arrivé. And uh, as a university institutions, head of organizations and researchers, what mechanism are you putting in place for those who are now conducting this research using farmers uh, to seek masters or PhD, so that uh, the information they divulge to these guys, they can also have a right to be paid or to be compensated, and the report or the search to be shared. Thank you. En tant que panel, je veux vous demander, et puisque vous venez de différents, il y a chercheurs, il y a institutions de recherche, et je profite pour vous demander quel mécanisme vous mettez en place afin que ces étudiants qui viennent tirer les informations pour leur master et leur doctorat soient en mesure de compenser en quelque sorte les informations qu'ils ont reçues de nous et aussi qu'ils reviennent partager ces, leurs résultats de recherche. Merci. Unless we have somebody who is going to answer it in one minute, I would Donc rather, uh, you know, that uh, question goes to the, to the working groups. Okay. Eh? Donc, uh, moi Because we are running out of time. Voilà. Can you commencer. translate that? Um, uh, il a dit que il n'y a pas de temps, nous allons, nous, nous allons dans les groupes, donc nous pouvons répondre à cette question dans les groupes. Si vous n'avez pas une réponse dans une minute, vous pouvez donner la réponse de cette voilà, question vais, en une minute. Je vais donner une réponse courte. Pour notre cas, euh, de 2017 à maintenant, nous sommes à plus de 20 euh, 
euh, euh, comment dirais-je, étudiants, donc ah. cycle ingénieur ou autre, dont nous avons les différents rapports. And uh, from, uh, I will give a, a case study of our place where from 2007 we have several, uh, what do you call it? We have uh, almost 20 students uh, who, who did a master degree and we, their rep reports uh, are available. Donc, dans les rapports se trouvent au niveau des instituts, mais aussi au niveau de, de, de l'ONG également. Les thèses sont disponibles avec les institutions, les universités, mais aussi avec les NGO. Je pense que je voulais clarifier. Merci. Un, je pense que les femmes qui ont fait la joint research dans ce cas, les femmes sont les unes de l'idée. Et. In this case, actually, he, he moves with step by step, together with other actors, including research, development, extension system. So it's part of the processes from the start to the end. And if we take up this family joint research, I think those issues would not be coming up exactly. because the farmer now is part of exactly. every stage exactly. of the process. Thank Et you, il a thank voulu you. expliquer que si nous adoptons l'approche participative du développement de l'innovation dont nous parlons, ce ne sera plus le cas qu'un étudiant ne va plus venir prendre de l'information et partir. Mais il va travailler au, la main dans la main avec les paysans et que ce producteur n'aura pas ce genre de plainte à exprimer. Voilà. Merci. Mer merci beaucoup, Paul. Thank you very much. I think you are at the end of the panel. Nous avons And we have to thank all the panel. Nous allons the remercier tous les membres du panel. Maintenant, nous sommes uh, dans la dernière séance de Jacques et Shesha. Okay. We are about to go for break, but we want to prepare ourselves after break. What we do? So Shesha will prepare you into groups so that when you come back. All right. So let me try to explain what we are going to do in the next session. Laisse-moi expliquer ce qu'on allons faire dans la dernière séance. Uh, we have drawn out. We will draw out some questions. Nous avons quelques questions. From the two panel discussions. Dans les deux discussions de panel. We will draw out eight questions. Nous allons faire uh, huit questions. Because we have eight round tables here. Parce que nous avons uh, table huit tables rond ici. And then we will have to divide you into uh, groups of eight. Nous allons vous regrouper dans groupes de huit personnes chacun, chaque as table. We, uh, as we have English and French speakers, we decided to make it more efficient. Parce que nous avons des locuteurs anglais et français, nous avons décidé de le mettre un peu plus uh, facile pour vous. So we are going to have uh, three uh, tables of French. Nous allons avoir trois tables des Français et trois tables, euh, cinq tables ang des Anglais. This is not very euh, ce n'est pas aussi euh, participatoire. I, I Mais je vais décider comment nous allons le faire. With euh, ensemble avec Kwanyama. Quelquefois, la participation ne marche pas, donc euh, il nous faudra le faire comme ça. Donc, euh, vous allez pour la pause café back, et puis après, vous nous allons vous diviser. Okay. Vous regrouper Thank dans des groupes. Merci. soft. Before we crush them, sometimes we, we took eight different fodder and mixed them, then gave them so that they could be eating a number of those at the same time. Later on, we found that packaging and it was taking a long, a long time and taking a lot of space. So when we crushed them, we found we were going to pack a lot more. And now we gave into the point of packing. What helped us in this packing is World Vision 
had actually provided uh, a machine for crushing livestock feeds. Doing it without knowing exactly the contents was not going to be good. So we approached the Calro office. So the, the Calro referred us to Calro Naivasha, where we took a number of those, about seven, eight of them. They were tested and we found there is none of them which is below 16 uh, protein content. And that is what we are doing now. And right now with what we got from Isipe and the, one with, the ones we collect from the lo local uh, areas, we are producing enough for people who need it. Okay, apart from the most obvious uh, function you have given for sustaining uh, feeding dairy goats even during dry seasons, is there any other benefit that maybe relates to uh, milk production since you are dealing with the dairy goats? There is quite a lot. One is about milk. This product increases milk production. That is the one thing which is very, very good for us about it. Because of the protein and uh, the fact that we feed it dry. When a goat goes on eating dry, there is a lot of need for water. And what is known is milk is about 85% water. And the more they take the water, the more the milk goes up. So milk increases and one benefit, therefore, which is an impact we already know, in our community with those who are having it, is taking the goat milk means you are taking medicine. You are taking Maya District Farmers Association, Madifa, located in Maya City. And we started in 1994 as a branch of Uganda National Farmers Federation. Madifa has a membership of about 10,000 farmers engaged in different enterprises. Specifically on this particular innovation, we directed it into banana production and marketing because there was a challenge of disease outbreak, especially banana bacterial growth. And farmers were, have been facing the challenge of lack of clean planting materials. So in 2020, Madifa innovated and provided a solution after a thorough research that most farmers were lacking clean planting materials. And together with our member, Ibonix Farm, we innovated into macro-propagation technology, providing clean planting material. And we are doing this in order to enable farmers to access affordable clean planting material. I'm and I work with him by uh, The business which we are involved in is multiplication and distribution of clean planting materials to smallholder farmers. First of all, we, we identify clean planting materials from the mother gardens which were established some time back when we were doing the pilot. From identification, we get casual laborers who help us in, in getting these cones. We transport them by using clean vehicles, which we first disinfect to avoid uh, transportation of diseases and pests. We get a few casual workers who help us in preparation of these cones. So moving the, the sheep to leave the comb, uh, a complete comb, and then after that, we soak it into those chemicals for about 30 minutes to one hour. We plant in our chambers. First we first put the layer of concrete, then we put sawdust, and then after soaking our cones into the chemicals, we bring the cones and plant them, and then we get a polythene bag, the polythene which is very hard, and we cover the cones after watering. After planting, we water and then we cover. But we keep monitoring them. Now, after like two or three weeks, the cones, of course, have the plants have come out, they are removed from cones. This is done using a knife. If we don't uh, do the coating, we are supplying to our nursery operator. The population of about 10,000, 15,000 farmers who have accessed our plants and the results are so far so good. We are doing also some challenges. For example, some people bring uh, one plantlets when they have not ordered. Other people don't want to deposit, yet they want plantlets. The hiking prices of some inputs, increasing transport costs, especially fuel prices, has been a challenge. Increasing demand, the mother gardens we have are not sufficient, and also identification and sourcing of combs becomes very challenging. We are trying to make sure that we get more mother gardens. Actually, when we are starting, that's when the lockdown came in. But we are able to continue 
because agriculture was an essential service. But of course there were challenges. We were involved in infrastructure improvement and we needed inputs, we needed cement, we needed sun. It became very hard to get to the movement of people because we needed labor and public transport was not there. Our project, our business involves a lot of mobilization and interacting with farmers and a lot of marketing and farmer meetings were no more. But of course, Mbadifa innovated and we started using hybrid means of mobilization, like use of radio, talk shows, use of WhatsApp groups, and other social media platforms uh, like Facebook. We have also quite make sure that we continue to use uh, hybrid means of meeting, like use of Zoom meetings, and also uh, making sure of making sure that we create a platform for ordering where farmers can place their orders. So the future plan is to bring more districts on board and other sister DFAs. For example, we have engaged Kawarori District Farmers Association to be part of the program. We need Kamonje DFA, Kasese DFA, Abushen DFA, and Antonde on board to make sure that this solution can multiply in those districts to create more jobs. Thank you. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity software where you can manage everything and anything related to your work. Your documents, your chats, but, uh, your whiteboards, Environmental your projects, conservation, now, since most of the resources that you're using are based in the environment, are based in the, the locality, and you're harvesting them from the environment around you. Formerly, there is what we know about feeding dairy goats or even cows, cut and carry. Ours avoid that completely and all those who are working with us we are told them please don't cut and carry just come and get, get what we have done so the environment is really maintained because of that would you try to comment on how far you have gone in terms of trying to commercialize the product we don't have the means to go far outside uh, mr joe yeah. you have heard you mentioning that uh, your milk production has increased mm -hmm. could you kindly you know, relate this in terms of your income uh, just as I, as I mentioned, it is true the milk increases and uh, in the, within the local area, not in the towns, one litre is 100 shillings. Now, I got eating this well managed, we will have the milk double. So what it used to be before, goats used to have about one litre, 500 mils or so, but what we have now, particularly those the owners whom we, we are managing them the way we know it should work. We, we cannot get less than two liters per day. And the two liters per day, one, uh, 500 mils is enough for, for, our, for our, our tea because if I have 500 mils, it's like I have one and a half liters of our cow's milk. And therefore, if I double, if I double uh, the money I was getting when it was one liter, it means my earning is more on uh, milk alone, the improvement, yeah. yes. Now throughout this your journey, could you maybe kind, kind, kindly tell us the lessons that you've learned, the challenges that you face along the way? Yes. If there was any means the government or any, any other person in charge could help communities in a household having a dairy goat, then you would be sure that every house has money to do what they want. That is one very good thing. But another lesson we have learned is we cannot go very far with the product we are making and formulating ourselves here without CAB certification. We are trying very hard to make sure our product is satisfied by CABs and we shall go and go and go. Oh, Mr. Joe, uh, with the law order, where do you see yourself and the community in five years' time? With with the law order in five years' time, if there was an investor that decided to pick it up, I see the community going very high in what they are earning in terms of supplying the fodder from their chambers. They will earn money. So they will have self-employment. Apart from that, I see the investment making sure that they, what I am seeing is Lofoda is not a Jaka thing, it is not a Kisumu thing, it is a Kenyan thing and actually the honest thing, if it is invested, 
it is beyond Kenya, it is international. Today we are here in Kisaulu village of Kasikeu ward in Makweni county to uh, visit our one of our innovators Mr. Joel Tete to see and get more information about uh, the advances he has made with this local innovation. Welcome uh, Mr. Tete and tell us more about your innovation. I started keeping poultry using a relay of ends, sitting on eggs, removing them, and putting other eggs to watch. So in one month, I was producing more chicks, because if an egg, those ones have trained to sit on them, are sitting on 15 eggs, in 21 days, I hatch 14 or 15, that average, and I put other eggs in the same hen, whereby I'm providing the hen with enough food and water not to leave the eggs before they are hatched. So in one month or in 42 days, I hatch another around 14. So by that way, I increased my poultry sector very easily and it helped me a lot because of my quick production. And I saw it, it is working properly because productive production was high. So, so I increased my poultry. Maybe if you can maybe tell us that, uh, tell us what made him embark on this local innovation. It is because I wanted to have production. And when I was doing this production of ants, I used the hold method of incubating with the machines. And I had a very big problem, whereby blackout, and uh, when it went blackout in the 18th day, I had to lose everything. Then I decided for, for me to increase it in the way it should go, I, used, I decided to use the relay, and it worked very well. Other than uh, the blackout, which was a problem in this area, how do we also see it in terms of cost? Was uh, cost of production uh, wasn't a big deal using the electronic incubator? My production was not as equal as uh, I used the relay that I innovated because it reduced the cost of the electricity because I was using ends. Again, when I re well, after hatching, I also used brooder to keep the chicks which are hatched. When, I'm, when I put them in the brooder, I provide them with warmth from a jerry can with hot water for about two weeks until they cover themselves with enough feathers, then they continue that way. At the same time, when they they cover themselves, it, it, it is almost about two weeks. Those two weeks will make me again to go to the sitting ends, and if they have hatched, I bring another lot. And in that way, production was going very high, and the cost of the machine, or cost of, leave, or cost of, the, of feeding them or doing them, it reduced. So I was producing a lot with little cost. Very nice to hear Mr. Tete here enumerating uh, the advantages uh, of using his relay uh, incubator. 
Uh, now, maybe in, throughout the journey, who helped you maybe with the designing of the uh, current Relay you know, in Incubator? I'm cooperating with my wife, Lois Mompua, Joel, whom we jointly together help each other to work on this. Because when the chicks are in the brooder, she also sees whether they are in a good welfare while I'm doing another work in the, with the other poultry. At the same time, because the cost of living was very high and to maintain around three to 200 chicks, it was not a easy work. On the side of medication, we used, we innovated our local medicine, whereby we used aloe, um, croton seeds, aloe when crushed and dried in the shed. That powder, we used to mix it with water and give the chicks together with croton seeds crushed, dried in the shed, and mixed with the food of the chicks, because also protein seeds will also increase protein, and it acts as a bad biotic to the chicks, and they grow very fast and very strongly. Yes, we call Tete's farm one, uh, all under one roof. Now, uh, while walking around, we've seen uh, you've made some structures, shelf-like structures where the hens are there laying or uh, lying on the eggs. Maybe if you can tell us uh, where you got the resources and who helped you maybe uh, constructing those structures. Were they, did you construct them on your own or you hired somebody else to help you do it? I met uh, an organization by the name Prolinova. Whereby, from all the way I started, it brought me up with some of the ideas. And also it helped me to buy some of the, uh, this drinking water, feeding containers, it helped me very much. It helps also me very much to take me outside to know and see other innovators, meet with different people, different people of, with different ideas of innovation. So with that, it enlarged my mind and brought me to be increasing my production and also how to care them. Uh, this innovation is one of the local innovations that uh, had gone through participatory innovation development where various uh, uh, stakeholders came in board uh, to know, help, uh, of course led by Tete himself, uh, develop his innovation. Now, with all these, are there any adjustments that uh, maybe you've made to the innovation since you started way back in 2016 to date? Since I started uh, interacting with the Prolinova and also taking me outside to exposure to see pe other people because uh, I have attended uh, some of the shows. One was at Kaskeo, another was at Kisumo Obando, whereby I met with other innovators I also met and I went to another show at being, being driven by the powers of Prolinova. I went to Makindu show whereby I also interacted with another innovators. From that point, I went on improving because some of the items which I was using, we are, I improved them. Like for example, on the side of medicine, I've tried the match. I have the stock, I can keep them for a long time. At the same time, in order to avoid, to avoid the inbreeding, I sell some of the stocks to, to avoid inbreeding. I sell them, I make the use of the money in other items. Sometimes with this innovation, it has brought me to another extent of feeding. We talk, all this has come out from the innovation being brought up by the Prolinova. Okay, Mr. Tete, have you shared your innovation with other people? Okay, Mr. Tete. Yes, sir. Maybe, are there any challenges that you have met uh, during the time of the innovation, implementing the innovation? Are there any challenges and how have you gone about them? There are so many challenges. 
with this, but we have to bear with them. One, when formally I started, my house of poetry was not strong. So predictors were pursuing to get inside and they timber with the eggs. Also, they carry some of my hands. With that, I had to look for another way of strengthening the house of the hands. Again, there are challenges. Sometimes we have, when we are hatching, not all the chicks come out strongly. There are the formalities of them. Also, those are challenges because I have to, it needs a very great care for them to grow. Okay, and now, uh, in, your, in your own projection, where do you see yourself maybe five years to come? What kind of a family or a man shall you be in terms of this innovation? Uh, my aim and my objection for years to come, and as I'm going on, I'm planning, if it's God's will, I'm planning to increase my poetry. I'm planning to extend it even to the neighbors. I'm planning to extend it even, even if it is the account or any people that I will be known for people to come and be buying the, any, 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 any idea from me and also to buy my, to buy my hands, my poetry. Again, this medicine locally I'm making because people are very interested with them and very, it is helpful to them. It is also working when on the side of Newcastle, on the side of you know, uh, and other diseases. With that medicine, we are planning to make it and see whether the county or any organization can take our medicine and see whether it can be added anything or whether it is workable okay. so that we may not continue with something which is not properly. So okay, we are looking maybe. for an organization okay. or any county to come and take it to the organization. Okay, maybe labeling the medicine, to have some labels, the names. Are you planning for such? Thank you. I'm planning to have those medicine labeled. Also to be approved by CARI or CARO. Today we call it CARO. Or any organization which can think of coming and approve our medicine. We are ready for that. Thank you very much. Now today we are here at uh, uh, Mr. Stevens' uh, home to uh, see and get more information about how his innovation works and uh, the adv advancement that he has made uh, along the way with his uh, local innovation on improved fish mocha. Uh, I'm a farmer. Formerly I was a driver, but nowadays I'm a farmer. Maybe if you can tell us how your innovation works. It's working, but it's uh, good to have a charcoal and a uh, jiko uh, made of metal. And uh, this box is made of metal and it's, uh, very, uh, it's a heavy metal. Okay, and uh, how did you design it? Mm. Because I have started with the sufria, but the sufria was too light. When I, the, the, when you put the the herbs, it's budding before the face get. To be prepared. So I was decided to have this, the heavy metal, and uh, herbs burn slowly to, pre to, to get inside the fish so that it can be preserved. And uh, as, uh, if I, I can see it uh, correctly, I see it kind of involved some, some sort of welding. Yeah. So, did you do it alone or somebody helped you in designing you know, it and uh, ultimately bringing up a, a, a fish mocha in shape as it is? I was deciding myself, but when I go to the welder, 
to make it round like Sufria is was not easy. Uh, wonderful. Mm. Now maybe if you can explain to us or tell us where you got the resources, if maybe the support came from elsewhere or... Because I, I was uh, really like uh, the fish smoker. I was decided to make it so... Uh, because we like that fish smoker more than the, because of the, the oil. Nowadays we don't like so much, but uh, this one uh, you can use it without oil. And it's very nice when you eat and uh, it's, it's so good. And uh, for how long have you been using this? Um, 2016 up to now. Up to now. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, from all that time as you move along, have you done, made any adjustment, maybe to make it work better? Yeah, before I was not using some herbs because uh, I didn't know, because some are poison and uh, so I've learned a lot of uh, herbs now. Okay, now, and as a result of maybe the, in the introduction of herbs into the whole system, can you maybe share with us some of the results that uh, you've so far achieved? Mm, not really, but uh, we have a test the, the, from the older one to this. Uh, we, we put some face to the older one and some to this. So I've test the quality of these herbs and the quality of the other one. That one cannot take only one month and uh, it can rotten and, uh, and this one can take three months. Uh, to our viewers, my name is Ruth Olale. I work with Kenya Agricultural Life Livestock Research Organization based in Kisumu and partnering with Prolinova Africa. And today we are in uh, uh, Steve's home, one of our innovators. And uh, so we want to see the, uh, what is actually happening in Osir village. So Mr. Steve, you have explained about uh, the technology or the innovation. Uh, I would like uh, you to just uh, share with us how you have, have been able to uh, share this technology with the local people in your community. We have a farmer field day within the city. And we have a field day within the Sumu town west. So we have gone with this and they know how this thing is work. And some will come to serve with me and they want to know how it work and they, some they like it. And uh, some community have, they already buy from me, some. Uh, thank you, Mr. Steve. Uh, those who have bought uh, this technology, what is the results? How, how, how have they benefited? And they, have they also shared this technology further? But uh, already, they, because this box is still, it's still small, mm. so they can, it's not for business, but it's for the family. Mm. So they all, and uh, you know, the economy of Kenya now is too high to get face and uh, do this one, the, but they like it. Yeah. Yes, uh, and now that uh, they like it and you like it, yeah. uh, we want you to just share with us yes. how this has impacted food security or food in your home yeah. and how it has impacted uh, the nutrition in your home and even income. Uh, does it have any effect? Has it changed your family in any way? Yeah, it changed my family because uh, uh, at uh, first I've said, uh, I've said the, the face is nowadays is too small and you can go to the lake from 12 to 6 to buy a face for just 40 shillings or 100. So it takes a lot of time. So you can go for uh, 400, 500 in, uh, if you have money and you smoked 
and the other day you can work and you eat. So it's helped me in the family and the other people can buy this. Yes, thank yeah. you. And now I want to say what are the challenges of mm. this uh, innovation for you uh, in case you want to make it even large scale. What is your challenge? My challenge uh, is finance because of, uh, of using the materials. Uh, it needs heavy metals. Okay. Yeah. And now that you have a challenge of finances, and uh, mm. it looks like you have an opportunity yeah. to make more. Uh, how are you going to solve your challenges? Because you can even have uh, a factory if you wanted to, but how will you mm. uh, have your own local uh, solutions to improve on this innovation and to expand it? Yeah, we have said this with the fisheries officers and uh, they say that they can help us to make it, but they still not yet respond. And uh, for now, we are still think how to make it bigger than this. And uh, our challenge is finance. It's just finance. Yeah. And so, but, uh, in two years, yeah. we're just asking, you have this technology. Where will your family be in two years using this innovation? It's... Uh, help us to save labor and uh, other challenges. Uh, we pray that uh, the technology will continue. Thank you very much. Today we are here at a benignous place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, Ward in Makweni County. To know more about uh, the improvement that she has made in her local innovation organic fruit fly trap. Welcome Benigna. I do the farming with, my, with the assistance of my husband who is here. And we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example, here I have a, a avocado fruit, which I have used the organic fruit fly, and it's doing on well. How do you make uh, the, your local uh, organic fruit fly trap? These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon. This is a lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey. One glass of a lemon juice. I add one spoon, tablespoon of honey. And I use two, two glasses of water. I had together and I stir well so that I make this now, this juice, which I use it as the main thing I use. I go on, I use local materials. These are the bottles we use for water. I just do holes all around, halfway. I do holes whereby the insect comes and gets in and they are being trapped. I used it by hanging. Let's get inside the bottle. They know they don't fly away because they are being trapped by the lemon juice which is inside the honey and the water. Thereby, I use the insects to feed my young chicks at home. Okay, I do the work with the help of my husband, who is just here and he can do, he can say more about the innovation. 
uh, in this form of innovation, it is cheap because we just use local materials like lemons, water, honey. Uh, the, the materials are available in our farm. Uh, we use the organic organic trap, blood fly trap to control blood fly tra um, insects. We control them in mango trees, man uh, guavas, pumpkins, and also in lemony fruits. Now, having heard of uh, how the local uh, in the innovation is being concocted, could you kindly tell us what made you embark on this local innovation? What made me to do this innovation, I was sometimes going around my farm and I see a lot of fruits which are just on the ground due to insects and I had no enough money to buy the Hangropet medicines. So I decided to do something to see whether I can prevent it. Okay, and as a result of the improvements, maybe are there are some results, uh, maybe in terms of the efficacy, it is now working better than mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now, it's doing on well, because when I go around the farm, even if you find fruits which are falling off, they are so few. It's not like there before. Okay, Madam Mombua. Mm. It's good that you are doing this innovation. Mm. And maybe have you shared this innovation with other people? Okay, the information, the in innovation I've shared with a lot of people by now. I even share it with the groups who come and come with us so that I help them. And I even help my neighbors to do it on their own chambers. Are there any challenges? In challenges, there are so few cause the materials are so locally and we get them locally in our chambers. So we have no challenges. There are no challenges, eh? Yeah? Uh, and maybe at, with your own conjecture, uh, where do you see yourself maybe in five years to come? Where do you see yourself? Okay, in five years to come, I see I will have grown up and I will, I will have been enlarged and many of my neighbors and my family will be grown up. Okay, grown up in terms of? Fruits. fruits. Yes. Having many fruits? Uh, having many fruits, having many trees in their chambers okay. and the organic making them to be more healthy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stevens uh, home to uh, see and get more information about how his innovation works and uh, the adv advancement that he has made uh, along the way in this uh, local innovation on improved fish mocha. Uh, I'm a farmer. Formerly I was a driver but nowadays I'm a farmer. Maybe if you can tell us how your innovation works. It's working, but it's uh, good to have a charcoal and a uh, uh, jiko made of metal. And uh, this box is made of metal and it's a uh, very, uh, it's a heavy metal. Okay, and uh, how did you design it? Mm. Because I have started with the sufria, but the sufria was too light. When I, the the when you put the the hubs, it's budding before the fish get to be pre prepared. So I was decided to have this, the heavy metal, and the hubs burn slowly. To, to, to get inside the fish so that it can preserve. And uh, as, uh, if I, I can see it uh, correctly, I see it kind of involves some, some sort of welding. Yeah. So did you do it alone or somebody helped you in designing yeah. it and uh, ultimately bringing up a, 
a fish smoker in Shepa cities? Mm, I was deciding myself, but when I go to the welder, uh, to make it round like Sufria is, was not easy. Uh, wonderful. Mm. Now maybe if you can explain to us or tell us where you got the resources, if maybe the support came from elsewhere or... Because I, I was uh, really like uh, the fish smoker. I was decided to make it so... Uh, because we like that fish smoke more than the, because of the, the oil. Nowadays we don't like so much, but uh, this one uh, you can use it without oil. And it's very nice when you eat and uh, it's, it's so good. And uh, for how long have you been using this? Uh, 2016 up to now. Up to now. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, from all that time as you move along, have you done, made any adjustment, maybe to make it work better? Yeah, before I was not using some herbs because uh, I didn't know, because some are poison and uh, so I've learned a lot of uh, herbs now. Okay, now and as a result of maybe the, in the introduction of herbs into the whole system, can you maybe share with us some of the results that uh, you've so far achieved? Mm, not really, but uh, we have a test the, the, from the older one to this. Uh, we, we put some face to the older one and some to this. So I've tested the quality of these herbs and the quality of the other one. That one cannot take only one month and uh, it can rotten and, uh, and this one can take three months. Uh, to our viewers, my name is Ruth Olale. I work with Kenya Agricultural Life Livestock Research Organization based in Kisumu and partnering with Prolinova Africa. And today we are in uh, uh, Steve's home, one of our innovators. And uh, so we want to see the, uh, what is actually happening in Osir village. So Mr. Steve, you have explained about uh, the technology or the innovation. Uh, I would like uh, you to just uh, share with us how you have uh, been able to uh, share this technology with the local people in your community. We have a farmer field day within the Osiri. And we have a film day within the Sumu Town West. So we have gone with this and they know how these things work. And some will come to serve with me and they want to know how it works. And they, some, they like it. And uh, some community have, they already buy from me, some. Uh, thank you, Mr. Steve. Uh, those who have bought uh, this technology, what is the results? How, how, how have they benefited? And they, have they also shared this technology further? But uh, already, they, because this box is still, it's still small, mm. so they can, it's not for business, but it's for the family. Mm. So they all, and uh, you know, the economy of Kenya now is too high to get face and uh, do this one, the, but they like it. Yeah. Yes, uh, and now that uh, they like it and you like it, yeah. uh, we want you to just share with us yes. how this has impacted food security or food in your home yeah. and how it has impacted uh, the nutrition in your home and even income. Uh, does it have any effect? Has it changed your family in any way? Yeah, it changed my family because uh, uh, at uh, first I've said, I've said the, the face is nowadays is too small and you can go to the lake from 12 to 6 to buy a face for just 40 shillings, 100. So it takes a lot of time. So you can go for uh, 
400 to 500 in, uh, if you have money and you smoked. And the other day you can work and you eat. So it's helped me in the family and the other people can buy this. Yes, thank yeah. you. And now I want to say what are the challenges of mm. this uh, innovation for you uh, in case you want to make it even large scale? What is your challenge? My challenge uh, is finance because of, uh, of using the materials. Uh, it needs heavy metals. Okay. Yeah. I know that you have a challenge of finances and uh, mm. it looks like you have an opportunity yeah. to make more. Uh, how are you going to solve your challenges? Because you can even have uh, a factory if you wanted to, but how would you mm. uh, have your own local uh, solutions to improve on this innovation and to expand it? Yeah, we have said this with the fisheries officers and uh, they say that they can help us to make it, but they still not yet respond. And uh, for now, we are still think how to make it bigger than this. And uh, our challenge is finance. It's just finance. Yeah. And so, but, uh, in two years, yeah. we're just asking, you have this technology. Where will your family be in two years using this innovation? It's... Uh, help us to save labor and uh, other challenges. Uh, we pray that uh, the technology will continue. Thank you very much. Today we are here at a benignous place in Ngekini village of uh, Kasikeu uh, Ward in Makweni County. To know more about uh, the improvement that she has made in her local innovation organic fruit fly trap. Welcome Benigna. I do the farming with, my, with the assistance of my husband who is here. And we like to improve our community by using organic farming. Maybe if you can explain to us what your local innovation is all about. I do with fruits. For example, here I have a, a avocado fruit, which I have used the organic fruit fly, and it's doing on well. How do you make uh, the, your local uh, organic fruit fly trap? These are the materials I use to make the, the juice. I use lemon. I use lemon. This is lemon juice. I use the juice. I also use honey. One glass of a lemon juice. I add one spoon, tablespoon of honey, and I use two, two glasses of water. I had together and I stir well so that I make this now, this juice, which I use it as the medicine I use. I go on, I use local materials. These are the bottles we use for water. I just do holes all around, halfway. I do holes whereby the insect comes and gets in and they are being trapped. I used it by hanging. Let's get inside the bottle. They know they don't fly away because they are being trapped by the lemon juice which is inside the honey and the water. Thereby, I use the insects to feed my young chicks at home. 
Okay, I do the work with the help of my husband, who is just here and he can do, he can say more about the innovation. Uh, in this form of innovation, it is cheap because we just use local materials like lemons, water, honey. Uh, the, the materials are available in our farm. Uh, we use the organic, organic trap, blue fly trap to control blue fly um, insects. We control them in mango trees, man uh, guavas, pumpkins, and also in lemony fruits. Now, having heard of. Uh how the local uh, in the innovation is being concocted. Could you kindly tell us what made you embark on this local innovation? What made me to do this innovation, I was sometimes going around my farm and I see a lot of fruits which are just on the ground due to insects and I had no enough money to buy the hungry pet medicines. So I decided to do something to see whether I can prevent it. Okay, and as a result of the improvements, maybe are there are some results, uh, maybe in terms of the efficacy, it is now working better than mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now, it's doing on well, because when I go around the farm, even if you find fruits, which are falling off, they are so few. It's not like there before. Okay, Madam Mombua, mm. it's good that you are doing this innovation. Mm. And maybe, have you shared this innovation with other people? Okay, the information, the in innovation I've shared with a lot of people by now. I even share it with the groups who come and come with us so that I help them and I even help my neighbors to do it on their own chambers. Are there any challenges? In challenges, there are so few because the materials are so locally and we get them locally in our chambers. So we have no challenges. There are no challenges, yeah? Yeah. And maybe with your own conjecture, uh, where do you see yourself maybe in five years to come? Where do you see yourself? Okay, in five years to come, I see I will have grown up and I will, I, I will have been enlarged. And many of my neighbors and my family will be grown up. Okay, grown up in terms of? Fruits. Fruit. Yes. Having many fruits? Eh, having many fruits, having many trees in their chambers okay. and the organic, making them to be more healthy. Today we are here in Kisaulu village of Kasikeu ward in Makweni county to uh, visit our one of our innovators, Mr. Joel Tete, to see and get more information about uh, the advances he has made with this local innovation. Welcome uh, Mr. Tete and tell us more about your innovation. I started keeping poultry using a relay of ends, sitting on eggs, removing them, and putting other eggs to watch. So in one month, I was producing more chicks, because if an egg, those ones have trained to sit on them, are sitting on 15 eggs, in 21 days, I hatch 14 or 15, that average, and I put other eggs in the same hen, whereby I'm providing the hen with enough food and water not to leave the eggs before they are hatched. So 
in one month or in 42 days, I had another around 14. So by that way, I increased my port sector very easily. And it helped me a lot because of my quick production. And I saw it, it is working properly because productive production was high. So, so I increased my poultry. Maybe if you can maybe tell us that, uh, tell us what made him embark on this local innovation. It is because I wanted to have production. And when I was doing this production of ants, I used the whole method of incubating with the machines. And I had a very big problem. We am by blackout. And uh, when it went blackout in the 18th day, I had to lose everything. Then I decided for, for me to increase it in the way should go, I, used, I decided to use the relay and it worked very well. Other than uh, the blackout, which was a problem in this area, how do we also see it in terms of cost? Was uh, cost of production uh, wasn't a big deal using the electronic incubator? My production was not as equal as uh, I used the relay that I innovated because it reduced the cost of the electricity because I was using ends. Again, when I re after arching, I also used brooder to keep the chicks which are hatched. When, I'm, when I put them in the brooder, I provide them with warmth from a jerry can with hot water for about two weeks until they cover themselves with enough feathers, then they continue that way. At the same time, when they, they cover themselves, it, it, it is almost about two weeks. Those two weeks will make me again to go to the sitting ends and if they have hatched, I bring another lot. And in that way, production was going very high and the cost of the machine or cost of, leave, or cost of, the, of feeding them or doing them, it reduced. So I was producing a lot with little cost. Very nice to hear Mr. Tete here enumerating uh, the advantages uh, of using his relay uh, incubator. Uh, now, maybe in, throughout the journey, who helped you maybe with the designing of the uh, current relay you know, incubator? I'm cooperating with my wife, Lois Mumbua, Joel, whom we jointly together help each other to work on this. Because when the chicks are in the brooder, she also sees whether they are in a good welfare while I'm doing another work in the, with the other poultry. At the same time, because the cost of living was very high and to maintain around three to 200 chicks, it was not a easy work. On the side of medication, we used, we innovated our local medicine. We by, we used aloe, Mm, croton seeds, aloe when crushed and dried in the shed. That powder, we used to mix it with water and give the chicks together with croton seeds crushed, dried in the shed and mixed with the food of the chicks because also croton seeds will also increase protein and uh, it acts it as a bad biotic to the chicks, and they grow very fast and very strongly. Yes, we call Tete's farm one, uh, all under one roof. Now, uh, while walking around, we've seen uh, you've made some structures, shelf-like structures where the hens are there laying, uh, lying on the eggs. Maybe if you can tell us uh, oh, where you got the resources and who helped you maybe uh, constructing those structures, were they? Did you construct them on your own, or you hired somebody else to help you do it? I met uh, an organization by the name Prolinova, whereby 
from all the way I started, it brought me half with some of the ideas. And also it helped me to buy some of the, uh, this drinking water, feeding containers, it helped me very much. It helps also me very much to take me outside to know and see other innovators, meet with different people, different people of, with different ideas of innovation. So with that, it enlarged my mind and brought me to be increasing my production and also how to care them. Uh, this innovation is one of the local innovations that uh, had gone through participatory innovation development where various uh, uh, stakeholders came in board uh, to know, help, uh, of course led by Tete himself, uh, develop his innovation. Now, with all these, are there any adjustments that uh, maybe you've made to the innovation since you started way back in 2016 to date? Since I started uh, interacting with the Prolinova and also taking me outside to exposure to see pe other people because uh, I have attended uh, some of the shows. One was at Kaskewa, another was at Kisumo, Obando, whereby I met with other innovators. I also met and I went to another show at being, being driven by the powers of Prolinova. I went to Makindu show whereby I also interacted with another innovators. From that point, I went on improving because some of the items which I was using were, I improved them. Like for example, on the side of medicine, I've tried them much. I have the stock, I can keep them for a long time. At the same time, in order to avoid, to avoid the inbreeding, I sell some of the stocks to, to avoid inbreeding. I sell them, I make the use of the money in other items. Sometimes with this innovation, it has brought me to another extent of feeding. We talk, all this has come out from the innovation being brought up by the Prolinova. Okay, Mr. Tete, have you shared your innovation with other people? Okay, Mr. Tete. Yes, sir. Maybe are there any challenges that you have met uh, during the time of the innovation, implementing the innovation? Are there any challenges and how have you gone about them? There are so many challenges with this, but we have to bear with them. One, when formally I started, my house of poultry was not strong. So predators were pursuing to get inside and they timber with the eggs. Also, they carry some of my hands. With that, I had to look for another way of strengthening the house of the hands. Again, there are challenges. Sometimes we have when we are hatching, not all the chicks come out strongly. There are deformalities of them. Also, those are challenges because I have to, it needs a very great care for them to grow. Okay, and now, uh, in, in your own projection, where do you see yourself maybe five years to come? What kind of a family or a man shall you be in terms of this innovation? Uh, my aim and my objection for years to come, and as I'm going on, I'm planning, if it's God's will, I'm planning to increase my poultry. I'm planning to extend it even to the neighbors. I'm planning to extend it even, even if it is the account or any people that I will be known for people to come and be buying the any, 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 any idea from me and also to buy my, to buy my hands, my poultry. Again, this medicine locally I'm making because people are very interested with them and very, it is helpful to them. It is also working when on the side of Newcastle, on the side of you know, uh, another diseases. With that medicine, we are planning to make it and see whether the county or any organization can take our medicine and see 
whether it can be added anything or whether it is workable okay. so that we may not continue with something which is not properly. So okay, we are looking we for an organization okay. or any county to come and take it to the organization. Okay, maybe labeling the medicine to have some labels, the names. Are you planning for such? Thank you. I'm planning to have those medicine labeled also to be approved by CARI or CARO. Today we call it CARO or any organization which can think of coming and approve our medicine. We are ready for that. Thank you very much. I am Joe Ouko, a farmer innovator. I'm at the same time the chairman of Farmer-Led Innovators Association of Kenya. We have an agribusiness called Lofoda Gmail. It is a project which has come right down from uh, around nine, uh, 2009 when innovations were introdu was introduced in Kenya and the partners that are behind the whole innovation move that has led us to this project was number one, Prolinova Kenya, number two, Calro. The two put their effort together and taught not only ourselves but a group of innovators from Nyando, the, the then Nyando district and Bosia district then, now they are, uh, they are counties and sub-counties. The teaching of uh, innovations from that time gave us an inspiration to make sure our minds worked out to ensure what we were doing would come out on top of whatever people were using before to en enrich lives. The basic thing about this product is we are using what goats, ordinary goats, what goats can eat anywhere in the world, I, I, would, I would like to say, is what we take and dry up and keep ration it in a way now that what we have learned from Calro and Polinova would Different uh, the, the the quantifications of the innovations and uh, what does it is it composed about? Come up with uh, joint uh, experiments uh, in order to work on the local innovations. Come up with the evidence of local innovation for commercialization. 
capitaliser les évidences de l'innovation locale pour influencer les décideurs. Ça, c'est la solution. Uh, use the evidence base that we have from the innovation in order to influence the decision makers, and that is the solution that we give. Comme j'ai aussi à relever, toute évaluation de l'impact de l'innovation locale. We had one challenge or one uh, issue to address, that is uh, on uh, evaluation of the impact of the innovation, the local innovation, yeah, that's all. le temps pour réagir, donc euh, nous allons tout direct à la deuxième table. Le groupe 2, notre question était... protect intellectual property rights? No, la deuxième question c'était comment protégeons-nous les droits de propriété of local innovations and de, de l'innovation des, innova des, des paysans innovateurs ainsi que leur innovation Est-ce que le brevetage contient des risques d'exclusion And we have come with five points. Et nous sommes parvenus à cinq points de réponse. Many, but we are going to give you five. Il y en a plusieurs, mais on va vous donner cinq points clés. Ça devrait être plus de vingt. So Et si vous voulez, les quinze restants vont venir à nous alors. Number one, Premièrement, apply for trademarks, patent and the copyrights. Et premièrement, il faut postuler pour avoir eh, la marque commerciale, pour avoir un brevet de marque commerciale. Number two, never stop innovating, continue to innovate and improve on your innovation. Et deuxièmement, continuez d'innover, n'arrêtez pas d'innover, continuez et continuez à améliorer votre innovation. Number three, while innovating, arrange Evidence for your innovation. Et pendant que vous innovez, arrangez-vous à trouver des évidences, des preuves que votre innovation est efficace. Number four, publish your innovations. Et numéro 4, publiez votre innovation, faites connaître votre innovation. Number five, keep your innovation secret until you are complete, you are patenting. Cinquièmement, gardez secret votre innovation jusqu'à ce que vous finissez le processus de brevetage. Part B of the question, this is the answer. It's, uh, it's good to the innovator. It, it's good to, to the innovator. The exclusive rights provide incentives for patent holder to undertake further research and development. Ok, pour la deuxième partie de la question qui concerne est-ce qu'il y a risque d'exclusion avec le brevetage, elle répond que il est bon pour l'innovateur d'avoir un droit exclusif parce que ça va l'encourager à continuer le processus de recherche jusqu'à ce que le résultat final et le développement soient effectués. And because this part was very important to innovators, make sure you think group two to continue to mentor you. For your innovations. Donc, euh, comme cette question est très importante pour les innovateurs, rapprochez de vous de nous pour avoir encore des éléments de réponse très enrichissants. Thank you. Be blessed. Merci. Soyez bénis. Thank you very If much. you keep it secret, you will not come to innovation fair. <laughs> Table number three. Table trois. Table trois. How to create an enabling environment within communities to continue LI stock PID processes? La question pour le groupe 3, c'était de savoir comment créer un environnement favorable au sein des communautés pour qu'ils continuent l'innovation locale et le DPI. The 
Oui. Par exemple, il faut impliquer les acteurs gouvernementaux dans les processus agricoles. Construction of caps, name and name within the farmers and the grassroots level. Et créer des possibilités d'interaction entre des acteurs au niveau régional et aussi avec les acteurs du terrain à la base. Info is strengthening networks to enable farmers renforcer les réseaux des actes des, des, des paysans afin qu'ils soient capables de recevoir des informations sur tous les aspects des chaînes de valeur agricole et un, le point 5 c'est d'améliorer et de promouvoir la bonne gouvernance merci thank you Thank you very much. You finished in time. Vous avez fini à temps. Merci. Groupe 4. Okay, group 4. This is group 4. Uh, comment former? Uh, how si to train? Supporter les réseaux. And uh, support the networks. Des paysans innovateurs. Of local innovators. Au niveau régional. At the regional. National. And national levels. Pour conduire les plaidoyers. In order to lead in uh, advocacy. En vue de l'intégration. And the integration. De l'innovation locale of local innovation DPI and uh, PID processes dans les organisations uh, in the organizations of uh, research and development, development agricultural research and development okay réponse 1 our answers number 1 bâtir une confiance en soi uh, create or build confidence in yourself avant de remonter l'innovation locale before coming up with the local innovations Le, la question 2 Uh, second answer. Creation de plateformes physiques. Coming up with uh, physical uh, networks ou or virtuel. platforms. Ou virtuel. Or uh, virtual networks. Okay. Question three. Uh, third answer. Créer une dépendance entre les paysans innovateurs. Uh, creating a dependence, interdependence between the local innovators. Among the local innovators. Question quatre. Uh, fourth response faire valoir la dépendance économique uh, to bring out and uh, emphasize on uh, economic dependence question 5 and the fifth response structuration adaptée aux spécificités structuration adaptée coming, coming up with uh, structures adapted to uh, specific needs of uh, local innovators okay question number 6 and Mise the sixth one is to come up with a network. Okay. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Thank you very much. Thank Now you very much. Group 5. Group 5. Un pour eux. Group 5. Ici. OK. Group number 5. Group 5. Question. Question. How do we support farmer communities to be self-supportive in continuing LI and PID processes without or limited external financial support? Comment supportons-nous les communautés locales pour devenir pour être capables d'auto-supporter et continuer les processus d'innovation locale et des pays avec ou sans un appui financier externe. Point number one. Réponse, première réponse. Local revolving funds. Et de créer des possi possibilités de, de fonds tournants. Point two, training on PID. Deuxième point, faire des formations sur le DPI. 
Point three, establishing strong and dynamic innovator groups. Réponse 3, établir des groupes d'innovateurs solides et dynamiques. Point 4, establish linkages with other relevant stakeholders. Point 4, établir des interrelations avec d'autres acteurs importants. Point 5, advocate or seek policy framework that is a favor of LI and PID. Et point 5, mener des plaidoyers pour avoir des cadres politiques favorables en faveur de l'innovation locale et le DPI. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Very clear. Très clair. Now we go to group 6. Group 6. OK. Thank you. <coughs> group 6. If you fail to recognize the innovators, that is the way you get it wrong. So those group six, put up your hands. <laughs> Our question was, how do we creatively engage ARD stakeholders in local innovation, stock, uh, participatory innovation and development in the process of institutionalization? La question six, c'est comment engager de façon créative les acteurs de la recherche et du développement agricole yes. afin qu'ils intègrent l'innovation locale? The entry point for us was to identify who are those stakeholders. And the point d'entrée pour nous c'est d'identifier et faire une carte de tous ceux qui sont ces acteurs dont on parle. And in the stakeholders we have innovators who are farmers. Et pour vous donner un exemple, nous avons les local leaders, qui sont des agriculteurs. Government sectors, stock ministries. Les leaders locaux, le gouvernement, les secteurs, les ministères. Research organizations, stock institutions. Les recherches, les institutions de recherche. Universities, training institutions. Les universités, relevant NGOs and CBOs, les ONG et les organisations des communautés, farm organizations, les organisations de producteurs, faith-based organizations and media. Les médias et les institutions locales. Now, how do we do it? Number one is intentional stakeholder mapping and profiling to understand who the stakeholders are, their mandate, law, interest, and value they add on that innovation. Number two. Le premier point, c'est d'engager eh, un mapping, une cartographie, de façon intentionnelle pour reconnaître les acteurs et leur mandat, leur vision, leur rôle, leur intérêt, leur valeur. Number two is creating knowledge sharing platforms sensitive to language and also making sure that there's feedback that, that everyone understands. That was very important to us. Le deuxième, c'est de créer des plateformes de partage de connaissances. Another, another point that is very relevant to Africa is engagement in curriculum influencing and development at all levels. Because the local innovations must be integrated in the curriculum and that helps us to tap into the youth who are, who are being trained in order to adopt because at the end of the day, they are consumers of that knowledge. Thank you. Et le troisième point que nous jugeons très important est d'engager le développement des curricula de formation à tous les niveaux. Ce qui favorise que les jeunes qui sont encore étudiants ou élèves soient exposés à ces concepts parce qu'ils seront les derniers bénéficiaires. Then deliberately working with the government to create a regulatory framework to protect the innovation, which is being hijacked by people who are not innovators but they have seen. But your innovation, before you even know, somebody is, is presenting it and also owning it. It goes to Umar, what Umar said. That uh, I'm the principal investigator, but you are, but just you, you are not even the innovator, but you are owning the knowledge you never developed. Et the le quatrième point, c'est de créer un cadre qui protège l'innovation. Et pas elle donne un exemple sur le fait que certains innovateurs, si on ne sait pas faire, d'autres personnes qui sont tout autour qui ne sont pas même innovateurs. Lastly, vont. include use of local language for implementation. That is very critical to the farmers. I thank you. Le dernier point, c'est d'inclure les langues locales dans les processus d'implémentation. Merci. Thank you very much. All very interesting points. Des points très intéressants. Nous vous remercions. And groupe now, 7. And now we come to the last group. Nous venons au dernier groupe. This is, set. this is Group 7. My name is Daoudi Sentong from Uganda. Mon nom est Daoudi, Presenting on behalf of the group. Je parle au nom de tout le group. Uh, the question is how do we ac assess the impact of 
uh, local innovations, stock, PID approaches at different levels, la uh, community and institution. La question c'est de savoir comment est-ce que nous engageons l'évaluation d'impact à we tous les niveaux, que ce soit communauté ou institution. We identified the uh, five main and we gave you a bonus of one. <laughs> nous avons identifié <laughs> cinq et nous vous donnons un bonus en plus. Five parameters, one. S cinq paramètres, un. Uh, if you want to measure their impact, let's look at this. One is the sustainability of those PID approaches or local innovations. Le premier, in terms of uh, la durabilité. How, how people are continuing to use them in the communities. Le premier, c'est la durabilité de cette innovation locale en ce qui, en termes de comment les communautés continuent à l'utiliser. Two are the scalability of those local innovations in terms of how many farmers are practicing and benefiting from those uh, PID approaches. Le and this include how many institutions are taking them up, how uh, in terms of research institutions, development institutions are taking them up in to practice them, but also uh, to benefit from them. Le deuxième, c'est la capacité de mise à l'échelle de cette innovation en termes de combien de personnes ont, ont déjà pu l'utiliser, jusqu'à quel niveau cela est possible. Third, let's measure the level of socio-economic transformation, all livelihood improvement that can be attributed to these uh, local innovations. Le troisième point, c'est le niveau de transformation socio-économique uh, impliqué par cette innovation. At an uh, institutional level, we need to measure how many of these approaches, the PID approaches, have been integrated in the formal agriculture research and development. Au niveau institutionnel, il nous faut voir comment les organisations ciblées sont en mesure d'intégrer l'approche de développement participatif de l'innovation. Importantly, we need to measure the contribution of these local innovations slash PID approaches to climate change resilience, adaptation, and mitigation. Encore plus important, et il faut prendre eh, le, le, le cadre spécifique de l'adaptation au, change, point au changement climatique. How many policies and advocacy issues have been informed by these local innovations and PID approaches? Please take it again. Uh, how many policies and advocacy issues have been informed by the PID approaches? and local innovations. Et dernier point, et combien de politiques ou d'outils politiques ont déjà pris en compte cette approche d'innovation locale et les innovations locales? Merci beaucoup. Merci, thank you. All right. Thank you very much to everybody, all the groups who worked hard and did their assignments, presented on, presented on time. Et uh, merci à tout le monde. Vous avez fait de magnifiques travaux et vous avez présenté à temps. So let us give a big hand to ourselves. Donnez de grands bancs pour vous-même. And my, I'm sure that you have got all, all kinds of ideas in your head and you had only half an hour. Et j'imagine que vous avez eu un tas d'idées dans, dans vos têtes que vous n'avez pas eu les moyens nécessairement de présenter. Continue the discussions during meal time. Continuez les discussions entre vous pendant les repas au dehors. Take the back to your Amenez le reste de la discussion dans vos communautés. Quelque chose, c'est un, c'est une question de processus qui n'est pas seulement limité dans le cadre de cette fois seulement. And so the next time we meet, et ainsi, la prochaine fois que nous allons nous rencontrer, il y aura encore davantage d'idées qu'on peut partager. All of this is in your Parce que toutes ces choses sont en train de prendre forme dans vos communautés de, de manière diverse. Okay, so thank you very much again. Encore merci beaucoup. And I'm over to Joe. Ainsi, je veux remettre la parole à Joe, le modérateur. Avec Okay, sorry for the bit of confusion. Um, you'll see that tomorrow on the program we have reading of a declaration. 
which is basically a statement that we're making as a group about what we want to see the future looking like for local innovation and, and, and farmer-led experimentation. And I want to tell you that in the program, you would have read that tomorrow, there is something we have called the Declaration of Independence. To avoid any confusion, I want to mention that it is in fact the main principle that we would consider for the future of this approach. So it would be useful if we could get a group of six to eight people who could spend half an hour or an hour after dinner or before dinner um, formulating this, the basics of the declaration statement. Et je veux voir si on peut avoir cinq à six personnes qui vont pendant le temps de dîner ou avant eh, s'asseoir pour réfléchir sur les points clés que devrait contenir cette déclaration. And we'd like it to include uh, English and Portuguese and French. <laughs> et nous aimerions inclure les francophones, les anglophones et aussi les portugais. And we'd like it to include um, people from different stakeholder groups. Et nous voudrions aussi inclure différentes personnes de différentes catégories d'acteurs. Oh. And I had to be reminded we also need to include gender. Et je veux aussi ajouter que nous avons besoin d'inclure <laughs> aussi le genre. So is there anybody who, I think what we can do is we can try to take the first eight hands as long as we see that they representing. Voilà, ce que nous allons faire de voir les mains qui vont se lever et au fur et à mesure identifier les catégories d'acteurs déjà eh, mentionnées. And, 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 and when we also want to try and get the different country platforms covered. So, oh sorry. And we also want to the different platforms pays are represented. So I'm going to suggest that people put their hands up and then when we select them, if they'll come to the front um, and stand by the platform. So we will launch for those who will raise their hands so that we can see they will come in front pour qu'on les enregistre pour savoir quelle catégorie, à, à quelle catégorie correspond. OK, Tabo, <laughs> université. In, I know. OK, Tabo, you're coming to the front. Tabo, vous venez devant. <laughs> so Tabo is with a non-profit company and he's from South Africa. Tabo so est de Afrique du Sud. Et il est d'une organisation à but non lucratif, un genre d'organisation de recherche euh, euh, privée. Et monsieur euh, Eli Fofana, Farmer Organization, Please come to the front. vient devant Burkina Faso, organisation de producteurs. Oh, we have a a young woman, which is. Nous avons une jeune dame, Janis. Youth and gender. Elle représente à la fois jeune et le genre féminin. Kenya. Please come to the front when you're, yeah, when you're ready. Right. Who else? We need somebody from a university. Nous avons besoin de quelqu'un de l'université. What about somebody from government, research or extension? Un recherche, organisation de recherche, et aussi. And I think we need another, another farmer innovator. Nous oh. avons besoin d'un autre paysan innovateur. A woman innovator. Une femme. Okay, Une Elvim, femme innovatrice. Are you, are you okay, Elvim's coming as NGO. Encore une, une ONG. OK. Ilimat, représentant de jeunes et également d'une ONG, Better Life, du Bénin. NGO. We need a... Naomi, s'il vous plaît, vous êtes proposée par le Ghana et comme représente 
du département d'agriculture, Extension Services. OK. OK, elle va venir. And we need another farmer innovator. Encore un paysan innovateur. There are many ladies. Come on, you have to translate. Maybe they're feeling shy. On a besoin toujours de femmes. Farm innovators. Une femme innovatrice. OK. Pour le Mali, elle ne parle pas français. Peut-être le Cameroun. Elle, elle peut... Euh, innovatrice. Et si nous venons à l'Est À l'Est. OK, Cameroun. <laughs> the snail lady. The snail. I... If anybody else wants to add, now is your last chance to put uh, your same, not yourself forward. Yes, uh, Est-ce que... OK. Do we have anybody here from a university? OK. Miss, oh, all Miss right. There we go. We Thank have a lady you. from the university. I think we're good. Finally, lady are four and men three. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you very much. Gender, gender balance. It's more than balance. It's, it's better. <laughs> it's in favor of the woman. Okay. Um, I think just stay where, where, sitting where you are. We'll close and then we'll have a quick meeting about when we're going to meet. Nous allons nous rencontrer. Attendez un tout petit peu. Nous allons vous dire à quel moment on va se rencontrer. So we have to draw today's session to a close. Uh, you agree that we've spent more time than had been planned, but it's been very useful. Vous pouvez voir que nous avons passé plus de temps que prévu, mais c'était très intéressant et très utile. I want to thank you for your active participation. Nous voudrions vous remercier pour votre participation active. Okay. Uh, there was a, a great sense of sharing and learning from each other. Cela a été une grande session de partage et d'apprentissage. So tomorrow being the last day of this uh, International Pharma Innovation Fair and Conference, we need to sustain that momentum in terms of sharing and learning and uh, contributing to the discussion so that we all go home with new ideas. Étant donné que c'est demain la fin de notre atelier, et nous voudrons mettre l'accent sur le fait que nous devons garder le cap en termes de partage et d'apprentissage ensemble. So on the program, uh, you have the last item that says summary of the day. We've decided that uh, this one we push, this item will be pushed to tomorrow recap because it's summary of the day and recap of day one. Donc vous voyez que à la fin du programme, pour normalement pour la journée, il y a le résumé de la journée. Mais nous pensons que on va l'envoyer à demain comme récapitulatif. De, avant de débuter la journée comme d'habitude. So Riga will handle that as the first item for tomorrow. Riga sera chargé de faire cela demain comme première activité. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, there are no uh, housekeeping uh, issues as by our host, that is Vincent. However, uh, we may want to listen to one from a session. Just a small uh, announcement for the farmer innovators. We would like to have a photograph of each of you at your table with your innovation. The, uh, the young guy who's running around is my son, and he would get a photo of you before you leave, please. I think he's got some, but we haven't got some. So during tomorrow, I hope we can get a picture. Elle uh, veut donner une petite information pour les paysans innovateurs, pour que, que ce soit possible demain, quand vous prenez une photo devant votre innovation ou bien votre présentation, parce que 
Ils ont pu avoir quelques-unes, mais ils n'ont pas eu tout. Le jeune qui fait la photo, c'est mon garçon, et c'est lui qui se chargera de le faire. OK. The last announcement is, we have a WhatsApp group. Uh, it's called ProNova Africa. Uh, we use it because when you have a very quick message, or if you have seen a good, interesting thing in the field, you can share with the group. So we'd like to invite you, uh, if you're willing, to join. It will be useful for both the, all the stakeholders, including innovators. And so you c if you are OK, you can give uh, your WhatsApp number to Alvin. Donc, pour ceux qui veulent, nous avons un groupe WhatsApp appelé ProInnova Afrique. Et si quelqu'un veut, il peut venir déposer son nom et son numéro WhatsApp et on va l'enregistrer pour qu'il fasse partie de ce grand groupe. Of course, you remember you have to put your country code because it's an international issue. Donc, comme c'est une affaire internationale, mettez le code de votre pays avant de mettre le numéro WhatsApp. Yeah. You write very clearly because he will have to write it. Donc, so écrivez it, vos numéros là clairement. Yeah, because he may send afin que celui qui va se charger de l'utiliser puisse lire facilement après. Yeah. Merci. On this note, we want to thank the facilitators for the various sessions. Pour sur cette note, nous voudrions remercier les facilitateurs des différentes sessions. We thank the translators. Uh, nous remercions Paul. aussi les, trans les traducteurs. And uh, we also want to thank you for cooperating Nous with... Nous vous remercier pour la coopération. Okay. C uh, giving us the cooperation, myself and then uh, Jacob Wayama as your moderators for today. Merci thank you very aussi much. Merci pour la même question de coopération nous concernant. <laughs> thank you very much. Merci d'applaudir pour eux. It has indeed been a great day. Ça a été une grande journée, une belle journée. Now, uh, we are thinking instead of doing the flip chart, we are going to develop a form uh, with the slot for the WhatsApp number. So the form will be going around tomorrow. Okay. Pour, au lieu d'écrire de, sur, sur le tableau, nous allons créer un formulaire Thank qui you. va circuler demain pour que vous mettez vos noms avec les numéros. So, it's end now. Let's Donc, go. maintenant, c'est fini. Let's go relax. But, oh, I'm being honest, is there? Is, this one is crushed very soft, but this one is granules. The soft one has been, is being used to make pellets. So the same, the same folder can be produced in pellet form. And we are very happy and we are really grateful that Pelham Kenya gave us on their own a machine that makes this kind of thing. So for us, Lofora, if you gave it to a goat, and a goat picks just one, 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 one sort. It is like they have eaten more than 10 of those kind, kind of fodder. Okay, Mr. Joe, it would be interesting for us to know how you started, uh, where you started with the Lofoda meal, how it developed until you got to a point when you introduced or developed different uh, ingredients to make the, the Lofoda, the current uh, formulation. Yes, basically, he had mentioned some time back that we had dead goats that were dying because they were lacking food during drought. Now when we saw that uh, happening, before Prolinova came in, we were cutting trees, the fodder trees, and hanging them. So sometimes when they ate, the leaves dropped down. Then they dropped down in the units and they were drying. So later on when we, we looked at the goat, they were hurrying for those dry leaves. That's what made us think if we dried them, it would be even better before the rains were off. So we took off to now collect the fodder. Now we were not chopping because one thing we realized is if you cut the branches, then sprouting became very difficult and we lost, we lost the leaves and it took a long time. So what we did now, we went on to just harvest the, the sheath, the top parts of those. And after we harvested them, then we chopped them. We were using pangas. After chopping, we dried them. Then we crushed.